Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 2024 RCRA 110th EP Off-Road New South Wales titles. We're coming to you from the beautiful Hills Off-Road RC, about 45 minutes northwest of Sydney. And today is Sunday, two-wheel drive day, and we thought we'd kick it off with a little walkabout. First person we're going to have a chat with is the man behind the scene, Peter Cooper, the president here. Spin around this way, mate, so we can get your beautiful Sorry. track in the background. It looks better than me, that's Pete, for sure. Pete, uh, yeah, give us your thoughts on the event so far and, and tell us a bit about the effort that's gone in to, to put on this event. Uh, it's actually been awesome. The um, amount of competitors come from interstate, so we've got people from the other side of the country, Western Australia, Queensland, South Australia, Victoria. So the response has been huge. Uh, 60 cars in mod, that's the most mod cars we've seen in probably two decades, so super exciting. Um, so thank you to those guys. We've got huge amounts of races to get through and everyone's been awesome. Um, as for the track, the track's held up amazing. Uh, it's been a huge amount of work to get it here. So thank you to all our members who have made that possible. Um, and just thank you to all the volunteers. So it's made it a really great event so far. Obviously, uh, the world's eyes are on this facility. You, you're going to be hosting the Worlds here in 2025. But yeah, tell us how you're feeling about that. Excited. That is the best word I can use is excited. Um, it's been since 1989 since we last had it in Australia. Um, I went to Arizona uh, just to spectate to see what the world's is and, and how it's run these days. Um, confident we can do just as good. We will aim for better, but we will definitely put on an event that everyone will remember. Um, this is about an Australian out, uh, setting as you can get. Um, we have wallabies jumping around as you drive in. There's kookaburras. Um, no sharks or tigers or anything. We don't have tigers, but sharks or crocodiles here. Um, but I think uh, anybody travelling from uh, internationally will come and be amazed. If you haven't been to Australia, this is it. So come and come and find out. Come and have a holiday as well. Um, we're hoping for a massive international contingent that's coming. So, um, yeah, come along and have fun. Fantastic. Well, yeah, best luck with today. We'll let you get back to work. We're going to have a bit of a wand around and uh, have a chat to a few drivers. So thanks, awesome. for, thanks again for everything. Thanks for all your work, Tony. Appreciate it. All right, as you can see, we're surrounded here in a beautiful bushland setting. Uh, Fred Catterson Reserve is the name of the area that we're in. Well, thank you for a little wander. So we've got, obviously, the driver's stand, race control. Got wheelchair ramp access. Got the barbie cooking. Life member here. What's for breakfast today? Bacon. <laughs> Bacon and cheese roll. What other parts of the track's named after you? Do you want to tell us a little bit about your history and involvement here, if we don't get attacked by bacon? Yeah, I, I know, I've got a lot of history here, a very long, long time, it's been there a long time. Yeah, we'll, do. Don't, we'll, we'll let you uh, get back to that, uh, burn the bacon. Uh, over here you can see a bit of uh, scrutineering happening, a bit of check-in. Uh, good morning Nick, just tell us uh, how scrutineering going. Yeah, it's fantastic, a little bit of catch-up today just to get to these two wheels going, but uh, no, I think we're pretty much ahead and uh, we should definitely be able to start on time. Beautiful. All right. Cars coming in, getting checked and teched. Uh, as, as Pete said, a huge number of drivers have come from all around Australia to be part of this event. Obviously, with the Worlds in 2025, people are keen to try and get qualification points to see if they can claim a spot. First uh, pit table we bump into. Ben Sterling, good morning. Uh, tell us a little bit about how your weekend's going. Yeah, it started off uh, not too bad. I've been driven 10 scale for many years, so. Um, just sort of had to try and get my head around it and um, learn the cars because um, I'm running Shoemaker now. Um, and yeah, I've only driven the cars twice before this weekend, so it was good to get out there for a third time and um, put some laps down. And then by the end of the day yesterday, with my four wheel was actually really good. So every time I've hit the track, I've made changes and um, yeah, it's getting really good now. Uh, sorry, your socials, uh, a new sponsor announcement. You, you want to tell us a bit about that? Uh, which one's that one, the Victory Fuel one? Yeah, so uh, one of my good friends from Sprint Car Racing, Josh Fort's uh, importing uh, Victory Fuel, which is like a uh, electrolyte water with vitamins in it. Um, so it's not actually an energy drink and it's actually kid friendly. So uh, he's bringing that into Australia and um, doing that through his Sprint Car um, page. So that'll be available in Australia. Uh, I think it's actually available now. So yeah, it's actually really cool. Awesome. I might make give you the edge this weekend. What was that, sorry? I might give you the edge this weekend. Yeah, hopefully, mate. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Uh, I'll push on here. Family Affair, there's the team there. We've got, uh, who else can we grab a chat with? Mitch is trying to wave. Mitch on the mic. Never shy of a mic. Jordan's working away. There we go. He waved. Oh, no. Yeah, see, you made a mistake. Oh, what are you done, eh? Well, spit around this way. No, we'll go this way. What are you working on this morning? Uh, I'm just putting on some softer springs because it's still a bit damp and cold outside at the moment. So 
get the car a little bit softer and should produce a bit more grip, hopefully. Just give us your thoughts on, on the event overall. Obviously, you've got good memories from the, the state titles last year. Um, how are you come to grips with, with the track layout and, and this event here at Hills? Uh, yeah, I mean, the facility and tracks are absolutely incredible. Uh, Pete's done an incredible job on the new layout and so have all the other boys on the committee. So it's definitely not an easy track, but to race against other people, it's also really close and competitive the way they've set it out, which is good. I mean, yeah, we've got the Nationals here later this year. Should be even more competitive, hopefully. And, I mean, yeah, we just take this as a learning curve. Obviously, yesterday wasn't quite the result I was hoping for, but I mean, it's all learning and still having fun, so... Yeah. Right, you did a good job of uh, talking and working there. We'll let you, no let you carry on. Is the podcast coming back? No. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, Marquee City, uh, for those who missed the action yesterday, uh, four-wheel drive day yesterday in four-wheel drive stock, Andrew Silvaggi took the win. Michael Stone second, Dallas Gardner third. Uh, and four-wheel drive mod, Ari Barkler got the win here. Lachlan Donnelly second, Jared Mint third. They give us a wave. Here's everyone... Sitting up here is uh, good morning, Pat. Good day, Tony. Pat, the yeah, mad I'm scientist. How's uh, I'm fine, mate. How's uh, your weekend going so far? It's been pretty good. We've made some discoveries. You can make a 13 and a half turn run like a six and a half turn, and when you put the six and a half turn back in, you should totally put the ESC settings back to where you found them. And that otherwise, the smoke escapes, and it's the magic smoke that all electronic devices run on. And as you know. I think most um, people that drive, once that smoke comes out, it can't get put back in again. Other than that, I think we've had a pretty good weekend. And that made some interesting car setup discoveries here, which seem to be, you know, in particular to Castle Hill. And that, we solved our rear grip issues by adding more front grip and um, ended up with what felt like completely new cars. So, yeah, looking forward to having another cracking day. Beautiful, man. Best of luck. Oh, I'll push back this way a little bit. What are you up to this morning? I'm filling buckets and I'm helping my dad and brother get ready. Okay. What have we got in the bucket? Water. Oh, that's not exciting. <laughs> <laughs> what do we use that for? Uh, we're going to use it to clean tyres. You put simple green in it and then you help scrub the tyres off and get them clean. Beautiful. There you go, some behind the scenes info for those who aren't familiar with off-road racing. And down this side, you've got some more marquees set up. Obviously, Camerton Hobbies, we had a chat with them yesterday. Uh, they've got a little pop-up shop here. Camerton Hobbies, one of the major sponsors of this event. Uh, keeping races going with bits and pieces. Uh, who else we got down here? A lot of the drivers over here. Hey. Andrew, good morning. Uh, how good were morning. the celebrations last night, mate? What would you get up to? Uh, well, I was just telling the guys, uh, Glenn, Benetti and I went on a little bit of a date. It was good. We went to Castle Hill, uh, the local shopping centre, went and got some Japanese, and we went to the local playtime and played some arcade games, and then uh, went and thought we'd do some bowling. So, yeah, got home at about 9 o'clock last night and then uh, in bed by 10. So pretty, uh, pretty cruisy night. I'm still a bit tired. I need another coffee, actually. Uh, if you know anyone that's doing coffee, I'm hanging. Well, which I don't at the moment, but yeah, if you find one, let me know. Yeah. Uh, did anyone have bumpers up on Bolly? You going to double one in for having the, the kitty rails? I uh, no, I did ask Glenn to try and use the ramp one time, but yeah, no, it's uh, we were uh, throwing gutter balls all night, so it was a bit of fun. Yeah. Awesome. Best of luck today. Thanks, I appreciate it. All right. So, not too far away from a drivers' meeting, uh, so yeah, everyone's pretty busy getting their stuff ready. Um, we're going to push your way in here, jump to the front of the queue. How's the shop going today? Morning, nice and busy. <laughs> Got a queue, I won't hold you up. What are you buying? What do you need to... I'll come back from the worries, yeah. Just come back after you. Uh, Jared, what do you need from Campbelltown Hobby Shop, mate? Some some narrower hexes because our car's a little bit too wide and I'm too lazy to pull them off the four-wheel. <laughs> okay, there you go. Um, Good morning. Same story. story? Yeah. Okay. For some narrower hexes. All right, narrow hexes for the AE guys. I'll be uh, too lazy to pull them off the four wheel. All right, so there's Pete with the clipboard. Dan Ma helping out this weekend. Come over for scrutinizing. We're uh, doing some uh, official duties, ready for ring. How's uh, everyone's behaviour up on the stand? And give us your thoughts on the event. I was a lot cleaner than um, last week at what was it? 
the driver series. I think everybody was spoken to at the end of that one, a couple of the offenders, and it was a lot cleaner. It was good. I hand the reins over to someone else today, so I get to race. So looking forward to that. Okay, good stuff. Best of luck. All right, so yeah, driver's been about to get underway. Good morning. Dal, you up for another uh, big result today, mate? You... I'm not getting that on. Uh, <laughs> Pete Seckold, how, <laughs> how was your night tonight? Oh, yeah, not too bad. A bit, a bit relaxing after a long day yesterday. Did you uh, yeah, go out for dinner, do some wrenching? What was the, the plan last night? I uh, went out for dinner, uh, then went home, did some washing because I'm off to the Philippines tomorrow. So, yeah, been pretty busy. Okay, Philippines. Uh, that's the Philippine Masters over there. It's eight scale off road. You ever been there before? No, I haven't been over there before. It'll be the first time over there. So I did New Zealand earlier in the year, so really looking forward to that one as well. So, plenty of RC racing for you then. All right, best of luck over there. Thank you. All right, breakfast having. Oh, good morning. Andrew Cook, uh, how are you feeling this, this Sunday morning? I'm feeling uh, fantastic, thank you very much. Nicely rested. Is, uh, is your car handy? Do you want to tell us a little bit about uh, the car you're running with today? Yes, it's a uh, brand new sort of prototype um, creation that I've done. So it's based on a, a B6.4 and I've uh, created uh, like a cosmetically looking vintage car from it. Uh, so it's using all the parts that I've used for the 89, 91 replicas. So the carbon and the, the same sort of plastics. Uh, just designed it slightly different to have all the, the modern geometries and layouts. Um, so yeah, got, a, got an old school um, Yoke 870C body on it. It definitely stands out on the track. It caught a few people off guard yesterday, or Friday practice. Yeah, like uh, throw down a, an old Yokomo-looking car, which is not, and two-wheel drive. Yeah, so it, and it's bright. I painted it nice bright yellow so I could see it. Thanks, mate. Yeah, it's really uh, really cool to see what you're doing with, with all the uh, re-release stuff and, and all the, the work you're doing. Tell us a little bit about the, the trip you had overseas. I saw some cool photos from uh, from your visit to um, the AE office. Yes, yes. Yeah, so I was over there for the 12th scale worlds, so Cleveland 12th scale and then the, the worlds in uh, Florida. And yeah, we were fortunate enough to um, have the hospitality of Curtis. Uh, so he, well, I contacted him earlier and you know, talking about the cars, but the replicas, and then asked him if we could um, you know, pop in on the, on the way home. And yeah, he was very uh, accommodating and very courteous to let us uh, visit the AE headquarters and show us the old replicas. So we had all, all four cars, like the original replicas, uh, sorry, the originals and my replicas, and um, all side by side, so lots of photos and yeah, so the brain was brain was buzzing from that. And uh, the big event that's been announced uh, later in the year, the Vintage Bash. Uh, yeah, tell yeah. us a bit about that and what you'll be up to. Yeah, 3.0. So um, continuing from the momentum. So everybody's been obviously loving it and getting on board with the, the whole vintage um, revival, um, which is pretty cool. So we can all relive our childhood childhoods. Um, so yeah, so 3.0. It's at Knox again uh, in November. So I think it's the first weekend in November, third, third, fourth, fifth, something around there. And uh, we're going to have classes based on the, the IFMA sort of um, years. So they don't have to be you know, top line racing cars, but based on the cars that were around at those times, like the 85 to 87, you know, the 89 to 91, which is obviously the, <laughs> the Masamis and the, the Losi SEs and um, you know, Ultimas, and, uh, Losi, sorry, and all those. And then the later on years, you know, 95, 97, and then up to 2000. So, um, yeah, so recreate the, the IFMA sort of concept of of uh, how it used to be at those at those eras. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, where can they go? I think there's a few Facebook pages. At the, is there an actual page for the event? Yes, it's the same Facebook page. So, um, yeah, so Vintage Bash. Uh, we've updated the, the header image, so it'll say 3.0 now. And uh, there's, there is a Vintage Bash website which has some old information. Um, so probably not, not worth going to that at the moment. I think it's still got the, the one and the two rules. Um, but yeah, there's been a there's a flyer for the, the new rules for 3.0 that's available on the, the Facebook page. So yeah, so Vintage Bash Facebook. Um, have a look in the files. Have a look through the posts. Um, lots of information and people's pictures and excitement going on. Fantastic. Well, yeah. Thanks for all that chat and good luck today. Yep. Awesome. Cool. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, we'll just quickly duck up and, and give you a view from the driver's stand. Uh, the driver's meeting is happening, so we're not too far away from. Some qualifying action. So a huge driver's stand, plenty of room. See the media set up there. And uh, this is the layout here. 
Pete Cooper, the, the president here we spoke to earlier, pretty famous for his grass. He's actually not happy with the grass at the moment. We had too much rain in the last couple of weeks, but uh, everyone else thinks it looks pretty good. All right, we'll leave it there and uh, throw it over to race control and qualifying action coming up. One milk crate up there. I might see if there's more for me. You need to stand in the crate, mate. <laughs> that crate there. That no, that one. That one side there. The stock keeper standing there. So disregard it.
All right, we should have a juniors making their way to the grid. We are starting the race in five minutes. When I say starting, it means we're actually starting the race. Not turning up. We're actually going to be... The horn's going in five minutes. Get stadium truck out to Marshall, please. Stadium truck out to Marshall. That will be Lachlan Monday, Ben Sterling, Nathaniel White, Scott Hill, Dan Ma, Chris Primmer, Brad Stafford, Spencer Clements, Dean Masters, Mitchell Isagen, Paul French, Shane Edwards, and Gordon Shaw. Now we have 10 spots out there. If all those 10 are filled, just find somewhere else on the track to stand to help out. There's uh, plenty of track out there and we could actually do with more marshals anyway, so just use some common sense and stand in a spot where you think uh, you could be needed. Finn Aiken. All right, juniors, you can start your warm-up lap. Still waiting on a couple of uh, marshals from the Samuel short Santo. course. Uh, sorry, from the stadium Lincoln track. Isergen. So now we Jasmine do have Ryan Kwok. two numbers. So we've got two people who will not be here doing it. So we'll need one of the spare marshals on number eight. Because number eight is going to do another race for us. And also number five. So the spare marshals, if you can do eight and five, please. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. So, also, everyone, we need numbers on cars. Uh, guys, just take it easy on the straight. Just straight is closed. What, what name is it? Just tell me your name. Number four. Number four. So, um, just for all the uh, officials, we are going to be very lenient with the uh, juniors, as in numbers incorrect. Um, we'll do whatever we can to help our juniors. There's also, who's, who's the orange and red car? Who's, can someone just tell me who that orange and red car is behind you? Gillette? The one down there? That one? <laughs> a name. Just give me a name. Yep. No, no. That's all right. And as I said, with the juniors, I know you guys are all learning and new, so we will help you out in any way we can. We should have enough. We should have plenty of marshals. He's, oh, he's over there. He's, yeah, that's right. Thank you. All right, and just um, there. I know we have lots of new juniors, so just um, we encourage the fathers not to stand anywhere near the stand, because we want the juniors just to be up there and have some fun and not being any uh, instructions from the parents. So I say that nicely. I can say it meanly. So let's just keep all the parents away from the stand. Okay, I just need to get a couple of cars to fix up on the loop. So let me give me a second. Hassan Omar. Riley Lander West. Um, so, Will Aiken, can you just go across the loop? Okay, that was Finn. Is that Finn or Will? Okay, I'm going to have to change some transponders around. You guys have a. Okay, so will a Finn, Finn go across? Okay, that's Finn. Finn Aiken. That will be Will. Uh, Oliver Hyten, I haven't got your transponder checked off. You need to go the, the checkered flag. Keep going a bit further. Okay, that's coming. Just go over it again. Oliver Hyden, I just need you guys. Can, can I get a marshal to pick up the cars and help, please? Oh, he's not up there? So Oliver Hyden isn't up there. So, guys, only drive who I ask to drive. It makes it really confusing. Uh, Mason Crompton, is he up there? No? Jaden Venter? Okay. So maybe we've only got 10 cars, is that right? Okay, done. Okay, let's get this underway. So drivers, just go in. Your name is called. Drivers ready. Marshals ready. Watch your cars. Will Aiken. Zach Panic. Saxon Gillette. Hassan Omar. Jasmine Monday. Oliver Hyden. Ryan Kwok. Mason Crompton. Samuel Dal Santo, Jaden Venter, Riley Lander West, Finn Aiken, Lincoln Isergen. The marshal at the back.
All right, sorry, been away doing other things. Out in front, we have Will Aiken. Will Aiken with a 2.6 second lead over a 2.6 second lead over Lincoln Isogen. Zach Panic sitting in third. Ryan Kwok four. Jasmine Monday five. Hassan Omar six. Samuel Del Santo seven. Finn Aiken eight. Riley Lander West in nine. And Saxon Gillen sitting in ten. We have just over a minute to go, drivers. Our leader heads down the straight. So Will Aiken with the fastest lap of a 26.03. Lincoln Isogen is pretty much on an identical lap, fastest lap, but just sitting three and a half seconds off. So Lincoln Isogen, uh, he's looking dangerous. He's a, one of the Victorians who's come up. As he starts to learn the track, he's going to get quicker and quicker. So Will Aiken had a great day yesterday, putting it in the A in four-wheel stock. He's... Uh, Going to have a battle on his hands today. We've also got um, a few other quick drivers, Zach Panic, Hassan Omar, Ryan Kwok, who uh, are all going to be giving the, uh, the TQ spot a bit of a knock. Just on 20 seconds to go, drivers. Ten, nine, eight, seven... Six, five, four, three, two, one. And we're just uh, watching young Zach panic as he is about to head down the hill. Will Aiken done into the uh, horseshoe, up into Kirby's up Cooper Jill steps, and onto the straight to complete his run. Zach panic. Great done. drive by Zach panic, putting it in third for this heat. Will Aiken's taken out the, the top position. We're still waiting on Lincoln Isogen to get around to see what his time is like. Samuel Dal Santo done. Samuel Dal Santo end up in seventh. I've just got to learn what Lincoln's car looks like. Hassan Omar done. So Lincoln comes through Lincoln for second. Done. Ryan Kwok four. Ryan Kwok Jasmine done. great drive in six. Jasmine Monday done. And I'm still waiting for Finn. Riley Lander West done. All right, is Finn Aiken still out there? Is Finn stopped? There's still a car? Okay. So Finn, make sure you go to your name is called, buddy. The race is completed. Well, Aiken, a nice run there, topping out the first group of junior here at the 2024 New South Wales State Titles. So yeah, tell us how that felt. It was pretty good. Obviously, amazing way to start the day. I won my first qualifier yesterday, won my first one today, so hopefully that means I'll get an amazing start to the day. Track is obviously a little bit wet, but everyone was taking a chill, drive calm, and yeah. The, um, yeah, your day yesterday, do you want to tell us a little bit about how that ended up? It was quite amazing, actually. I'm super proud of myself. Amazing qualifiers once the track started to dry out, and yeah, hitting in some really quick laps and just scraping into A mains for stock. I was chatting to your dad after the race yesterday and he said that the learning curve, like you just stepped up like two or three or four steps in, in a really short amount of time. What, what do you put that down to? You've been doing a lot of practice or getting some help? Like where is it this improvement come from? It's honestly a lot. Obviously I've just recently switched to Team X-Ray, but yeah, I bought some second-hand cars from mates. I've my two-wheel. Where, wherever it is, is actually an XSAM muffler car and my four-wheel, which I drove yesterday, was Peter's Echo car. And yeah, they've just been giving me heaps of help and all of Team X-Ray has just been like helping me. And yeah, that's definitely where all the improvements are coming from. All right, it's a Stackfielder Junior. We wish you the best of luck today and hopefully we'll chat to you again soon. Thank you. Sid Benjamin. Todd Jolien. Andrew Kara, Mitchell Isergen. 30 seconds to the start of the race. Leon Phillips. Spencer Clements. All right, is Julie Gallimore up there? I haven't got Julie Gallimore checked off. Okay, I don't think she's up there. I've only got 10 cars on the track. So just stop behind grid position two, please. Just stop behind grid position two.
please stop behind grid position two. I'm not sure how many times I can say it. Guys, please stop behind grid position two. All right, got a few more cars coming around. All right, driver's ready, marshal's ready. Watch your cars. Leon Phillips, Mitchell Isergen, Paul Hickey, Bradley Shooter, Sid Benjamin, Todd Jolien, Julie Gallimore, Jason Hollis, Damian Absalon, Spencer Clements, Andrew Carrick. So Damien Absalon out there setting the fastest time so far. Damien on a 39.6. Jason Hollis sitting in two. Paul Hickey three. Mitchell Isingen four. Bradley Shooter five. Leon Phillips six. Spencer Clement seven. Todd Julian eight. Sid Benjamin nine. And Aaron, uh, Andrew Carrick running out the, rounding out the ten. And Leon Phillips just lays down the fastest lap of the race. So 38.1. All right, Damien Absalon now on a 37 flat. Hollis still sitting in two. Shooter three. Isogen in, now jumped up three. Shooter into two. Leon Phillips in four. Hollis has had a bad lap and he's uh, dropped all the way down to fifth. So it's actually super tight uh, in for the, for the uh, second and third position. Uh, Damien Absalon doing an outstanding job out in front. He's now got a nine second lead with just over two minutes to go. All right, Damien Absalon out in front. He has a uh, nine-second lead over Bradley. Mitch sitting in third, only, only half a second off Brad. Jason Hollis another two and a half seconds back. So a big battle for second at the moment. With just over a minute to go, can Isogen get a pass shooter? Paul Hickey now lays down the fastest lap at 36.3. Paul... Uh, Paul's going to jump up to the uh, timing if he continues this on. We 
You need our second heat of two wheel stock to the grid, please. Second heat of two wheel stock. Just 20 seconds to go, drivers. Absalom's starting to stretch his lead. Currently just on 11 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Damien Absalon Dunn. Continue on till your name is Leon called. Phillips Dunn. Mitchell Isergen Dunn. Andrew Carrick Dunn. Jason Hollis Dunn. Paul Hickey Dunn. Bradley Shooter Dunn. There's still one car live, Todd drivers. Joel Marshall, Dunn. so please just wait. There's still Spencer one car live. Clements Dunn. Sid Benjamin Dunn. All right, all drivers finished. All drivers are finished. The race is completed. Up next, race number three. Two WD stock. Heat two of three. Damien Upsilon, nice run there. Topping out that group of two-wheel drive stock uh, round one of qualifying. So it's early days yet, but tell us a bit about that run. Yeah, not bad. I knew it was going to be slippery. But I didn't realise it was going to be that slippery. So it was like really gentle, part throttle, early braking, rolling into corners, that sort of stuff. Tried to push it a little bit more on the end and the back was got a bit, a bit taily. So I think the track is in better condition this morning than when it was yesterday, but it's still, it's greasy. It's really, really greasy. Yeah, so yeah, the runner and the TLR, it's running great. Uh, new batteries, running the firework uh, batteries, which seem to be getting a bit more punch, which I probably don't need right this time of the morning, but um, yeah, the car's running great. It's good. Just tell us a little bit uh, about how your day yesterday ended up. Yesterday, yeah, four wheel, um, really shocking qualifying, like really, really bad. And then, it, but in the race, um, everything really came came together and lapped like about two seconds quicker than I was lapping in qualifying. So the car must be set up for really high when the grip comes up. So I've got to find a, a better setting for, for low for low traction. Yeah. Yep. Just a, a little comment about the, the event overall. Uh, obviously, a big turnout here and, and building up for the Worlds here in 2025. Yeah. Well, actually, my father's in uh, far north Queensland. So hello, Dad, John. If, if you're watching this early in the morning, and he actually commented yesterday, and he says he couldn't believe how well it was run. Just like. You know, one race after another, um, and that, that was his comment, just a really well-run, efficient sort of race meeting. So, And, you know, that was the feedback I got from everybody else, all the competitors as well, and we got through the day. So I think today's going to be a bit more uh, tight. Uh, so, But, yes, excellent, really well-run, yeah. Fantastic. Thanks for the chat. Thank Good you. luck in the next one. Thank you very much. Good play. All right, please stop behind grid position two. All right, all marshals been replaced. Yes. All right, drivers ready, marshals ready. Watch your cars. Jeffrey Pitt. Ron Kirby, Glenn Andrews, Trent Johnson, Dean Masters, Dan Marr, Robert Smith, Chris Lander, Paul Sims, Christopher Primer.
All right, Ronnie Kirby, the fast man out there at the moment with a 36 flat. Lander in two, Sims three, Andrews four, Smith five, Ma six, Johnson seven, Prima eight, uh, Pitt in nine, and Masters rounding out the ten. So we're just watching Dan Ma as he uh, goes through Cooper steps. He's heading down through the sweeper onto the straight. He's got the orange car with the white wheels. The orange Schumacher, that is. Heads through turn one, up over the tabletop. About to head through Smith's S's. Everyone singling the first double at the moment. Track's a little bit slick. Heads up over the gamble. Looking like having a tidy run at the moment. He's currently sitting in third and has just put down the fastest lap of the run, a 35 flat. He's uh, only less than a second off the lead. And at the end of this lap, the way he's driving, he might be in the lead. He comes down here, we'll see what this time is. Dan Ma jumps up into second. He's now two tenths off Chris Lander, who's in front. 35-5 for uh, Ma on that one. A 36 flat for Chris Lander. So Ma starting to uh, work out the grip levels and he's pushing hard. So just be aware, drivers, the orange car going through Kirby's curve is our fastest car out there at the moment. He's coming up behind Glenn Andrews. So just guys work together. When so fast the car comes up behind you, just run a little bit wide in the corner and let them through. Just past the halfway mark. Kirby now up in the lead. I oh know Dan Ma jumps up in the lead. Kirby sitting in second. So Ma now with a one-tenth of a second lead over Lander. Kirby another two-tenths back. Oh, it's actually it's only one-tenth off the lead. So uh, we've got a, a big battle for the uh, top position between Ma, Lander and Kirby. Okay, so we're just going to watch Glenn Andrews, or he just put the mock on him, just as I go to say something, he just has a little loop out. So he's in a, uh, a bit of a tussle between Trent and Jeffrey Pitt. A little love tap by Pitt, as Andrew got a little bit crossed up. And here comes Ma. So Ron Kirby's now jumped up to the top of the timetables, and Chris Prim has come from nowhere to be second. Chris Prim now with the fastest lap at 33.5. The times are starting to tumble. Ma back in third. Lander in four. Johnson five. Kirby with only a four tenth of uh, Kirby now with a one second advantage over Prima. All right, just on 30 seconds to go. Prima sitting in second. Only seven tenths off Kirby. Dan Mars just dropped down to fourth. But Kirby, Kirby out on, he's on fire at the moment. Kirby, one of our uh, Ten, older members, nine, one of our ma mature eight, racers. Seven, showing that age six, is not a barrier. Five, four, three, two, one. So Kirby just stretching his lead. Chris Primer now one and a half seconds back off Kirby. Kirby's last car is looking dialed on this track. Maybe a new layout, but he uh, feels at home here. So Kirby is just heading down the hill in the horseshoe. Up over Cooper's steps and he'll be coming down the straight for the final time. Let's see who ends up in front. I think Primer might have put down a quick one. Ron Kirby done. Oh, Actually, we're still waiting for Chris Primer to come through, but Chris Primer, there's like one tenth in it between Primer and Kirby at the moment. Can Primer get a good run to the line? Glenn Andrews done. Primer's on that last Denmark lap, done. just laid down the fastest lap Jeffrey of the race. Pitt and Chris Primer Andrew comes done. through to take it over Kirby by 1.7 seconds. So Trent the order Johnson is Primer, done. Kirby, Lander, Dean Ma, Masters Andrews, done. Sims, Johnson, Paul Smith, Pitt and Masters. Robert Smith done. 
All drivers, are drivers please head straight out to Marshall. The race is completed. Up next, race number four. Two WD stock. Heat three of three. Chris Primer, exciting run there. I got the win just at the end. Two drive stock. Tell us a bit about that race. Yeah, it was a pretty slippery run, but it wasn't too bad just to try and get a, a lap time in, I guess. So the team associated car worked really well out there and yeah, just uh, see how we go once the quick guys are done, whether we're still in the top ten or not. You weren't competing yesterday. Did you keep an eye on the action? You got an idea how the, the track's gonna change throughout today? Yeah, tried to keep an eye on the action, but looking after two little kids it was a bit hard, but um, yeah, having fun. That's what we're here for. So I better go on Marshall. Do you want to give a quick shout out to anyone who's watching the stream? Um, Model Engines um, for their support and Nicholas and Josh at home. Terry Rose and Mum. Cheers. Thanks. The best of luck. Jason Hollis, can I get you to walk around the outside of the track? Hollis, can I get you to walk around the outside of the track? Track is open. <laughs> Dallas Gardner. Chris. Jim Coymanis. 45 seconds to the start of the race. Scott Hill. Daniel Collar. Glenn Welch. Justin O'Connell. Nathaniel White. Michael Stone. 30 seconds to the start of the race. Have we got Andrew Selvaggi out there? I haven't... Fifteen seconds to the start of the race. Less than five. Uh. <clears throat> yep, checked off. Andrew Salvagi. All right, driver's ready, marshal's ready. Watch your cars. Andrew Salvagi. Michael Stone. Dallas Gardner. Glenn Welch. Justin O'Connell. Nathaniel White. Scott Hill. Daniel Collar. Chris. Jim Coymanis. All right, I already got a, top, a heated battle for the lead. Dallas Gardner, the fastest man out there at the moment. Stone two, Savaggi three. All three of them uh, fighting for the same piece of real estate out there at the moment. Oh, Savaggi just struggling with the grip levels at the moment. Dallas obviously uh, got his car dialed for these conditions. He's uh, flying. We'll see it there as it cross, but Dallas currently with the quickest lap of a 33.8. Stone a 34.5. Collars jumped up in a third. White fourth. Milton in five. Hill six. O'Connell seven. Salvaggi eight. Welsh nine. And Coy Manus ten. And Stone just lays down the fastest lap, a 33.7. Still sitting in second. Only four tenths separating cars at Dallas and from Stone. Oh, hang on. Stone has had an uh, incident. He's now dropped back, so Gardner's going to be the clear leader as he comes across. So Gardner just lays down a 33.75, pretty much identical to Stone's fastest lap. Nathaniel now moves into second. There's three seconds separating. Oh, and Hill jumps up there. So oh, it's all going all over the place. Milton. So the, the battle for second is um, between about four cars. Four cars separated by one, oh, about two tenths of a second.
but Dallas Gardner clearly in control is at the moment. And Gardner lays down another fast lap. It's the fastest lap of the run of 33-4. Still got White 2, Hill 3, Milton 4, O'Connell 6, Stone... Uh, got uh, Stone in 6 and Savaggi in 7. So the two guys who are quick in the beginning. They've uh, dropped back through the field. Stone now just lays down the fastest lap of the race. So 33-1. Got some work to do. He's 6.7 seconds off the lead. All right, Gardner now with a seven-second lead. So Gardner just laying it down early, but Stone is coming. Stone still six seconds off the lead, but lays down another fastest lap. It's a 32-7 for Stone. So current order is Gardner one, Stone two, Hill three, uh, White goes to three, Hill back to four. With just on a minute to go. Can Stone make any dent in that six-second lead that Gardner has? Hill having a great run sitting up in third at the moment. Really, really tight for uh, third place between Hill and White. Nothing in it at the moment. Oh, Gardner just stretching his... Oh, I'll say that, then... Stone goes and throws down another fast lap, a 32-7, the fastest lap of the race. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Dallas Gardner done. Continue on to your name Michael is called Stone Dallas Dunn. Crosses. He ends up with a five second lead over Stone. Going to be tight for the next couple of positions. Jim Coyman. Hill's currently Dunn. sitting in third, but Milton's knocking on the door. So Justin is Justin O'Connell, and Justin O'Connell jumps Andrew up to third. Ken Hill will pull Walsh out something Dunn. special for this last lap. Nathaniel White done. Scott Hill done. Oh, and the order ends up Gardner one, Stone two, Milton on the last lap moves to three, O'Connell back to Daniel four, Collard Hill five, White six, Welsh seven, Savaggi eight, the Collar nine, completed. and Coimanis ten. Up next, race number five, two WD mod. Heat one of six. Dallas Garda, nice way to start defence of your title here. Two-wheel drive stock over the, the TQ run in round one of qualifying. Tell us a bit about it. Uh, yeah, the track was a little bit slippery, but uh, I had the car set up <clears throat> a little bit uh, floppier on the back to get it to grip and just take it easy on the throttle, back the brakes off and don't hit the paint because the paint's even slipperier than the track. But, yeah, it wasn't all that slippery. Just didn't try to do the first double. It didn't, didn't need marshalling, didn't run off the track, not, not driving too hard. Uh, Stoney killed himself by crashing on the little double which I just said I'm not doing and he gave me about five seconds a lead on it. Even, even though he was faster he wasn't catching up after that crash but yeah, car felt good. What does a champion like yourself have for breakfast at a state title? Oh well I had a yoghurt and a croissant this morning from the track. <laughs> yeah, give a, a shout out to anyone watching the stream, you've got a lot of fans over the years. Uh, yeah, uh, probably not, uh, probably me when I'm at home watching this on the replay. Hey, how you going? You didn't win, but you won the first qualifier. 
Love you, Dave. Best of luck in the next one. Thanks, Don. Patrick Carter. Right, I am missing three drivers from this. Adam Amos, Chris Osio, and Ryan Reynolds. I think Ryan's out making a movie, but... But he can just move it though, we can't see. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cars. Okay. We'll go with this. Driver's ready. Marshall's ready. Watch your cars. Adam Amos. Stephen Hogginson, Jaden Brown, Brendan Tucker, Wade Keft, Patrick Carter, Chris Osio, Ryan Andrews, Gavin Webb, Paul French, Ryan Reynolds. behind you, heel behind you. Scott, can you just face the other way, please, mate? Facing the wrong way. The, your back looks far better than your front anyway for me.
All right, just on 50 seconds to go. Ryan Andrews out in the lead. Gavin Webb, two. He's 3.8 seconds off the lead. Keft in three. Carter, four. Brown, five. French, six. Tucker in seven. Agenson, the Viking, in eight. I will require two volunteer marshals at the, for the next race, please. Two volunteer marshals for the next race. Stephen Hogginson done. Brendan Tucker done. Jaden Brown done. Patrick Carter done. Ryan Andrews done. Gavin Webb done. Wade Keff done. Paul French done. All drivers are finished. The race is completed. Up next, race number six. Two WD mod. Heat two of six. Okay, no worries. So I'll just. Right, Andrews, nice run there, topping out that group of two-wheel drive modified. Uh, tell us a bit about it. Yeah, just uh, taking it easy, getting my eye in, yeah, just, just circulating. It's early days. How did you find track conditions? A uh, few people saying it was, it was more slippery than they were anticipating. Yeah, yeah, it's slippery, but uh, we're all on the same track. Before we go, you want to give a, a shout-out to anyone? Yeah, just uh, my, my wife, my kids. And uh, a few boys up in Brisbane there, Steve and Shane, and my mate in WA, Dave. Fantastic. Well, best of luck in the next one. Thanks for the chat. Thanks, mate. Catch you later. Lawrence, David Ryan, Brad Stafford, Michael Frieden, Shane Edwards. Aleandro DeLorso, Connor Lawton. Can we get a volunteer on number one, please? Just a volunteer on number one. I think, is he doing an interview for you? Is he? So it's car seven. Oh, Chris Ozio is not here. Oh, am I on the right one? So we got Pat Carter on six. I mean, I'm just trying to sort out marshalling issues. Seven. So seven, Chris, I need a volunteer on. I need a volunteer on seven because Chris Osio hasn't turned up. On six, I should have Pat Carter. Where's Pat? So, where's Pat Carter? Pat Carter. Oh, he is. I've been asking. You're not yelling. Sorry. It's my fault, but I'm just having a go at you anyway. So, seven is the only one. It's Chris Ozio is not here. Seven. Sorry. Thank you. All right. Uh, driver's ready. Marshal's ready. Watch your cars.
Aleandro Delorso, Shane Edwards, Aiden Young, Jordan Kosick, Matthew Lawrence, Michael Frieden, David Ryan, Connor Lawton, Brad Stafford, Mark Hallam. All right, one minute down, and we got Staffo out in the lead. He sets the fastest lap on that right on that uh, lap at 34.3. Matthew Lawrence is only one tenth of a second off him. Then we got uh, Alejandro in three, Aiden four, Shane Edwards five. The order's starting to jump around a bit. It's a, uh, it's very tight between the top five cars. So Alejandro now jumps to the top of the times. He's only got a half a second gap over Lawrence. And Alejandro lays down the quickest lap of the race, a 33.8. He's the only man in the 33s at the moment. Has he got any more in the tank? Can he pull out a couple more tents? And Alejandro just crosses the line and blazes down another fastest lap at 33.4. So Alejandro is starting to find his feet. He heads down over the double-double. In this case, he's just doing the single double, as is every other two wheel drive. Car looks very tidy. Oh, commentator's curse. He has a little... Uh, he tries to gamble on the gamble, and the gamble doesn't pay off. Down into the horseshoe. See how much time that cost him. It wouldn't be much. It was pretty tidy. Alejandro comes through and it's a 34-1. Now got Staffo who's dipped into the toe, his toe into the 33s. So it's only uh, Staffo and Alejandro who is in the 33 bracket. And Alejandro is done to extend his lead. It's now out to one and a half seconds. Still got Matthew Lawrence in three. Shane Edwards four. The minute 40 to go, drivers. What has Alejandro got? Can he go a bit quicker? Comes across again, and now Staffo, or Alejandro had a pull up. That one has hurt him. Staffo's now jumped up in the lead. All right, 30 seconds to go. Staffo's still out in the lead. And he just lays down the fastest lap of the race at 33-3. So Staffo, I know he wasn't quite happy yesterday. He was struggling with his car, but his two-wheel drive looks to be on fire. Staffo will walk away from this one very happy. So Staffo just heading into the horseshoe. He's about to commence his way Ten, down the straight, and we'll see what nine, sort of lap time this is. Eight, seven, six... And it's a 34-3, so it's uh, three, about a second off his fastest two, on his greatest lap. One. But uh, let's see what he can put in with this one. 
Still doing the single. Perfectly over the second double. Little crossed up out of the corner. Negotiates a gamble very well. Just through Kirby's. Alien about to head Andrew down the hill so over the tabletop. Nicely through the horseshoe. This will be his final lap. Jordan what can he lay down? Aiden Young Dunn. Brad Staffo Staff comes through and he puts down the fastest lap of the race on that final one, a 32 9. Shane Edwards. So uh, Staffo stamps Michael his authority Kevin with Dunn. that final lap. Matthew Aleandro Lawrence in Dunn. two, Jordan David three, Aiden four, Fretton in five. Dave Ryan, six, Matthew Lawrence, seven, and Shane Edwards in eight. I still got Connor Lawton and Mark Hallam out there. Connor Lawton Here they done. come. All right, Mark all Hallam drivers done. are finished. All drivers are finished. The race is completed. Up next. Race number seven. Brad Stafford, nice run there. Topping out that group of two-wheel drive modified. Tell us a bit about that run. Oh, yeah. A little bit uh, slippery out there. So made it a bit difficult to try and get any sort of drive. But uh, no, it felt clean and uh, didn't get into any trouble. So, yeah, good, easy one to bank straight up and while it's loose. So hopefully when the grip comes up, it still performs the same rate. Do you make many changes? Obviously, knowing the track was watered last night, it's going to be slippery. Do you, do you make any adjustments to anything? No, I didn't make any changes since uh, Friday's practice. Just left the car as is and, uh, yeah, just drove it steady. Do <laughs> you want to give a, a shout-out or say hello to everyone watching the stream? Not really. I don't know anyone, mate. <laughs> I'm going to get you one one day. <laughs> hey, good job. Great way to start your day and best of luck in the next one. Thank you, mate. Catch you later. Scott Giles. Noah Carter. Andrew Cook. One minute to the start of the race. Forty five seconds to the start of the race. Thirty seconds to the start of the race. All right, just wait for oh, we've got Cookie and someone else to come around. I'm curious to know what the name of this car is, Cookie. Fifteen seconds to the start. Looks a little of the special. Race. All right, drivers ready. Actually, I've just got to. I've got uh, five. Marcus Venter's not there, is he? Stuart All right, McNair. going with the clock. Driver's ready. Marshall's ready. Watch your cars. Thomas Camilleri. Dan Carney. Stuart McMahon. Marshall on the straight. Marshall front straight. Jordan Hunting. Noah Carter. Andrew Cook. Marius Venter. Stephen Snedden. Scott Giles. Brian Lowe. All right, they all start crossing. Noah Carter out with the fastest lap, 34.8. Scotty Giles up in two. Jordan Hunting in three. Snedden four. Stu McMahon five. Brian Lowe six. Andrew Cook with a uh, apparently a very, very, very heavily modified RC10 old school. Coming in seventh. Thomas Camilleri in eight. Dan Kearney in nine. And Thomas Camilleri just lays down the fastest lap of the run, a 34-4. Noah Carter still out in the lead by 1.7 seconds over Giles. And Lowe goes up to second on the table. So Lowe puts in a screamer. He's now sitting two seconds off the lead, two seconds off Noah Carter. 
So two of our, uh, our very young drivers doing a great job out in front at the moment. Noah Carter coming down from Maitland. He's only uh, just moved up out of juniors and he's straightened the mod and he's showing the boys how it's done. Jo uh, Jordan Hunting just throws down the fastest lap of the run to move him into second. That's a 34-3 for Jordan. Jordan showed great speed yesterday, but a little bit lacking in consistency. And Brian now jumps to the top of the tables. So Brian now three tenths in front of Noah. Brian Lowe lays down the fastest lap of the run. 34-3, these times just keep tumbling. So Brian Lowe's just coming through Kirby's curve. He's about to head down the hill into the horseshoe. Brian in the blue and white car. We'll see what this lap time does and where it places him. It's the top of the tables is so Brian remains on top, but he and Noah Carter are on locked on identical lap times. So the battle between Low Carter and Hunting, they're all separated by two tenths of a second. So we've got three cars pretty much on identical times. Two minutes to go. Who has uh, some more time to find? Oh, a little mistake by Brian. Probably lost about half a second. Jordan just lays down the fastest lap. Jordan just moved to a 32.6. First guy I've seen in the 32s. Can Noah respond? So we're still just with Brian coming down through the S's. Brian keeping it nice and tidy now. And Jordan Hunting goes faster again. 32-4 and stretches the lead. Jordan Hunting starting to uh, stamp some authority on this. He's now got a four-second gap back to Brian. Brian sitting in second, but Jordan Hunting going quicker and quicker every lap. 32-4, last lap for, for Jordan. Jordan about to head down into the horseshoe. He's driving that uh, greyish color X-ray, a little bit crossed up through that corner. We'll see what this lap time can produce. It's a 33.5, so it's about a second off his fastest lap, but it wasn't a great one. We'll watch him come through the S's. We'll see what this lap can produce. Just got to try and keep it tidy. Obviously, a driver who loves to let it all hang out. Not so easy to do in a tool drive and be quick. This is a nice tidy lap for him. I think this could be a good one. He's just got to hold it all together. Good rotation around the horseshoe. The car looked perfect around there. Heads down the straight. Expect this to be a decent lap for Jordan. And it's another fastest lap for him, a 32.425. Actually, that's an identical Ten, to his fastest lap time. Nine, eight, seven, yeah. six, so that's consistency five, for you. So Jordan's four, two laps then separated three, by one two, one thousandth of a second. One. Jordan now with a three second lead. Let's see if he can do it again. Just a little bit off the horseshoe this time. Previous lap, the, the rotation around there was perfect. Stuart McMahon done. So Jordan, Jordan faster Hunting lap again, done. and that is Jordan's done a 32 2. So that was his fastest Thomas lap. Camilleri done. Noah Carter done. I think Brian's going to come. If Brian has a tidy lap, he'll come through in second. Andrew Cook done. Brian Lowe done. Stephen Snedden done. Now we're missing. I will need a volunteer Dan marshal Carlin on done. marshaling spot 10 next race. Uh, on seven, please. Scott marshaling Giles spot seven. Done. I'll need a volunteer next race. All drivers are finished. So Jordan Hunting ends up taking that one by 6.7 seconds. So can I get a volunteer for number seven, please? Up next. Can just one person volunteer? If everyone just volunteers once or twice Mark. throughout the day, we um, four of six. we won't have any dramas. <laughs> Jordan Hunting, nice run there. Top of that group of two drive modified. Uh, tell us a bit about it. Yeah, two a drive. I was dreading this day. It's a bit of a in the trenches moment, but yeah, the car was pretty good. I was happy. The consistency was pretty impressive. Did you hear what Pete was saying about your lap times? Yeah, I've been, I've been told all weekend I've been inconsistent, but yeah, that, that one was good. Very close lap times, and yeah, I was happy with it. Give us a little bit of an insight to how your day yesterday ended up for all drive. 
Um, so yesterday I came into the event hoping to just make the Bs and then ended up BQ um, ahead of some fast guys and then had some good battles in the Bs, but yeah, just ended up on the, the bad luck or bad side of a few things. But yeah, no, it was pretty good. In terms of setup, do you make changes for the track conditions? Obviously, you know how it evolves uh, throughout the day. How do you tackle the, the slippery track compared to later on? Honestly, no idea. <laughs> we're just like going out there, just driving. So we just rely on the team. They'll give me a few tips and yeah, full send. Before we go, you want to give a, a shout out or say hi to anyone? Uh, Alejandro, wherever he is, he's here, but got to give him a shout out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's all. Thanks, mate. Good luck in the next one. Cheers. Jordan, can you just go to number seven, please? Just in the middle there. 30 just seconds there. Thank you. The start of the race. Just, just that one there. Thank you. Lachlan Williams. Ben Panic. Darren Pryor. Craig Lawton. Oh, thank you. So just quickly, anyone who wants some food, we're just sort of closing breakfast off at 9 o'clock. So we've got another 15 minutes. If you just want to grab something now, by all means, just head over. All right, we'll get this one underway. Driver's ready. Marshall's ready. Watch your cars. Craig Lawton. Phoenix Eggleton. Lachlan Williams. Hugo Tsung, Kem Sotel, Darren Pryor, John Philpot, Gordon Shaw, Ben Panic, Carter Sims. Okay, everyone's live. Phoenix is uh, looking pretty racy out there at the moment. We'll just have to wait uh, till they all come through. Lawton using every bit of the front straight. The currently Phoenix, the quickest one, but we'll see as the cars come through if anyone can beat it. He's on a 33-3. Oh, Darren Pryor comes through quicker on a 33-3. And Carter Sims jumps to the top of the times with a 32-9. Current order is Sims 1, Pryor 2, Eggleton 3, Williams 4, Sang 5, Sotel 6, Panic 7, Shaw 8. Philpot nine and Lawton running out the ten. Absolutely nothing separating the field at this stage. Phoenix Eggleton lays down the fastest lap. Now a 32-7. He's still sitting just two tenths off the lead. You throw a blanket over the top three cars. That's Sims, Eggleton, and Williams. Lawton is starting to make his way back up through the field. Lawton only sitting just over a second off the lead now. I uh, just want to thank all the people who are uh, watching our stream. Some was uh, commented that our front straight looks like a police station with our blue and white checkered. Uh, should be sponsored by Cops Are Tops. Thank you for your humour. We might uh, take that into account for next one. Uh, massive thank you to Campbelltown Hobbies too. Campbelltown Hobbies, a big supporter of ours. Couldn't run this meeting without them, so thank you very much, Campbelltown. All right, we'll get back to the racing. Carter Sims. Oh, he must have an instant. He's just dropped back or we've had a mislap. Okay, uh, anyway, we'll check that. So Lawton now goes top of the times. He sets down a 31.7 as the fastest lap. Craig Lawton. Now with a 1.2 second lead over Eggleton. Lawton's starting to find the, uh, get the feel of this grip level. I know he's a man who likes high grip. Lawton one, Eggleton two, Sortel's moved his way up and through three. Hugo sitting in four, Williams in five, Panic six. 
Oh, yeah, you can see Carter Sims had a bad lap. He had uh, he dropped down with a 37 second lap. We'll see what Lawton can do on his next one. So Lawton oh, just goes really big on the second double, too big, costing himself a bit of time. He's going over the gamble now. He's got the uh, bright orange and blue car with the yellow wheels. Just over a minute to go. And Lawton in control of this one, but uh, Eggleton is keeping him honest. So a little bit of a slower lap for uh, Lawton on that one. Now Phoenix less than a second off Lawton. So Phoenix starting to close that gap. Much better landing for Lawton that time. Nice down ramp. Lawton through the horseshoe. He makes his way down the straight and we'll check this time for Lawton. And it's a 31.5, the fastest lap of the race. And Eggleton now 1.8 off Lawton. Can Lawton continue to extend this lead? So 31.5 is the fastest Ten, lap we've had out of nine, any mod cars. Eight, seven, so Lawton six, is pushing hard. Five. Four, he should get three, one more lap in. Two, one. Yeah, so Lawton commences his final lap of the run. Well, that wasn't a great lap for him. He's now got a one-second lead over Eggleton. Eggleton's still on lap done. two. Continue on to your name is called drivers. This looked like a much tidier lap for Lawton. Just to John start Phil to get the feel of the two-wheel drive. Just needs to grab a bit more concrete on that horseshoe. Carter Sims done. Just helps rotate the car. Darren Here he Pryor comes. Done. What lap time can you lay down? Gordon Shaw done. Oh, it's a 32-4. And done. Eggleton comes in in second place. So we got Lawton in one, done. Eggleton two, Thane three. Panic is still out there, but I think he'll come in four. Panic comes down the front straight for the final time. Ben Panic done. And he is placed in four. So the order is Lawton one, finished. Eggleton two, Sang the three, Panic four, Sotel five, Williams six, Philbot seven, Sims eight, Shaw nine, and Darren Pryor running at the ten. So just a note to all drivers, we're just getting a bit slow with uh, moving to um, on and off Up our marshalling places. So when you've been nine. replaced, please don't just sit two there and have a chat. I need you to remove yourself from the track so we can get the next race underway. Craig Lawton, nice run there, top end of that group of two-wheel drive modified. Uh, yeah, tell us a bit about that run. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, first run, a bit slippery. I uh, just had to try and work out what you can and can't do compared to running in um, you know, four-wheel drive yesterday and probably practice the other day. So, yeah, just had to uh, sort of work your way into it. How, how, much, or how hard do you find it switching from four-wheel to two-wheel? Yeah, you know, you've got uh, experience behind you, but, yeah, adjusting to the, the different chassis. Yeah, it was difficult at the best of times, but yeah, you're sort of going from high grip yesterday afternoon in a four wheel to you know low grip this morning to a two wheel. So yeah, you're sort of challenging with the obviously the car and the grip level. So yeah, it's uh, a couple of times catches you out. Uh, you're racing with your son, and there's quite a few quick juniors coming through the ranks in modified. Just give, yeah, give us your thoughts on on the next generation coming through. Oh, there's definitely some good competition. Like yesterday, you know, I'd, um. You know, I think we've qualified 17th, finished 17th, and just didn't have the car right. So hopefully today we can get the car right. But it just shows the um, just that competition is so close now. And uh, there's a lot of people coming through, and um, it's great. It's good to see. Just quickly before we go, you want to give a shout-out to anyone watching the stream? I don't think anyone watches me, so it's, yeah, I'm all good. <laughs> My mum. My mum. You do it. Hi, mum. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You're driving it all backwards on the track. So even when we grid up, don't go past the two spot and then turn around. Just a, an opportunity to break a car. 15 seconds all right. to the start of the race. We're going to go now. Drivers ready. Marshals ready. Watch your cars. Andrew Gillett. Josh Payne. Glenn Benetti. Paul Shannon, Ben Sterling, 
James Muha Samuel Muffet Brad Verko Simon Healy Mitchell Pratt All right, everyone is live. So Josh Payne. Oh, he was out in front. Paul Shannon lays down the fastest one, but we'll just go with Josh Payne, the white car, because there's a trio of cars coming through. He just gets... Uh, Gillett dives underneath him. Let's make sure we all work together, drivers. Try and keep everyone happy. There's a number of white cars, which just makes it a little challenging for me to uh, work out who's who. So just down the front straight, we have... I think, but I think Benetti is a, the blue car with the green wheels, I assume. Or is that Shannon? I'm not sure. I can't work it out. So just watching the cars, they head up over the gamble. And now about to head down into the horseshoe. So James Muhar lays down the fastest lap at 32.5. We had Lawton get into 31s in the last run. And Verko now goes to the top of the times. That's his fastest lap. Not the quickest of the day, but it's his, one of his fastest. So Verko in one, we've got Pratty in two, Muha three, Gillett four, Sterling five, Benetti six, Muffet seven, Healy eight, Shannon nine, and Josh Payne in ten. So Sterling now with the fastest lap, that last lap is a 32-4. So uh, the top three are now separated by three tenths of a second. So that's Verko, Pratt and Muha. They're all battling for the same time at the moment. So Verko extends his lead a little bit. Sterling now jumps up in the third. Sterling lays down the fastest lap again. It's now a 32.5, which moves him up into second place. Can he get into the 30 once? Though Sterling didn't have a great lap that time, it just dropped him down, but Verko still out in front. So we'll just stick with Verko. It's a fluor orange car. He's about to negotiate the gamble. He's doing a stellar job out in front. We've got Sam Muffet now moved up into two. So those guys are only separated by about 10 to 15 metres. So Verko about to head down onto the straight. Sam, he's got the orange car with the white wheels. Sam Muffet with a fluoro yellow and orange car, fluoro yellow wheels. He's just going through turn one, two. So it's, they're very close together. Verko uh, leading the way, one second gap. Okay, uh, Muffet didn't have a great lap and that's punished him. He's dropped down through the field. Super tight in this one. Gillett now jumps up in the third. Muha sitting in second. One second off Verko. Sterling now into 31. Sterling lays down a 31.7. Just a little bit of inconsistencies in some of his laps to push him down. So Sterling just getting the feel for this track. Sterling a uh, eight scale specialist. It's good to see him coming down to have a crack at 10 scale. So it is less than six seconds separating the entire field. So it is tight. Ensure you work together, drivers. So Benetti now lays down a fast one. Benetti lays down a 31.6. Yeah, let's put him in third place. So we're seesawing between first and second, which is uh, Verko and Muha. There's one tenth nine, of a second separating. Eight, seven, Just as we close six, into the end of this run. Five. Four, Who can lay down this three, fast lap? So two, Verko just in a bit of traffic. One. So the orange car heading down the hill is our leader and he's got Sterling hot on his heels. Work together, guys. Only a 
Couple of corners to go. James Muha is done. Samuel and done. James Muha is still, Verko still on a lap. Verko's still on a lap. Minetti's still on a lap. Gillett's still Simon on a lap. Done. Sam Muffet, Mitchell, Mitchell, Mitchell Pratt, Pratt Healy, you guys are done. Sterling done. Shannon done. There's still plenty of cars circulating. Muffet, you are done, so don't impede Verko at all. Andrew Gillett done. Glenn Benetti done. James Muha done. See what Verko can do in this final lap, where it will place him. Brad Verko done. Oh, Verko All drops the third. Finished. So James the Muha one, completed. Gillett two, Verko three, Benetti four, Muffet five, Pratt six, Healy seven, Sterling eight, Shannon nine, Payne in the ten. Payne in the ten. It could be, a, anyway, said a few different ways. <laughs> Up next, race number 10. 2WD mod. Heat 6 of 6. James Muha, what a tight qualifying run there, two drive mod. Uh, you came out on top. Tell us a bit about it. Oh, not what I expected, to be honest. I don't know what I expected today. Today is just two wheel for me, so it's my. I guess least favourite class because I'm not the best at it, but I'm getting better and my new car, I'm the only Mugen person here, so it's going pretty good. So how would you describe your, your driving style? There's a bit of chat about uh, yeah, your setups are different to what people run, so yeah, just tell us how you would analyse your, your own style. I wouldn't say it's that different, I just listen to what other people say and I just kind of, for the qualifiers, back off and don't do anything stupid so I can get higher up and then in the finals it's just whatever happens. <laughs> Just want to touch a little bit on your, your short course victory yesterday. How did you celebrate that last night? We know the short course is the, the premier class here this weekend. Uh, I went to bed pretty early. That's about it. <laughs> uh, any quick shout-outs uh, of people watching the live stream before we go? Yeah, to my parents if they're watching. Hopefully they are. Maybe they're not. That's all right. <laughs> awesome, mate. Well done in there, and uh, good luck in the next one. Thank you. Thank you. All right, just stop on number two. Please do not drive backwards down the straight at all. Just... Slow down enough. We had a couple of times we were almost risk breaking a car yesterday, so race. everyone just come down the straight slowly. I don't want anyone doing the facing the wrong direction on the straight, please. Okay, I've got a few transponders I need to fix up here. 15 seconds to the start of the race. Matthew Cooper. Sexy Seckled. Lachlan Donnelly. Jared. Ari Bakla. Okay, we move into our fast guys. What can they do? Oh my god. How special is this kid? Matty, can you just drive to scrutineering, please? Slowly, slowly, slowly. All right. Driver's ready. Marshal's ready. Watch your cars. Lachlan Donnelly. Ari Bakla. Jordan Isergen. Jared. Lachlan Monday. Matthew Cooper. Sexy Seckled. Ben. Jared King, Nathan Healy, All right, they all start coming across. Barkler setting the pace. 31-1 out of the box. Donnelly with a 31-4. Meant 31-4. Identical times for the two AE drivers. Monday, 31-8. Isogen, 31-9. Seckold, 32-6. King, 33-8. Healy, 33-9. Cribben, 34. Cooper, 35. Donnelly now lays their first guy in the 30s. Donnelly, a 30.8.
So nearly identical race time so far for uh, Barkler and Donnelly. Ment sitting about four tenths off the lead. Monday, six tenths. Isigen less than a second. Then there's a bit of a gap to Healy. Donnelly goes to the top of the times. He lays down another fast. Oh, so Barkler lays down another fastest lap. So Barkler now at 30.6. Donnelly, uh, Barkler now in advantage of 0.3 over Donnelly. Ment eight tenths back off the lead. Monday, eight tenths off the lead. Jordan sitting in fifth. Ribbon six, Cooper makes his way up to seventh. Healy in eighth, King nine, Seckold in ten. Barkler starting off where he finished off yesterday. He is a quick man out there. And Lachlan Monday now jumps to second on the uh, times. He's one second off the lead. Just one tenth in front of Jared. Isigen five, Cooper now jumps Cribben to move up to six. But Barkler with the fastest time of day. Barkler pushing hard. What's done? Donnelly responds, but then hey, Donnelly responds with the fastest lap. It's a 30.4. So six tenths of a separate second separating our top two. Advantage Donnelly on lap on fastest lap. The two guys are together on track. They come through Kirby's curve. They're about to head down the hill into the uh, horseshoe. So just be aware, Nathan, the cars behind you are the quickest cars. Just work together, gentlemen. What can Donnelly do this time? Donnelly two tenths quicker on that lap. The gap between Barkler and Donnelly is now four tenths of a second with a minute 40 to go. Advantage Barkler over Donnelly. Monday sitting in third, Ment four, Isigen five, Cribben six, uh, Cooper seven, King eight. To work out where out. So Donnelly comes across the line and Donnelly goes to 30.3 and moves into the lead with a minute 15 to go. Donnelly lays down the fastest lap. He's been doing it consecutively over the last few few laps. This is a 30.3. Barkler's last lap was a 31-2. The gap between uh, Donnelly and Barkler now only half a second. Crosser and Barkler now moves back in the lead. Uh, didn't see, but Donnelly must have had a little error somewhere. And Barkler lays down an almost identical lap time to Donnelly's fastest. It's a 30.3. Only two one hundredths difference. Barkler advantage now by 1.3 seconds. So Barkler leading the way with 26 seconds to go. A 1.3 second gap between Barkler and Donnelly. Monday in third, 1.8 off the lead. Ment in fourth. Isigen, Seckold, King, Cooper, Cribben, Healy. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. This will three, be their final lap. Two, one. What has Donnelly got? Can he respond? Can he make up that one second in this lap? They head down the straight. Lachlan Donnelly done. Ari Bobby and done. Donnelly takes it by two tenths. Ari had a shocker on his last lap. Jared Dunn. Lachlan Monday Dunn. And Jordan Donnelly uh, Dunn. puts down a 31. Nathan Healy Dunn. A 30, uh, so it wasn't even a great lap for Donnelly, but just, uh, I know, maybe they came across some traffic. So the order is Donnelly 1, Barkler 2, Monday 3, Ment 4, Isigen 5, Seckold 6. Matthew Cooper Dunn. Ben Dunn. Cribben in 7, King 8, Jared Cooper King 9, Dunn. Healy 10. All drivers are finished. The race is completed. Up next, race number 11. Lachlan Dolly, what a nail-biting qualifying run there, round one. Two-drive mod, uh, yeah, talk us through that race.
Uh, yeah, that one was a bit sketchy. The grip was much lower than I'd expected, so the car setup wasn't quite right. I kind of had to drive around it, but got a bit lucky at the end there and was able to get the TQ, so I'm happy. Yeah, just explain a bit more about the, the, how the track changes throughout the day and, and what, you, you know, what you're expecting now after the watering last night compared to what you finished on yesterday. I mean, this is probably the lowest grip we've seen in the event so far. I think by Q2 next round, by the time we're up again, the grip's going to be way higher. Lap time's going to be seconds a lap faster. So I think our car's kind of set up for that kind of condition, so I'm not really that worried, but we'll just wait for the track. Just tell us what kind of equipment you're running. Uh, I'm running the Team Associated B7D, um, Gen 6 batteries, Hubbling Electronics, and Protec and Berserk carbon parts. Any uh, quick shout-outs or thank yous to people watching the live stream? Uh, Mum, if she's watching, we probably not, but <laughs> she doesn't like to. But, um, yeah, my dad as well. I know he's here, but big thanks to him as well. He'll go back and watch this replay. So, uh, yeah, you said hi to him in the stream. All right, thanks, Tony. Team Masters. Gordon Shaw. Shane Edwards. Brad Stafford. Paul French. Christopher Primer. Nathaniel White, Spencer Clements. All right, guys, I just have to make everyone understand the marshalling today has not been anywhere near yesterday. The guys are standing around talking before getting out there. The marshals are chatting when they're out there. We are not going to get through the day. It is as simple as that. And I'm getting sick and tired of calling everyone. I do this for free. I'm not doing this. I do this for the love of it. Please don't make my life hard. All right, driver's ready. Marshal's ready. Watch your cars. Lachlan Monday, Ben Sterling, Nathaniel White, Scott Hill, Christopher Primer, Brad Stafford, Spencer Clements, Dean Masters, Mitchell Isergen, Paul French, Shane Edwards, Gordon Shaw. So Lachlan Monday leading the way. He is uh, 32.7 to Sterling's 33. It's only 3.10 tenths in it at the moment. I know this has been the uh, category Sterling's been uh, really wanting to run. Stadium trucks are a lot of fun to drive. Oh. I've still got to learn all these colours. I know... Uh, I know Monday's truck because it's uh, his normal colours. He's heading up uh, over the gamble through the curve. So uh, Monday currently leading. He's got the fluoro yellow truck with the yellow wheels. Oh, a little bit of a whip up on two wheels as he heads through the hairpin. He's coming his way down the straight. We'll see what this lap time is. Oh, it's a little bit slower for him this time. He has a uh, current fastest lap. Sterling now two seconds off Monday. Sterling didn't have a great lap, and the uh, gap between he and Staffo is very tight. So Staffo having a great run sitting in third. Only a couple of tenths separating second and third at the moment. That's Sterling and Staffo, but Monday leads the way. Our leader heads down the straight into turn one. A really tidy run for Monday so far. Just hitting all the curves down through the S's. His uh, truck looks set up perfectly. He's also doing a, uh, a rather good, drive, good, good job driving it. 
But Monday leading the way by 3.3 seconds. Another little whip on that tabletop. Things they're not doing with the uh, buggies. I, know, I reckon uh, Ray can put a bit more horsepower in that one. Need to pull more wheel stands down the front straight. Oh, just a little tidy coming out of the S. It just carried a little bit too much speed. Just a little sideways. Couldn't quite clear the first double. But he's stretching his lead Monday now with a five and a half second lead over Sterling. Lachlan looks like he's having a lot of fun out there with this one. Yeah, nowhere near enough horsepower in that thing. Need to be pulling some wheel stands over the bumps on the front straight. Oh, much better by Monday that time coming onto the doubles. Oh, almost, almost didn't make the second double, but he uh, grabbed some gas and made it over. A minute 24 to go, and Monday stretches the lead now out to 6.4 seconds. And he has the fastest lap. He's the only man in the 30s. It's a 30.9 for Monday. Sterling still sitting in second. He has a, uh, a big gap back to third. Monday continue to stretch his leads now. Eight second lead to Monday. Oh, just doesn't quite get the double double right that time. Doesn't cost him much time. Goes big over the gamble. Oh, he's just decided not to whip it. Actually, well, it doesn't look so spectacular. It's maybe a quicker way to go. Just on 37 seconds to go, and Monday now with almost a 10-second lead over Sterling. What can you do over double-double this time? Oh, much tidier. Just be aware, guys, on the gamble. The leader is coming through. I think it's Staffos. Yep, thank you very much. Oh, he goes the big whip that time. That time it did work, and it was quick. This will be a great time nine, for him. Let's see what it is eight, as he crosses the line. Seven, six, oh, it's five, a 31 4. Four, still half a second off his three, quickest lap. Two, one. Our leader heads down through the S's. You just, you've got plenty of time in hand, Lachlan, so just uh, be patient with some of these back markers. Might be safer for everyone. So, Monday with a 10 second lead. Sterling sitting in second. This will be Monday's final lap. Lachlan Monday done. Scott Hill done. So even Spencer with traffic, Clemens it was still done. a good lap. Lock, uh, even with traffic, it was Nathaniel still a good White lap done. for Monday. Brad Stafford done. Paul French done. And Sterling comes through for ben second. Sterling done. Christopher Primer done. So we should have all our juniors up on the grid, guys. All our juniors up on the Mitchell grid. Mitchell Isergen done. Uh. Shane Edwards done. Gordon Shaw done. All drivers are finished. The race is completed. that one right make sure you check yep oh, i didn't check that up right, next man, be, race number one junior we'll start. Right. i got a lot no the Keep numbers one of Lachlan Monday, nice run there, taking out TQ in Stadium Truck. Tell us a bit about that run. Um, yeah, it was just good fun getting out in the truck this morning. It's uh, yeah, haven't done a whole lot of running with it yet. I've only just kind of started running the truck, but I've uh, been really enjoying it so far. It's been an awesome car to just put down, just uh, get it out there, get some good laps, and uh, yeah, just have some fun, just get a bit of extra track time. It's good. Yeah. Just, for people watching, just explain the, the difference between driving a, a buggy and a truck. Um, well, the truck, the biggest difference is that the front and rear tyres are the same width. Um, so you, you definitely feel it's like it's a car that tends to oversteer a lot more than understeer compared to the buggy. Um, and also just a bit of extra weight, you've got to kind of slow down a little earlier for corners. Um, but yeah, overall you just tend to have a bit more grip available. Um, and it's, uh, you've got to give a bit more room to the kerbs, but otherwise it drives pretty similar to a buggy. It still jumps nice, still corners good. Um, it's just, yeah, just a bit more grip available and a bit more tendency to oversteer. Yeah. Before I let you go, Marshall, just when I talked to you about your run yesterday, P4, yeah. and four-wheel drive yesterday, yeah, yeah. tell us a little bit about that. 
Um, yeah, I was pretty happy with that. So, um, yeah, in qualifying, I was still looking for a bit more pace, just uh, honing my driving a little bit more, just trying to get used to the track a bit. Um, but by the finals, I felt really well sorted. The car was awesome and, uh, yeah, had some really good battles out there. And, uh, yeah, I was feeling really good by the end of the day. Lastly, you want to give any thank yous or shout outs? Um, yeah, awesome. massive thanks to the club. It's been an awesome event so far. The track's a lot of fun. And um, yeah, obviously, to my dad, always helping. Um, and uh, yeah, mum and my sister for all the support. And um, yeah, and obviously, all, to, to all my sponsors for their help. As I uh, yeah, couldn't do it without them. So yeah, thanks to all those guys. Great job. Good luck in the next one. All right, thank you. Really appreciate it. Hassan Omar. Guys, just Lincoln maybe let the guys drive out of pit lane. Mason if you put the car Fountain. there, it's just going to get taken Jack out and broken. Panic. Will Aiken. 45 seconds to the start of the race. Riley Lander West. Samuel Dal Santo. Ryan Kwok. Jasmine Monday. Saxon Gillett. 30 seconds to the start of the race. So guys, can you please just pull up on grid spot two and not do donuts or do anything? Just pull up. I don't want any broken cars. Just take it slow. Just take it slow. Come down the straight. All right, perfect. Great job, gentlemen. All right. Drivers, let's have lots of fun out there, okay? Let's do the best we can. All right, driver's ready, marshal's ready. Watch your cars. Will Aiken. Lincoln Isergen. Zach Panic. Ryan Kwok. Hassan Omar. Just keep going, buddy. Jasmine Monday. Samuel Dal Santo. Riley Lander. Caution West. the jumps, caution the jumps, caution the jumps. Saxon Gillett, Oliver Hyden, Mason Crompton, Jaden Venter. I just remember, guys, it's really slippery. Just take it a little bit easy. So Lincoln Isagen is the quick guy out there. He lays down the fastest lap to begin with. Zach panic up in two with a great time. So Lincoln is in a 37-1. That is an outstanding first lap. Zach panic in two. Riley Lander jumps up in a three. Finn Aiken four. Mason Crompton in five. Will Aiken six. Jasmine in seven. Hassan eight. Samuel in nine. Ryan ten. Saxon Gillett in eleven. And Lincoln comes through for another fastest lap of a 34.8. So Will Aiken now lays down the fastest lap. That's a 33.7. That's a second quicker than anyone out there. So Will Aiken heads through Kirby's curve. He's about to head down the hill into the horseshoe. Goes big air. Does it very well. Just be aware that Fluro car is the fastest guy out there at the moment. Oh, one of the faster guys out there at the moment. But Lincoln Isagen still leading the way. Will Aiken now jumps up in a second. He's 1.1 off Lincoln. Zach Panic doing a fine job in third and outstanding drive by Riley Lander West in fourth. Ryan Quack, who uh, showed some great speed last weekend to carry into this meeting. He's doing a great job in fourth. And Hassan starts moving his way up through the field. These guys are doing a great job for our juniors. Lincoln still holding the lead in this one. He's got a half a second gap back to Zach. Oh, it's seesawing between Will and Zach. Will now in two, Zach in three. Zach having an outstanding drive. So we'll just, uh, I think it's Lincoln who's uh, heading up the hill. We'll just check as he's about to head down onto the straight. 
Confirm I got the right car. It is Lincoln Isogen. He's just going over the tabletop. He's out in the lead. Heading up down the back straight. Through the S's. Here he comes over the uh, double double. So only 0.4 seconds separates our top three drivers. That's Isigen, Aiken, and Panic. All on almost identical times with a minute 20 to go. Will Aiken just jumps to the top of the times, pushes Isigen down one. And Zach Panic just fallen off the back of that pack a little bit. He's now 1.8 off the lead, but the gap between Isigen and Aiken is nothing with a minute to go. Who can throw down the fastest lap? Who can hold their nerve? Oh, okay. So they're almost in identical spots on the track too. Both of them are about to head down onto the sweeper, onto the straight. Aiken comes across that time. And he's now pulled a 1.1 second lead over Isogen. Isogen got stuck in a little bit of traffic that time. What can he do with some clear air in front of him? Oh, someone uh, cleans up pit lane. A solid hit. 20 seconds to go, and Aiken still in control of this one. Isogen sitting in second. Panic doing a fine job in third. 10, 9, 8. Ryan seven, Clock sitting in fourth. Six, Hassan five. five Riley six. Four, Mason seven. Three, Samuel two, eight. Jasmine one. doing a great job in nine. Finn Aiken in 10. Saxon in 11. So continue on till your name is called, drivers. Saxon oh, Joe second done. place car just got stuck Ryan on a back Clark marker. Done. Hassan Omar done. Will Aiken done. So Will comes across. I'm pretty sure Will's going to take Mandu this one. Done. Lincoln Isergen done. Oh, great job by Lincoln. Lincoln ended up two seconds off Will. So that was a great battle. Still waiting for Zach Panic to, Zach, uh, Zach Bannick, Panic to come across. Samuel Dal Santo done. And Finn Zach Panic comes through for third. Zach awesome Panic drive, done. Zach. Ryan Kwok in four. Done. Hassan five. All Riley six. Mason seven. The Sam eight. Jasmine nine. Finn ten. And Saxon Gillette in eleven. Up next, race number two. Two WD stock. Heat one of three. Lincoln Isigen, nice run there, P2 in that group of junior. Uh, tell us a little bit about that run. Uh, it was very nerve-wracking, um, but I think I did pretty good for what I usually do. I think you did excellent. How long have you been racing, RC? I think about four years. I'm pretty sure, yeah. What's your favourite part about it? Uh, just racing with my friends. You race with your, your family as well? Do you do? Yeah. How much work on the car do you do? Uh, I do a little bit of work, yeah, just... Helping out dad most of the time. You want to say hi to anyone, any of your family members watching the stream? Uh, hi, Mum. And Nan. They're watching. Excellent, buddy. Great job. Well done. And good luck in the next one. Thank you. Someone on six. We've got a few extra marshals. So. So, Lincoln, if you can just go and find a spare spot, maybe you go up to the, the top of the hill the near Gobi's Gamble, just run up to the very top near the big trees. And just help out up there because we've got an extra marshal. Okay, track is open. Bradley Shooter. Damien Absalon. 30 seconds to the start of the race. Todd Jolien. Leon Phillips. Sid Benjamin. Andrew Carrick. Paul Hickey. Jason Hollis. Mitchell Isergen. Spencer Clements. 15 seconds to the start of the race. Less than five. So 
So guys, please just pull up one, two. I don't want cars going backwards down the straight. All right, we're all good to go. Driver's ready, marshal's ready. Watch your cars. Damien Absalon, Jason Hollis, Mitchell Isergen, Paul Hickey, Bradley Shooter, Todd Jolien, Leon Phillips, Spencer Clements, Sid Benjamin, Andrew Carrock, Julie Gallimore.
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Leon Phillips Dunn, Todd Joel Yen Dunn, Spencer Clements Dunn, Damian Absalon Dunn, Mitchell Isergen Dunn, Jason Hollis Dunn, Bradley Shooter Dunn. Paul Hickey Dunn, Sid Benjamin Dunn, Andrew Carrick Dunn. All drivers are finished. The race is completed. Up next. Race number three, two WD stock, heat two of three. Chris Lander, Bradley Shooter, nice right there, P3 in that group of uh, two drive stock. Tell us a bit about that run. Uh, yeah, it went a lot better than the first one. The first one was very greasy and slippery. Uh, struggled to get the power down, but uh, this one was a lot better. Sun's been baking the track a bit, so yeah. Did you make many changes setup-wise between round one and round two, or just driving adjustments? I actually made a quite a big change. I, I set the rear toe to maximum of five and uh, increased the, uh, the ball stud at the back for the camera links. Uh, it just gives you a little uh, recap on your day yesterday. Uh, terrible day yesterday. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just blew an ESC, had to quickly swap that out between a race and uh, yeah, someone took my transmitter so I was trying to track that down for pretty much the whole time. Um, so yeah, it wasn't that great but yeah, we are for another day and we'll see how it goes. That's it, new day, uh, best of luck in the next one. Thank you very much. Thirty seconds to the start of the race. All right, we're all good. Fifteen seconds to the start of the race. Okay, we're going to get this underway. Put all our masks in place. Drivers ready. Marshals ready. Watch your cars. Christopher Primer, Ron Kirby, Chris Lander, Dan Marr, Glenn Andrews, Paul Sims, Trent Johnson, Robert Smith, Jeffrey Pitt, Dean Masters. We've got the old boys out in front. Lander over Prima. Lander with a 33.5 to Prima's 33.6. And Jeffrey Pitt sitting in third. Dan Ma four. Ron Kirby five. Primo comes across the line and he lays down the fastest lap. That's a 33.2 to put him in control. Good to see Chris Primo back here on the track. Haven't had uh, had him down here for a little while. Actually, I think he came down last week and just did a couple of laps, but prior to that, it's been a, a few years. 
He certainly hasn't forgotten how to drive. So Prim is just heading down onto the straight now. He's got that fluor orange and yellow car. A little bit of blue on the nose. And he now has a 1.4 second lead over Jeffrey Pitt. Prim comes down through the S's. Nicely over that second double. Just gets over the gamble. Loses no time there at all. Nice and tight as he heads down the hill. Into the horseshoe. A little bit wide. If you can just grab a little bit of concrete, there's a bit more grip there on the inside. And Primer extends his lead. He's now 2.4 in front of Jeffrey Pitt as Ron Kirby moves up into third. Oh, it's a seesaw battle between Kirby and Lander. Third and fourth. Nothing separating them. Dan Maher in five. Sim six. Andrew seven. Johnson eight. Robbie Smith nine. And Dean Masters in ten. And Chris Primer, com Primer comes through. That's a 34 flat. So still a bit off, bit off his uh, fastest. Jeffrey, Primer, uh, Jeffrey Pitt starting to close the gap on Primer a little bit. Primer up over the gamble. Just a little bit crossed up as he goes around the corner. Heads down the hill. See how good he is on the apex this time. Oh, much better. So much quicker in there that time. Oh, it's not a great lap by Prima and Jeffrey Pitt now jumps in the lead. He Jeffrey Pitt now has a uh, 0.4 second lead over Prima. Let's see, can Prima get this horseshoe better that time? Oh, yeah, it's getting better and better with each lap, and a bit tighter up on Cooper steps. Could be a better lap for Prima. 33.2 was his best. And that's a new lap uh, record for this, this heat. It's a 32.9 for Prima and puts him to the top of the table. Damien Absalon having trouble staying on his backside in the middle of the track. <laughs> uh, and uh, <laughs> I lost my concentration now. I just saw legs go in the air. <laughs> and here comes Prima. Oh, he's starting to find his way around that uh, horseshoe. Comes around onto the straight. 32.9 last lap. What is it, this one? It's a 32.9 again. So identical. He's starting to find some consistency, Prima. And he's now got a 2.2 second lead over Pitt. Prima been around for a long time. Seven, six, five, sure he's got four. a few... Uh, a few lessons two, for Craig. One. Oh, a little bit, of, oh, a bit crossed up in the horseshoe. I think Primer will get another lap after this. Christopher yep. Primer done. Oh no, he's done. I thought he was uh, started last. He's must start first. I think Primer will take Chris this. Lander I can't see done. Jeffrey Pitt. Oh, it actually Landers come through in second. Oh, it's just going to be tight. Pitt might still be able to get him. Dan Mar done. So no one's going to be beating Prima. Kirby done. But what can Jeffrey Pitt do? Jeffrey Pitt done. Oh, Pitt comes Paul in Sims third. Done. So the order is Prima Trent one, Lander Johnson two, done. Pitt three, Ma four, done. Johnson five, Sim done. six, Kirby seven, Robert Smith Robbie done. Smith in eight, All and Andrews nine, finished. Dean Masters in ten. The race is completed. Up next, race number four, two WD stock. Chris Lander, nice run there, P2 in that group of two-wheel drive stock. Uh, tell us a bit about it. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, it's an old car. It's the 2017 uh, Lacey 22 uh, 4.0. So just going around with the vintage. Uh, she goes all right. So, yeah, making up the numbers. Tell us a bit more about that, that Shazzy. What events has it done? Uh, what stands out to you in the memory bank? Oh, not all that much. Uh, maybe maybe a bit of club series. I don't race a lot of 10 scale, so... Uh, 
Um, just roll around with it and it seems to work right. I kind of know it a little bit and yeah, it just, yeah, makes the numbers up. So it's good fun. Tell us a little bit about your, your day yesterday, full drive. Uh, no, yesterday home, uh, soccer, mountain bike, uh, no running yesterday. So uh, yeah, rock up today and see how it goes. So, yep. uh, you want to give a shout out uh, say hello to anyone watching the live stream? Uh, just the boys up in Brisbane and uh, you know, Darren Steve Perry, my brother Greg Lander. Um, g'day guys uh, and see you in a couple of weeks. So Perfect. Good one, man. Thanks for the chat. Thanks guys. Nathaniel White, Daniel Collar, Justin O'Connell. One minute to the start of the race. Michael Stone, Andrew Salvagi. 45 seconds to the start of the race. Thirty seconds to the start of the race. All right, we move into our quick guys of the two-wheel stock. Dallas Gardner showed him how it was done last time. Can you repeat that? Michael Stone had all the speed, but just couldn't get uh, consistency. All right, cars are good to go. Drivers ready. Marshals ready. Watch your cars. Dallas Gardner, Michael Stone, Chris, Justin O'Connell, Scott Hill, Nathaniel White, Glenn Welch, Andrew Salvagi, Daniel Collar, Jim Coymanese. All right, all cars are away. We'll try and watch the gap of the first couple. All right, Gardner with a 33 flat. Stone a 32.6. Milton 34. O'Connell 33. Hill 34 flat. Nathaniel jumps up into four to the 33.7. And Salvaggi goes second to the table. So the current order is Stone and Salvaggi one and two. Two tenths separating them. Gardner three tenths off the lead. O'Connell, half a second off the lead. So it's those cars you can throw a blanket over and then we've got a little bit bigger gap. So top four cars. The green and white car of Dallas Gardner now lays down the fastest lap. A 32 flat. And he goes to the top of the times. Ken Stone respond. What else have you got? And Savaggi slots into second place. So the order is Gardner 1, the green and white car. Savaggi 2. Stone in 3. Oh, now Stone lays down the fastest lap and goes to the top of the table. A 31.88. The only car in the 31s, the white car of Stone. Oh, he's just had a little incident on the tabletop. That's going to push him back again. It'll mean that uh, the green and white car of Gardner is still in the lead as he goes up through the top of the track. He's heading down into the horseshoe. Dallas Gardner in the green and white x-ray. Green and white x-ray through Cooper steps. Down onto the straight. What's the lap time? Can he put down this one? It's a 32.5. He's super consistent at the moment. So Vaggie moves up in a second. Only one tenth off the lead. So the gap between the top two is nothing. Stone now two seconds back. So our two quick guys, it's the green and white car about to head down the hill into the horseshoe. And then we've got Andrew Salvaggi, who is coming over the double-double now with the uh, blue or orange sort of car, white wheels. He's up just in Kirby's car. Oh, he just got a bit crossed up. I think this is going to give, uh, extend Dallas Gardner's lead. So Dallas starting to show some authority in the two stock class. He's got a uh, one second lead prior to that, and now it's extended to one and a half. So Savage just dropped about a half a second on that lap, uh, which is not actually too bad. He got in a little bit of strife. He did well to get out of it. Dallas Gardner leads the way. Gardner just crosses the line. That's a 33-1, so not a great lap time for Gardner that time. What can Stone do? Stone goes fastest lap of the race, a 31-7. He's now only one second off the lead. 
So Stone in the white car coming over the double-double. He's now starting to close up on the back of Gardner. Gardner is the car in front, the green and white one. So that is one and two in position and also on the times. So what can Dulles respond with? A 31-7 from Stone and Gardner can put down a 32-2. And Stone's time that time almost identical to Gardner's. So there's now eight-tenths of a second separating the two cars. Just under a minute to go. Ken Stone continue to push and pull out that lap time needed. Jimmy, that's the quickest guy coming up behind you. Thank you, Jimmy. Here comes Gardner. Gardner, 32-2. What can Stone respond with? A 32-7. So Gardner extends the lead. It's now 1.3 seconds with 29 seconds to go. Gardner will get this lap and one more in. Looks like Stone's had a little issue. He's just dropped back a little Ten, bit. Nine, eight, seven, so Gardner's going get to get across for one more five, lap. Four, three, two, one. I'm pretty sure Stone will as well. And he does, but Salvaggi's now jumped up into second place. So the battle now is uh, more between for second place between Salvaggi and Stone. Oh, but Salvaggi lays down the Nathaniel fastest lap of the race done. on that final lap. It's a 31-6. If Garner can keep it tidy, this will be uh, his heat. But uh, Salvaggi Daniel is charging well hard. 1.3 second off the Dallas lead at the Gardner moment. Done. Garner does a 32-5. Might be too much to ask Michael Salvaggi Stone to bring done. that down, but it's going to be close. Can Salvaggi do another lap record? Andrew Salvaggi done. And Salvaggi, a fine lap, but it's just half a second Glenn off Welsh Gardner. Done. So Gardner ends up taking two from two. Salvaggi in three. Stone four. Welsh, a uh, stone three. Welsh four. Is Justin O'Connell still out there? He's done? Okay. Uh, Connell took uh, fifth anyway. The race is completed. So Salvaggi with the fastest lap, a 31.6. No, I didn't. Andrew Salvaggi, nice run there, round two, qualifying for two dry stock. Uh, yeah, tell us a bit about it. Uh, yeah, the confidence was a little bit not going into Q1. I had um, I had a little snafu with battery temperatures. I was like six degrees over ambient, so I just had to wait. Couldn't do a warm-up lap, so uh, first round was a throwaway, to be honest. So uh, going out there, tracks ramped up. The, I think uh, track temps like around 30 degrees and ambient's 20, so a lot better. Um, I, I crashed up on the step down, probably cost me about three seconds, but the car really came on uh, towards the end there, and I think um, we're going to have a really, really good run for the rest of the day. Um, yeah, I, I, it's all down to the driver, to be honest. The, the cars are doing their thing. So, yeah, uh, congrats to Dallas. I mean, uh, that, that locks him out for first or second on the grid. Uh, he's driving really, really well, and obviously got Stoney, who's mega fast as well. So I'm super pumped for another day of, uh, of, of fun. So, yeah, thank you. Uh, just before we go, we've got lots of people watching the stream from around the world. You want to give a, a quick shout out to everyone? Uh, yeah, uh, my mum and dad, my wife, they're not watching. I know that for a fact. Um, but uh, all, the, all the boys back home, um, uh, the whole AE team over in the US, believe it or not, they are actually tuning in. I've had Spencer Rivkin reach out saying track looks awesome, all that type of stuff. So we're going to have a fairly big contingent here for the Nationals later this year. So hi to everyone. Um, and yeah, book those flights because this track's amazing. Excellent. Good luck in the next one. Thanks. Bye. Thirty seconds to the start of the race. Okay, drivers ready, marshals ready. Watch your cars. Fifteen seconds. To oh, the don't start worry about that. Race. We are going. Ryan Andrews, Gavin Webb, Wade Keft. Patrick Carter, Jaden Brown, Paul French, Brendan Tucker, 
Stephen Hogginson, Adam Amos, Chris Osio, Ryan Reynolds. Can I just get Peter Seckold to uh, see Jerry, please? Peter Seckold. All right, Gavin Webb out in the lead in this one. So Webby just crossed the start finish line. He's going on the tables up, heading up the back straight. Down through the S's. Driving the TLR. He's about to head up over the gamble, perfectly over the gamble. Uh, lands nicely. Grabs plenty of concrete around there. He heads down the hill into the horseshoe. Just a bit wide on the horseshoe. Just got to try and get on that concrete. That's the fastest line. What sort of lap time can Webby put down this time? It's a 32.8. That's his fastest lap of this run. Let's see if we can better it again. Just a little bit wide off the back straight. Better through a double that time. He was super quick up here. Car lands so well over the gamble. See if he can hold it a bit tighter on the horseshoe. Oh, that's it. Proud of you, son. Oh, he let me down. That was going to be a new lap. That was going to be a fastest one. Here comes Webby down the straight. He's going to hold on to his lead because it's already 11 seconds. So Webby actually with 12 seconds lead over Keft. Brendan Tucker in three. Pat Carter four. I wonder if Pat Carter's two wheel drive is as fast as his four wheel drive. Oh, actually, Ryan Andrews' car looks good down the straight. It's like pulling wheel stands. All right, so Webby, oh, just a little bit of issue on the double-double, but he still has 12 seconds in hand over Kev. So uh, our fastest car is just heading, about to head down the hill into the horseshoe. Let's see if he can get on the concrete this time. Oh, beautiful, Webby. Keep it tight up here. That's it. We can just put a hole up together. It's going to be a blinder. So Webb now stretches his lead out to 15 seconds. So we've got Keft in two, Andrews three, Brown four, Carter five, Tucker six, French seven, Haggison eight. I will need a volunteer marshal for the next race, please. I will need a volunteer marshal for the next race. And Spencer Clements, if you could please come and marshal this one. So one minute to go, drivers. And we'll see what sort of lap time Webby can put together here. Keep it nice and tight. Oh, much better off the back straight that time. Just a single. Not doesn't. You don't lose too much time just on the single single there. Much safer. Car lands perfectly on the gamble. Looking like a nice tidy lap for Webb. Oh, he does it to me again. Just a little bit too quick up there. Maybe I've got to stop talking about his commentator's curse. Anyway, we're going to stick with Webb. We're going to get a good lap out of your son. Heads up the back straight. Yeah, that's it. Nice down through the S's. Or oh, just cases the first double, but doesn't hurt him too much. Ten, nine, Comes up the gamble. Eight, nails seven, it. Six, just through five, the curve. Oh, four, fast apex three, there. That's the best two, he's done through there. What's he got one. on the horseshoe? Looking good. Just keep it tidy here, Webby. This is going to be a good lap. Could be his quickest one. Webby comes down the straight. Gavin Webb done. And it's a 32-4-9. It's his fastest lap of the run. 
So Kev's still in two. Brendan Tucker done. Andrew's sitting in three. Ryan Andrews done. Paul French done. And it looks like Ryan Andrews Wade has Kef come done. through. I know oh Kev is going to take second. Andrews in three. We've still got a couple of cars circulating. Stephen Hogginson done. Okay. Jaden Brown done. And we've still got the uh, rocket ship of Pat Carter. It's probably got like a... What is a 4.5 in your two-wheel drive, Pat? With a mountain of Patrick boost and turbo? Carter done. Okay, all, all drivers, drivers finished. finished. So we just the get Spencer Clements to help marshal this one, please. And I need one volunteer, please. Just get one volunteer marshal. Up next, race number six. Two WD mod. Um, Two six. I think so. Wade Kef, nice run there. P2 in that group of two-wheel drive mod. Hey, tell us a bit about it. Yeah, no, it was a much better run than yesterday. I was really struggled with the four-wheel drive. Two-wheel drive's a lot, but heaps better this morning. Pretty happy with it. It's a good, good run. Give us some, some intel on the track. It looks like the sun's come out and uh, it's gripping up nicely. Oh, yeah, heaps better than the first run. Nowhere, nowhere near as loose in the arse, but it was pretty good. Uh, tell us a little bit about your, your RC story. How long have you been racing and how did you get into it? Uh, I'm a late starter. I've only been racing about two years, just at a local track in Katara. Uh, this is my second main event. It's a bit sketchy on the mod, but I'm hanging in there. Having a good time. What, what do you like most about RC? Uh, just the guys, just the group of guys you get to meet, learning all the new setups. Yeah, it's just great atmosphere. Love it. Give a shout out to anyone watching the stream. Uh, probably my wife. Love your heights. Good job and uh, good luck in the next one. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Volunteer there. Oh, that sounded bad. Yeah, it's sunscreen that. Yeah. Right. Yep. <laughs> Where are we short? Just on one? Just need a marshal on one. Did I end up getting Spencer out there? Oh, yeah, Spencer's in the middle there. Thank you, Spencer. So just need one volunteer on number one. Someone can just stand on, just right near the uh, fence. Just, you can just stand there. Number one doesn't do much. You've got one? All right. Driver's ready. Marshal's ready. Watch your cars. Oh. What are we waiting for? The race is going now. I'm sorry. Brad Stafford. Aleandro DeLorso. Jordan Kosick. Aiden Young. Michael Frieden, David Ryan, Matthew Lawrence, Shane Edwards, Mark Hallam, Connor Lawton. So just let everyone know we'll be starting to serve lunch at about midday, so in about two hours everything the food will be going again. I don't know if there's any soccer people here today. Maybe we'll have enough. We won't have people coming stealing it all. Alright, so Aiden Young leads the way with a 32-3. I'll just see if I can find Aiden on the track. Yeah. So Aiden just heading up the uh, hill, he's in Kirby's curve. Just about to head the hill, down the hill into the horseshoe. Here he comes. Just around the horseshoe. Up into Cooper steps. And Aiden goes, uh, well, actually drops down the times. We've got Lawrence up in one now. Lawton two, Staffo three, Hallam four. Young is in five. Edward six. So nothing between Lawton and Lawrence. So Lawton, I'm not sure, he's just about to head up the gamble. 
I'm not sure where Lawrence is. I'll see if I can find him. But uh, so Connor Lawton in the blue, or the bright orange and green car heading down the hill. So he's in second. Lawrence has just crossed the start finish line and going over the tabletop. He's heading up the back straight. That is our leader. Comes down through the S's. Got the fluoro yellow wheels with the uh, fluoro yellow, white and dark coloured back. Over the gamble, Lawrence goes. Gap between he and Lawton now, 1.2 seconds. Lawton, uh, Lawrence putting a really tidy run together on this lap. We'll see what he can do with the uh, lap time. The 32-2. Aiden Young now moves up at the times. He's set down the fastest lap. Of a 31.1, Aiden now sitting in second, but Connor knocks him off second. Connor Lawton sitting 1.2 off the lead. Just seesawing between Lawton and Young now. So Lawrence crosses the start finish line. He's now got a 1.8 second lead. He heads up the back straight. Down the S's. Just taking it easy on that first little double. Clears the second one easily. Lands well off the gamble. Minute 38 to go, drivers. And Connor Lawton puts in a fast one. He's fastest lap of the race. He's now only eight tenths off the lead. Here comes Connor Lawton. Trying to find where he's on the track. Connor about to head down onto the straight. The uh, orange and green car of Lawton down into turn one. Oh, he just loses a little bit of time on that lap. It's a, uh, he's now 2.3 off the lead. So Lawrence is uh, super consistent. Every lap out of the last five is all low 32s for Lawrence. Oh, a little bit of trouble for Connor up over the gamble. Just gets it a bit sideways coming into the corner. Lawrence looking super confident and consistent. Now with almost a three second lead. Lawrence well in control. Lawrence about to head up over the gamble in that fluoro yellow car. Thirty seconds to go, drivers. Lawton still sitting in second. Young third. Staffo four. Cossack five. Hallam six. Edward seven. And Staffo jumps up in the eighth. Oh, sorry, jumps up in the third. That's his fastest lap of the uh, race, that one, a 31 8. Young sitting in fourth. Lawrence continuing to stretch his lead. Now Ten, just over four seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Brad Stafford done. Aiden Young done. Jordan Kosick done. Connor Lawton done. And Connor comes through for second. Shane Edwards done. And Lawrence is definitely going to have this done. one. He's still on the track. He's heading down into the horseshoe. Here he comes up through the steps. Done. Down the straight Ryan for done. the final time. Let's see what Lawrence's last lap is. Matthew Lawrence Another 32. 32.5 for Lawrence. Super consistent. Alien Order is Lawrence, Lawrence 1, Lawton All 2, Staffo 3, finished. Young 4, Allen 5. Completed. Edward six, Cossack seven, Ryan eight, Breton nine, and De La Rosso in ten. Up next, race number seven. Two WD mod. Heat three of six.
All right, track is open. Noah Carter, Brian Lowe, Stephen Snedden, Jordan Hunting. One minute to the start of the race. Scott Giles, Dan Carney, Stuart McMahon, Andrew Cook, Thomas Camilleri. 45 seconds to the start of the race. Thirty seconds to the start of the race. All right, everyone checked off. Got one more car to come around. Fifteen seconds to the start All of right. the race. We'll cancel that clock. Drivers ready. Marshals ready. Watch your cars. Jordan Hunting, Brian Lowe, Noah Carter, Stephen Snedden, Thomas Camilleri, Andrew Cook, Scott Giles, Stuart McMahon, Dan Carney, Marius Venter. All right, so Noah Carter is uh, top of the times again with the fastest lap of this run of 31.8. He has a 1.2 second lead over Giles. I'll see if I can find Noah on track. I'm not sure if he has the same paint scheme as he did with his four-wheel drive. Also, Jordan Hunting now lays down a fast lap. And Noah is just behind him. So Jordan Hunting now coming down through the S's. And just behind him is Noah. They're our top two drivers coming over the double. Jordan going over the gamble. So Jordan Hunting now one second off the lead. So Jordan heading down onto the straight. So Stu, that'll be... Uh, Thank you. And our second place car is just about to start his way down through the S's. It's the dark grey car with the orange back. That is second place, our, our leader, sorry, of Noah Carter. So he's just going over the gamble. Thank you very much. The guy who just jumped the other way. So Noah just about to enter the horseshoe. There's one car in front of him. So our leader just about to head onto the straight. Thank you for jumping out of the way. And Jordan Hunting now jumps into the lead. The gap between Jordan and Noah now nine tenths of a second. Steve Snedden from Campbelltown Hobbies jumping up into third. Big thank you to Steve for his supporting this event. Scotty Giles in four. Cookie in five. And if you get a moment, go and have a look at his car. It is um, pretty cool. A lot of time and effort gone into it. A very, very unique design. Thomas Camilleri in six. Brian Lowe, seven. Dan Kearney in eight. Stu McMahon, nine. Jordan Hunting now to continuing to extend his lead. 1.8 seconds. Jordan just about to head down the hill. He's about to 
Down the jump into the horseshoe. Up into Cooper steps. And here he comes down the straight. He has a clear track in front of him. And he lays down the fastest lap, a 30.9. One minute to go, drivers. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Andrew Cook Dunn, Thomas Camilleri Dunn. Brian Lowe Dunn, Stuart McMahon Dunn, Dan Carney Dunn, Jordan Hunting Dunn, Scott so Jordan Charles Hunting Dunn, comes through with a good time. Noah Carter Dunn. Noah Carter put down his fastest lap of the race in the last lap. But Jordan Hunting's got this one. We're still waiting for Steve Snedden. Where's Snedden? Here he comes. Stephen Snedden Dunn. All right, all drivers all complete. All drivers are finished. The race is completed. Up next, race number eight. Two WD mod. Heat four of six. Steve Snedden, nice one there, P3, and that group of two drive mod. Tell us a bit about it. Yeah, uh, the car was really settled for me. Uh, had heaps of grip and all that kind of stuff, and I'm starting to feel one with the car. So, uh, yeah, so two-wheel drive, it looks like it's going to be a good day today. So uh, I'm looking forward to uh, a good run for the rest of the day. Just tell us a little bit about your day yesterday with four-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive, just... I couldn't just... I don't know, the car just didn't feel like I was matching with the car until the last final. It's always the way the older guys, you know, takes us a few little bits to get warmed up. But uh, I've got the car where I want it at the end, but, you know, the race is finished and, you know, and uh, the top guys got it, so they did really well. So uh, I'm just uh, happy to be here and having fun, and that's what it's all about. You guys are the major sponsor of this event. Uh, yeah, what have you got? To say to all the, all the racers that, that support you back in return for the support you give them in the clubs. I want to thank all the racers for supporting a family-owned business. We appreciate it. That's why we give so much back to all the clubs and the community and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, so it's really good. Thank you. Excellent. Thanks, guys. Much appreciated. Good luck in the next one. No worries. Thank you. <laughs> what number is that over there? 30 seconds to the start eight. of the race. So on eight. So that's Steve Snedden. Snedo running like a, a man on a mission. I just need one volunteer, please. I can't get this a race underway until I get one volunteer just in the center of the track. Anyone? A volunteer, please. Thank you, Connor. Less than five. Thank you very much, Connor. I just don't go, guys. Hang on. Let's we'll get there. Okay. Driver's ready. Marshall's ready. Watch your cars. Craig Lawton, Phoenix Eagleton, Hugo Tsung, Ben Panic, Kim Sotel, Lachlan Williams, John Philpot, Carter Sims, Gordon Shaw, Darren Pryor. So we got two juniors in a veteran sandwich. 
That sandwich is Lawton and Panic, and in between them is Eggleton and Sang, two of our very young drivers just refreshly moving to mod. Both of them doing an outstanding job. Lawton straight out of the blocks with a 30.8. He already has a 1.2 second lead over Panic, who's sitting in second. Williams moves into third, Eggleton four. All right, Lawton now with a 2.3 second lead over Panic. Eggleton in third, Williams four. Sortel five, Shaw six, Sang is now in six. So Phil Potton seven. We want to thank uh, everyone who's uh, jumped on the stream and watching. Make sure you give it a like and a share, please. But Lawton is leading the way with the fastest lap of this one. He has a uh, advantage of 2.8 seconds over Panic. Lawton up at the top of the hill. He's got the fluoro orange and blue car with the fluoro yellow wheels. Down into the horseshoe. And he's about to commence his way down the straight. Let's see what sort of lap time Lawton can put down this time. The 31 flat. Now heading down through the S's. About to start his way over the doubles. Doesn't quite make the first double. Lands just on top of the second. Oh, a little bit crossed up. Luckily, holds it all together. Doesn't cost him any time. Here he comes down the horseshoe. Will he grab concrete? Just a little bit wide. Just on two minutes to go, and Lawton with a four-second lead over Panic. So Panic, our second-place car, is up the top of the hill. Just coming around and about to head down into the horseshoe. Here comes Panic. A little bit wider than Sang. Down through the steps. Good run out of the steps for Panic, and he heads down. That lap time is a 31.7, which is Panic's fastest lap of the run. Panic still sitting 4.2 seconds behind Lawton. The car behind Panic is third. So Lawton is yeah, about yeah. just starting his way down the straight. Fluoro yellow wheels. Oh, caution down the straight. Oh, that could have ended very badly. Lawton luckily just pulled out of it. Lawton now with a four and a half second lead. I didn't see what happened. We got Phoenix Eggleton out of the race. Two and three. So Panic is two in the car behind. We just rolled over. That's Hugo. He's in third on the in the order. 40 seconds to go, drivers. Our leader, Craig Lawton, heads over the double-double. We'll see what lap time Lawton can put in this one. That's a 31-1 for Lawton. Nine, now with a six eight, and a half second lead over Panic. Seven, six, five, four. Three, They've got two, three cars all together one. at the top of the track. Work together, guys. Continue on to your name is called. Everyone's still live. Craig Lawton done. And Lawton takes this one Gordon by between seven and eight Lachlan seconds. Williams done. So 
The show done. Williams done. Ben Panic done. Panic done. Hugo Sung done. So the order is Lawton one, Panic two. Hugo Sung three. Done. Kim Safel done. John Phil Pot done. Carter Sims done. All drivers are finished. The race is completed. Up next, race number 9. 2WD mod. Heat 5 of 6. Lachlan Williams, nice run there in your two-wheel drive mod. Tell us a little about it. Um, well, I was going quite well. I um, had a bit of an incident where a car was stopped at the end of the double-double, broke my car. But uh, Marshall was nice enough to fix it for me. I went back back and going again. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. How are, you, how are you finding the track conditions? You weren't here yesterday for four drives. So, you, you, yeah, a little bit uh, new conditions for you? I actually was here yesterday for four. I wasn't here for practice, though. You may have been confused from there. But uh, the track's fun. Um, I love the new layout. Really, really nice and hard to get around, but it's also nice and high speed. So, yeah. Before you go, I just want to ask you what your, what your nickname is that everyone calls you around the place? Ah, uh, Spud. Where did that come from? When I was younger, my cheeks looked a bit like spuds. <laughs> and I mean cheeks on your face, not anything else than that. <laughs> yes, we'll leave that there. Hey, well done, good job, and uh, thanks for the chat. All right, thank you. Thirty seconds to the start of the race. All right, almost good to go. All right, drivers ready. Marshall's ready. Watch your cars. James Muha. Andrew Gillett. Brad Verco. Glenn Benetti. Samuel Muffet. Mitchell Pratt. Simon Healy. Ben Sterling. Paul Shannon, Josh Payne. Glenn Bernetti looking the quickest one out there at the moment. A 30.9. Muha 2. Oh, and Sterling comes through with a 30.5. Sterling to the top of the times. Bernetti 2. Muha 3. Gillett 4. Muffet 5. Payne 6. Oh, Sterling just had a bit of a shock on the double-double. And it's cost him a mountain of time. Sterling still trying to get hold of the two-wheel drive. He's muscling the thing around. A little bit different to drive than a uh, eight-scale buggy. Sterling was top of the times. Unfortunately, he drops right down to the bottom with that error. Muha now on top. Benetti second. Gillett three. Muffet four. Nice tidy lap by Gillett. That's his fastest or equal fastest lap. Gillett throwing, showing great consistency. Muffet starting to lay down some quick times. He's in a 30. That puts him up to third. The order is Muha, Benetti, Muffet, Gillett, Payne, Pratt, Sterling, Verko, Shannon and Healy. Oh, Sterling again just struggling with a double-double. Mate, just try single, single on the first one. And Benetti puts in another quick lap. That's his fastest. He's still top of the times, but Muffet is the man on the move. Muffet now up in a second. 1.4 off the lead. Sam Muffet in the fluoro yellow orange car coming in over the jumps.
He's heading down the hill into the horseshoe. Grabs a bit of concrete. I'll see if I can find Benetti. So Benetti is the uh, is about heading up the back hill. He's uh, the third car. He's got the fluoro yellow wheels heading down the hill with blue. So that is our leader. The blue car with the yellow wheels about to head over the gamble. Got a couple of cars in front of him at the moment. So Gillette, the car behind you now is the leader. When he gets there, just give him some space. I think it's Muha with the uh, green car. But Benetti, he's on a flyer at the moment. And then on track, Sam Muffet is actually behind him. Uh, I think that's right. Am I getting it right? Yeah, Sam Muffet is actually behind him on track and in time. So our top two cars are just about to head over the gamble. That's one. And Sam Muffet comes to the gamble now. That's two. Oh, Benetti just a little bit crossed up. That's going to help uh, Muffet. I think Muffet's going to be leading now. Benetti just got, got a bit crossed up coming out of the gamble. And here comes Muffet. And Sam Muffet moves to the top of the times. He has half a second lead over Benetti now. Both cars now in the S's. Oh, Benetti just coughs it up. He's now under a lot of pressure from uh, Muffet. So our leader now is the Fleur Orange and Yellow car going along the curve. So Benetti is second on the times, but first on track. They both come through the horseshoe. Sam Muffet grabs a bit of concrete. Here they both come down the front straight. 40 seconds to go, drivers. The gap between them, 1.2. And Muffet now, uh, sorry, Benetti now dropped down to third. And Payne has come up into the second position. So Josh Payne just heads over the line now in the white car. Oh, but it's bouncing between Benetti and, and Payne. There's only one tenth separating those two. But Muffet clearing the lead now by about two seconds. So the car behind you, Benetti, is the leader. Don't slow each other down, Ten, guys. Nine, eight. This will be seven, their last lap. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Mitchell Pratt with the, he's back in the field, but he has laid down the fastest lap of 30.3. Just lacking a little bit of consistency, but showing plenty of pace when he can put one together. James Muha done. Andrew Gillett done. And James Muha jumps up to. Oh no, Benetti does grab second. Samuel so Muffet Muffet one, done. Benetti two, Muha three, Gillett Brad four. Done. Oh, Josh is still out there. We'll see what time he can get in. Mitchell Pratt done. Ben Sterling done. Josh oh, and Payne Payne slots in on fifth. Gillett just gets in front of Payne. There you go. Simon Gillett Healy just give done. him a little jab in the ribs. Advantage Gillett. One each. Paul Shannon done. Oh, and Paul Shannon goes All full send. are finished. <laughs> the race is completed. Up next. Glenn Benetti, uh, nice run there. P3, oh no, P2 at the end, I think, in uh, two-wheel drive mod. Tell us, yeah, a little bit about that run. Yeah, it was a good run. Felt comfortable uh, towards the start. Got a bit shaky in the middle towards the end when I knew I was leading and drove a bit tight, made a mistake, and um, Sam Muppet drove nice and consistent sort of from halfway to the end, and that's why I lost it. But uh, still a good run for me, and the car felt really good. So, so what car equipment you're running? Right, running a B7 with Reedy right, Electronics. Where is home for you? Where do you do most of your racing? Mostly Keelor, but I head to Knox as well, so in Victoria. Can we give a shout out to anyone watching the stream back home? Uh, they're probably all here, to be honest, most of <laughs> my mates. So, but shout out to my travel buddy, Andrew. Um, he's always helping me out there on the track with the car, and uh, yeah, he makes the weekend much better having him here with me. Good job, man. Thanks for the chat, and good luck in the next one. Thanks, mate. He's out here. Donnelly and Barkler. Clearly the quickest in this uh, class so far. The start of the race. Just take it easy to grid position two, guys. I don't want cars turning around. Cooper, just pull up. Do not want cars driving the wrong way down the straight. We had a couple of near incidents yesterday. I would to hate to see someone with a broken car before the race starts. All right, drivers ready. Marshals ready. Watch your cars. Long 
Lachlan Donnelly Ari Bakla Lachlan Munday Jared Jordan Isergen Sexy Seckled Ben Jared King Matthew Cooper Nathan Healy All right, everyone's live. Let's see what our top drivers can do. And Barkler's already quick out of the blocks. It's a 30.1, and he is top of the times. Oh, Jared Mint jumps just in front of him. So Mint now the only driver in a 29, 29.8 for Mint. He is two tenths in front of Barkler. Second in three, Isogen four, King. Oh, caution the jumps. So Donnelly's all the way down in eighth at the moment. I'm sure he'll start pulling his finger out and start laying down some laps, but Mentz is in control. The Ari just goes into a 29.8 as well. And Barkler just now goes to the top of the times. Nothing separating Barkler and Ment. Isogen sitting in third. Donnelly's now jumped his way up to fourth. So we've got half a second separating our top three, Barkler, Ment and Isogen. Donnelly, another about eight tenths off the lead at the moment. We've got someone on their lead. Who's that? Oh, Monday's on his lead. That's going to hurt. That was a that was a uh, a slow marshalling spot. So it looks like Donnelly's starting to just make a little bit of time. He uh, he started in front of Ari, and he's just pulled a little bit in front, but Ari's still in the lead. Oh, Cooper's jumped up in the fifth. So the order is Barkler one, Mint two, Donnelly three, Isogen four, Cooper five, Seckold six, King seven, Cribben eight, Healy nine, and Monday in ten. Barkler with a 29.5, but Donnelly responds with a 29.3. Order still Barkler, Mint, Donnelly. Eight tenths of a second separating those three cars. Isogen about a second off the lead. Cooper three seconds off the lead. Barkler with a 29.5. Ment with a 29.5. Donnelly with a 29.6. So it is tight. Just on two minutes to go. The order. Barkler, Ment, Donnelly, Isogen, Cooper, Seckold, King, Monday, Healy, Cribben. We'll just jump on board with Men. He comes around the horseshoe. Um, so actually, he's now just going over the tabletop. So Men heads up the back straight into Smith's S's. Plenty of concrete there. And so two plates. Beautifully over the double double. Very tidy. About to negotiate the, negotiate the gamble. No dramas there at all. Through the curve. And Men heads down the hill into the horseshoe. Just a little bit off the apex. We'll see what this lap time is for him as he comes across. It's a 29.8 and Donnelly has now jumped into second place. Barkler now with a lead of 1.2 seconds over Donnelly. So it's Barkler 1, Donnelly 2, Ment 3, Isogen 4, Cooper 5, Monday 6. Who is? Okay, and the, um, I think it's King. You had the two fastest cars coming up behind you. So please give them space when they get there. The next two cars behind you of Donnelly and Barkler. Thank you very much, Jared. The gap now down to 0.7 a second between Barkler and Donnelly, and we have 40 seconds to go. Jared now 1.5 off the lead. Isogen 2.5 off the lead. Cooper sitting in a solid five. We've got Monday in six. Only a half a second separating Cooper and Monday at the moment. Back in the field. Then we've got Seckold for the battle up the front. Still 1.1 seconds between Barkler and Donnelly. Monday puts in his fastest time of the run to, 10, to jump up nine, into fifth. Eight, seven, six, five. Will they get another lap Three, in? It two, will be tight. One. I think they will. 
All drivers still on the lap, and Ari puts in his fastest lap of the run. Ari with 1.2 second lead over Donnelly. What can Donnelly do to respond? Just realize Healy, Healy, that's the Mark leader behind you. Done. Healy and Ben, the leader is behind you. Just carnage, guys. Need some brains to be used here. Sexy cycle done. Lachlan Donnelly done. And Barkla's gonna done. take it. Ari Barkla done. So Barkla Jared one, King Donnelly done. two, Ment Nathan three. Ben done. Isogen four, Jared Monday done. five, Seckold six, Jordan Cooper Isogen seven, done. Healy eight, King nine, finished. and Cribben ten. The race is completed. Up next, race number 11. Stadium truck. Heat one of one. Ari Barker, congratulations. TQ, round two of modified here, two wheel drive day. Tell us a bit about that run. Uh, it was sketchy at the end, uh, lots of traffic. Um, guys didn't want to yield. Two cars crashed over the back uh, step up. Um, and I literally closed my eyes and uh, went wide <laughs> to avoid them. Um, Apart from that, the car was good. The track was uh, track was a little bit grippier. Uh, we didn't make any changes from Q1. The track, you know, we knew the track was going to get better uh, in terms of grip level. So the balance was there. Um, yeah, so it was good, perfect. Obviously, the victory yesterday in, in four wheel drive. What did you uh, do to celebrate last night? Uh, no, actually, nothing. Nothing. Pizza and uh, bed basically need to relax uh, today uh, is important as well so we'll have a crack today and see how we go just to tell everyone watching how it feels to you know still be on top of the young guns that are coming through after so many years so many titles to your name but you know you, you still got it yeah you have no idea how hard this is as you get older um, it's uh, yeah it's very 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 hard um, the kids, I'll say the kids, the young gentlemen are very, very fast. Um, and I'll be honest with you, like I'm probably still, I feel like I'm driving good, I'm, I'm, I'm fast, uh, I feel confident. Um, it's just the nerves a little bit, uh, you know, and uh, your reflexes slow down a little bit, so that can catch you out. But otherwise, you know, it's, it's good, it's hard, but it's good. It's good fun. Excellent job, man. Well done, and uh, good luck in Q3. Thank you, guys. Cheers. All right, we're all good to go, just about. All right, driver's ready, marshal's ready. Watch your cars. Lachlan Monday. Ben Sterling. Scott Hill. Brad Stafford. Nathaniel White. Gordon Shaw. Shane Edwards. Spencer Clements, Mitchell Isergen, Christopher Primer, Paul French, Dean Masters. All right, Lachlan Monday in control. Picking up where he left off. A 30.6 is his fastest lap, but Sterling in a 31 flat for his fastest. So Sterling getting quicker and quicker as he learns the track and gets used to these 10 scale cars. I've got to say, for someone who doesn't do much 10 scale, he's doing an outstanding job. So after this, there will be a little break while we do a regrade and we'll allow people to change their numbers. So um, there'll be a, uh, a minimum of a five minute break while everyone gets themselves sorted. I might have to uh, duck off to the little boy's room.
Oh, and Sterling definitely keeping Monday honest in this one. There's only a one second gap between Monday and Sterling. So I'll see, see where Sterling is. So just caution on the front straight because that's the leader. Oh, I think oh, Monday's got a broken car. That's... So Sterling now in control of this one. I didn't see what happened to Monday's car. But the uh, front end has collapsed. But let's see what sort of lap time Sterling can do. He's got to try and get down to uh, Lachlan Monday's 30.6. Sterling already at 30.7. So we'll, uh, the grey car going through the horseshoe, that's Sterling. Coming around the sweeper onto the straight. Oh, just a little bit sideways, manages to hold it. Oh, Sterling all out of shape. This is not going to be a good lap for him. Let him gather his composure on this one and then we'll hit him up for a good lap next one. Two minutes to go, drivers. Sorry, I'm still Yep. So here he comes down the horseshoe. All right, let's see what sort of lap time we can get out of him. Come on, son. Down the straight into turn one. Oh, a bit tidy at that time, but grabs as much curb as he can. Up the hill. A little bit wide into the S's. Just struggling with the back end on entry. Okay, the leader is holding over the gamble. This time. <laughs> he threads the needle. Oh, my God, with unbelievable confidence. I just closed my eyes when that one happened. He's laying down. Let's see what sort of lap time he can put in this one. It's got to be special. Oh, and it's not special. That's disappointing. 31.5. Come on, Sterling. Let's get it together. So Sterling, a little bit of traffic in there. Leader in the double-double. They move out of his way. He's giving it everything. He's just got to try and uh, maybe enter the corners a tiny bit slower and just not lose the back end. See if he can grab a bit of concrete down here. Oh, that was much better through the hairpin. A little horseshoe. Here he comes onto the straight. The orange car, blue car, the leader behind you. And he does. It's a 29.7 for Sterling. The fastest lap of the run so far. Has he got any more in him? 38 seconds. Oh, he's... Didn't lose too much time, but not great over the double-double. Heads up through the gamble. Beautiful around there as he heads down the hill. How far does... Oh, he full send. That was super quick. That's the best he's done down the hill so far. What has he got this time? Ah, uh, 30.4. Just lost it. In, lost all that time in the double-double. I think this eight, will be his final lap. He's seven, just coming up a little bit of traffic. Six, five. Much better One, over the double that time. Three, he looks two, like he's having a blast one. out there with the truck. <laughs> Got a little bit of tr traffic to negotiate. This will be their final lap. Throws a nice whip in. Jams it up the inside. Now, that's how tight you need to be, Sterling. That was awesome. Here he comes down the straight. Slipstream. Ben Gets across Sterling the line. 31-2. Slipstream Brad didn't help Stafford him, unfortunately. Done. Scott Hill done. Shane Edwards done. Gordon Shaw done. I just Nathaniel get Ben Cribben White after done. this race, please. If I get Ben Cribben and, and maybe Jared. Jared, can I just see you for a sec after this? Yeah, just after this race. Nothing important. Dean Masters done. Christopher Primer so Sterling done. with his best lap Paul at 29.7. Mitchell Isergen done. Spencer Clements yeah, done. Gonna get a couple of members who just blow the track as well, finished. please. The race is completed. Best deal in round two of qualifying for Stadium Truck. Uh, you got the TQ spot. How does that feel? Yeah, mate, it sort of played in my favour. Obviously, lucky he was unfortunate to have a DNF in that one, so it sort of made it a bit easier for myself. But my car's, well, my truck's actually really, really good. Um, I haven't really worked on it all that much. It's only like my third pack I've ever done in the car, and uh, I'm slowly getting used to driving truck again, and it's one of my favourite classes, you know. I love truggy in, in eighth off-road, so this is as close as you can get in tenth off-road, so I'm loving it. It's always true when, when uh, Pete Cooper was on the mic, talking you up to, to get that hot lap. 
Yeah, I know. I was pushing pretty hard because I was obviously getting egged on by him, so which was awesome. And um, you know, I thrive off that sort of pressure, so it was good to just try and do a clean lap and end up getting into the 29s, which is the fastest I've ever gone around here with a two-wheel car so far, even out of my buggy. So I was uh, pretty stoked with that. Just tell everyone what kind of equipment you're racing. Uh, running a Schumacher cars, um, L1R in four-wheel, uh, LD3 dirt in two-wheel, and ST2 in truck. Any other thank yous or shout-outs? Uh, just all my sponsors and uh, my wife and daughter at home and the rest of my family that always support me for all the races. I uh, appreciate it all. And thanks for you guys. Thanks for you guys too. Uh, it's our pleasure, mate. Congratulations and good luck in the next one. Thank you.
All right, guys, the grid listing is about to get posted. We'll get Junior Stock uh, up to the grid. Junior Stock up next. We'll have Stadium Truck out to Marshall, please. So Stadium Truck out to Marshall and Junior Stock on track. We'll get your race underway as soon as we can. Grid listing is going up now. So everyone, please check your car numbers. There has been a reseed. Okay, hang on. We just need to add someone's lap. So jun juniors, please get your cars ready. <laughs> hang on guys, this has been a lap counting issue we need to resolve. Yes, new numbers. Here, let me give you a list. This is the junior list. That is correct for junior. Can you put it up? So just, yeah, pop that one up. No one, no one in mod. Oh, no. Do not check. Mod numbers are likely to change. All right, so just there'll be a numbered adjustment in the first heat of mod. Pat Carter will move up a couple of spots, but no changes to the heats. So, check online. so check online. Online is correct. I'm just printing another one right now. Right, have we got all our marshals out there? So I need, um, I have missing two marshals, so stadium truck, we should have plenty of guys out there. We need all our stadium truck drivers out there. I know we had a break, but if you can try and get back here as quick as you can, please. So all stadium truck drivers, we need Sterling, Monday, Stafford, Shaw, Hill, White, Primer, Edwards, Masters, Isogen, and French. So we've got Spencer Clements is doing an, another race just to help us out. So we're just still waiting on our marshals. Who are we waiting on out there? There's Staffo coming out. Have we got, uh, I can't see, is Lachlan Monday out there? Lachlan Monday, you need it to marshal please. Is he? I can't see. I heard a yell. Thank you. Um, is there any other spots we need filled? All right. We just get all the dads off the track. These painful dads. Like, what's going on? All right, driver's ready. Marshall's ready. Watch your cars.
Lincoln Isergen, Zach Panic, Ryan Kwok, Hassan Omar, Riley Lander West, Jasmine Monday, Mason Crompton, Samuel Dal Santo, Finn Aiken, Saxon Gillett, Oliver Hyden, Jaden Venter. All right, everyone's away. So Will out with a great start already. It's going to be difficult to... Uh, the, the second and third car at the moment look very similar. So it's going to be hard to tell them throughout the day. So Zach Panic is behind, but he's actually quicker. Oh, Hassan's already put it in a flyer and he's moved up into second. So after one lap, the order is Aiken, Omar, Panic, Isogen, Kwok. And Del Santo jumps up in the fourth as well. So guys, just remember all work together. If there's a faster car behind you, just sort of move wide and let them go through. We don't want to battle and slow each other down. So heading down in the horseshoe, we've got a couple of quick guys. Just all work together. So down the straight, Hassan. So all those guys are actually right in the battle. So Will Aiken one, Hassan Omar two, Ryan Kwok three, Riley Lander West four, Jasmine Monday up into five. Great drive by Jasmine. Samuel De Santo in six, Zach Panic seven, Finn Aiken eight, Lincoln in nine, Mason in ten, Saxon in eleven. So Will Aiken just crossed the start finish line. He's laying down some fast ones. We'll try and find where Hassan is. Hassan just crosses the start finish line now. That's our second place. Ryan Kwok, who's uh, apparently, where's he jumped down? No, he's just dropped down through the field a little bit. Lincoln Isigen jumps right back up to where he stays back up in a four, so he's moving up through the field. But Will Aiken, well in control of this one. He's got a three second lead over Hassan. Great to see Hassan doing so well in this one. So Will has a two and a half second lead over Hassan. Hassan has a, a six second lead back to Riley. So Riley Lander West up in third. The order's all mixed up from where they started, but uh, we've got some of our younger drivers doing an outstanding job. Aiken one, Omar two, Landy, Lander West three, Isogen four, Panic five, Aiken six. I think that was Ryan Kwok. He was, he was doing really well. He's just had a little rollover. But Hassan is definitely keeping Will Aiken honest. There's only three seconds separating first and second. Hassan's putting in a blinder of a run. I think it's Hassan just coming through the jump section. He's about to go over the gamble. Got a bit of clear air in front of him. Oh, he just rolls it over and he gets stuck on the pipe. Oh, that's unfortunate. He was flying. I think he'll remain in second. He's had a pretty large gap back to uh, the third. We'll see what it is. So Astan still has a uh, about a 3.6 second lead over the third place. So Will Aiken one, Omar two, Lander West three, Isigen four, Panic five, Jasmine Monday in six. Jasmine killing it out there today. All right, 40 seconds to go, drivers. Will Aiken well in control. He now has a 13-second lead over Hassan. Lincoln Isigen's just bumped his way up into third. Riley Lander West is only almost on identical time to Lincoln at the moment, so it's going to be really tight for that third place. And Zach Panic is honing in. Zach Panic is starting to put some good laps together and he's getting onto the back of them. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, drivers, continue on till your name is called. 
All of our juniors doing an outstanding job out there. Just remember, drivers, please ensure all your numbers are correct on your cars after the resort. Finn Aiken done. Mason Crompton done. Lincoln Isergen done. Hassan Omar done. Zach Panic done. Riley Lander West done. Samuel Dal Santo done. Ryan Kwok done. All right, so we're just waiting on Jasmine and Saxon. Jasmine Monday done. Uh, Saxon's got a drive shaft come out, I think. I think that's a poor mechanic, I would call that. <laughs> I'd be looking for a new mechanic there, Saxon. This guy, not much experience, doesn't really know what he's doing. Hassan Omar, nice run. P2, and they run there for Junior. Tell us a little bit about that race. Yeah, it was a good race. So it started off, I, I had a clean start, which I think really helped throughout the whole race. How long have you been racing, RC? Maybe five to six years now, maybe. Oh, actually, no, three to four years, yeah. yeah. What's your, what's your favourite part about it? It's just the excitement of racing people. Just, so it's just really fun. Yeah. Uh, do you get your hands dirty? Do you work, work on the car much? Yes, quite a bit. Yeah. My dad helps a lot as well. Yeah. Is there anyone else you'd like to thank? Yeah, I'd like to thank my dad for helping me out a lot. My little brother, he's done quite a bit as well. And of course, my mum, she's also helped. Fantastic job, really well done, and good luck in the next round. Thanks. One minute to the start of the race. All right, we're all good to go. Track is open. To the start of the race. Jason Hollis, Paul Hickey, Todd Jolien, Mitchell Isergen, Bradley Shooter, Sid Benjamin, Andrew Karak, Leon Phillips, Spencer Clements. 30 seconds to the start of the race. Fifteen seconds to the start of the race. Less than five. All right, don't go on the computer if it does get there right before me. Oh, it's, oh, I just got there in the nick of time. So I haven't got Dean Masters checked off yet. Is Dean Masters out there? Dean Masters. How many cars we got? Two, four, six, eight, nine. Okay. If someone can just help him just to speed up the process, please. So everyone, just please check your numbers. Make sure your numbers are correct. In the pits, we have a resort. Please get your numbers correct. Okay, Dean just put him Masters. at the back. Driver's ready. Marshall's ready. Watch your cars. Jason Hollis. Bradley Shooter. Mitchell Isergen. Paul Hickey. Leon Phillips. Spencer Clements, Todd Jolien, Dean Masters, Sid Benjamin, Andrew Carrock.
All right, just on 30 seconds to go, and Bradley Shooter in the lead of this one. Leon Phillips in two. Hollis three. Julian four. Clements five. Higgy six. Benjamin seven. Isingen eight. Masters nine. And Kerrick rounding out the ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bradley Shooter done. Jason Hollis done. Dean Masters done. Leon Phillips done. Paul Hickey done. And Bradley Shooter takes this one by 5.9 seconds over Jason Hollis. Phillips in three. Todd Hickey Joel four. Done. Spencer Clements done. Mitchell Isergen done. Andrew Carrick done. Sid Benjamin done. All drivers are finished. The race is completed. Up next, race number three. Two WDs. Leon Phillips, uh, not a bad run there. P3 in the end. I think you just dropped down a spot right on that yeah, last lap. But yeah, tell Car us a bit about that run. Well. Car feels great. Track tracks on on par. You know, it's going really well. Yeah. How are you coming with, with this track, mate? It's got jumps and bumps in it. Oh, are no, you more mate. of an on-road racer? A different to on-road, that's for sure. But loving it, mate. Fantastic. Good bunch of guys hanging around. A lot of banter. Yeah, you normally see it on on road track. What's brought about the the racing and off road this weekend? Oh, I mate, started getting into a bit of the vintage stuff over the past, and then thought I'd take the next level up into this. And uh, yeah, yeah, so still still keep a bit of on road stuff going on as well. Keep me out of trouble. <laughs> Have you got a favourite car class now? Yeah, I love the stock, mate. Love the stock two wheel drive. So I'd say definitely that. <laughs> Uh, you want to give a, a shout out? Lots of people watching the stream back home, I'm sure, cheering yeah, I'll, on. I'll give a shout out to Flint and Dash. They should be here, the Slack O's. <laughs> awesome, mate. Well, good job there. Uh, best of luck in round four. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Good to see you, Tony. You too, man. Robert Smith, Damian Absalon, Paul Sims, Jeffrey Pitt, Chris Lander, Dan Marr. 45 seconds to the start of the race. Thirty seconds to the start of the race. Fifteen seconds to the start of the race. All right, drivers ready. Less Marshals ready. Watch your cars. Daniel Collar, Chris Lander, Dan Marr, Jim Coymanese, Jeffrey Pitt, Glenn Andrews, Trent Johnson, Paul Sims, Damian Absalon, Robert Smith. As they come through, Chris Lander looking the quick one out there. He's on a, a 32.7. Jeffrey Pitt, a 32.9. Paul Sims jumping up in the third. Collar, Collar in four. Johnson five. Coy Manor six.
Oh, caution the jumps, caution the jumps. Jumps is clear. All right, Collar now in control of this one, but not by much. He's on almost an identical time to Lander. Collar with the fastest time of day, a 32.3. But he only has three one hundredths of a second in front of Lander. Jimmy sitting 1.3 off the lead. See if we can find where Collar is on the track. I think he's headed down the straight. So, yep, Collar just crossed the start finish line. Heading up over the table, so up the back straight into the S's. He has a lead now of half a second over Lander. Oh, a little bit crossed up after a double double. I'm just checking. I think Lander is directly behind him, actually. It is. So Lander, Lander now moves up in the lead. So Lander is behind on track. So he's actually just the car behind Collar. But he is 1.1 in advantage on the timing. So the, uh, the two cars going over the gamble. That's our first and second car. It's actually second and first on track. So the fluoro yellow car is currently the leader. Coin Manus is sitting about another one point. Oh, it's about 1.3 seconds off the lead at the moment. He's just coming into the horseshoe now, but the battle down the front straight. Collar and Lander, 1.3 seconds separating. Lander throwing everything he can just to get onto the back of the car. Oh, Collar just grabs a little bit too much pipe. Really lucky it doesn't slow him down. They head down the hill, over the jump, into the horseshoe. Or oh, Lander with a bit tighter line, a little bit quicker through the horseshoe. The gap between the two remains the same. And their lap times are only separated by a tenth of a second. And Jimmy now closing the gap onto the back of Collar. So Jimmy putting in a fast one. And he's almost in second place. So the battle between the top three is tightening up with just 42 seconds to go. Who can throw down a fast lap? Close up that gap. Here comes Jimmy down the straight now. What will this lap do for him? Jimmy three tenths off second place now. So all three cars charging hard. Just be aware, back market. That's yep. So Jimmy coming over the double double. He singles the first one. Plays it nice and safe. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. These two, guys may they'll get one. one more lap in. I think. Yes, they will. Continue on, drivers. Continue on. Continue on till your name is called. Jimmy's still on lap two. So our leaders head up through the gamble. Dan Mar done. Trent Johnson done. Collar's just heading down, about to go through the horseshoe. He's got land all about five meters back. Glenn just Andrew's keeping it nice done. and safe. Here they come to cross Paul the line, Sims and we'll done. see what the finishing Daniel results will be. Done. Chris Lander done. So it's definitely Lander one, Damian but can Hacksaw Jimmy done. get Collar? Robert Smith done. Actually, I think Jimmy's had Jim a bit of an Point incident. He's slowed done. down, so. Jeffrey Pitt done. Oh, Jimmy actually drops down to All four. So it's Lander finished. one, Collar two, Pitt the three, Coy Manus four, Johnson five, Ma six, Sim seven, Andrews eight, Absalon nine, and Robbie Smith rounding out the ten. Up next, race number four. Two WD stock. Heat three of three. Daniel Collar, nice run there. P2 in that group of two wheel drive stock. Tell us a bit about it. Yeah, no, it went pretty good. I just tried not to make too many mistakes and just keep it smooth and, and just try and bank one. So I struggled a bit this morning, but yeah, I'm um, just getting balanced with the car. So yeah. Was that, was that track conditions with the, the sort of the um, watering overnight? What was the, yeah, what were you struggling with? 
yeah, very slick this morning. Um, but the grip's definitely up now, and yeah, just try to keep it smooth, and yeah, we'll see how we go. Yeah, just trying to get some confidence with the car, to be honest. So. How long have you been racing, RC? I uh, started in 2019. Um, yeah, from Keele or Victoria, and just um, got it instantly addicted as soon as I had the remote in my hand, to be honest. So, but yeah, so. Which aspect of RC do you enjoy the most? Racing, wrenching, or the banter in the pits? Yeah, probably the competition and just meeting new people that have the same interest in connecting. You know, it's just um, to travel events like this is just great, just to have some good buddies and yeah, share knowledge and stuff like that. But you're always learning and yeah, I enjoy it. So. Can I give a, a quick shout out to everyone back home? Um, yeah, thanks to my family for letting me travel. Um, been away all weekend. Um, and just thanks for the club for a great event. It's been really fun, so, yeah. Fantastic. Good job there and good luck in round four. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Justin O'Connell. Christopher Primer. Ron Kirby. Michael Stone. Andrew Salvagi. Please try not to drive the wrong way down the straight, gentlemen. Once again, to all the mod drivers, please check your numbers. Ensure you have the correct number on your car. Uh, is the reason why we have a car driving down the straight? Wrong number? Can someone just put the correct number on that car? I think it is Glenn and Welsh. It should be a five. There's no one being fairly lenient at this stage. So three should be Michael Stone. Who's the AE car on the outside? That shouldn't be a three. Is it Justin O'Connell? I think it might be Justin O'Connell. Can we just quickly throw a six on that? Ready. Marshall's ready. Watch your cars. Dallas Gardner. Andrew Salvagi. Michael Stone. Chris. Glenn Welch. Justin O'Connell. Scott Hill. Nathaniel White. Christopher Primer. Ron Kirby. Oh, now leader. Oh, look at Robbie Smith move. The feet of a 14 year old. I've never seen Robbie move so fast. Yeah, we have got a different people out here. Have we had a need it for Robbie after that one? <laughs> Salvaggi, quickest one out there at the moment. Salvaggi in one. Stone back one tenth. White back eight tenths. O'Connell back eight tenths. So the top four, less than a second separating. But Dallas, way at the back of the pack at the moment. That rollover did hurt him. He should be going to give uh, Robbie Smith a case of beer after that because that was a uh, unbelievable effort in marshalling. Yep. Oh, and Stoney's... Yeah. Okay, so Stoney's had a rollover. He's dropped back to six. Savaggi in control with Nathaniel White in two. Nathaniel's about one second back, as is Welsh. So, um... Very tight for second place at the moment between White and Welsh. O'Connell about another second back. So the order is Salvaggi one and Salvaggi lays down a faster slap. He now has an advantage of two seconds over Nathaniel. Stone moves his way back. Oh no, O'Connell. So Stone still sitting in fourth. 
Stone currently 3.6 seconds off the lead. Salvaggi well in control of this one. Long way to go, just as we pass the uh, two minute mark, three minutes to go, but Salvaggi well in control. Salvaggi heads down the straight, up over the tabletop. We'll just jump on board with Salvaggi for a minute as he comes through the double-double. Clears the double-double perfectly. Big chunk of concrete at the end of that. Nicely over the gamble, the car lands perfectly. Salvaggi just putting super nice tidy lines together. Just half a foot wide on the uh, horseshoe, but everywhere else has been perfect. This will be a quick lap for Salvaggi. And it is his fastest lap. It's a 30.3. Salvaggi, the only car in the 30s at the moment. No one else even close. I say that, and then Stone goes into the 30s. Stone with a 30.8, but he is almost six seconds off the lead currently. So Vaggie continue on with some very tidy lines. Oh, much better in the horseshoe that time, all over the concrete. This will be another quick one for Savaggi. Will he better it again? Oh, it's a 30.5, so still a really quick lap. Not quite as fast as his best. We'll see if we can get Savaggi in the 29s. It's going to have to be a uh, perfect lap to put in the 29s. So, yeah, there's uh, just air in front of Savaggi. No one to hold him up. No one to impede him. He's got the track all to himself. He crosses this time. It's a 31-4. We'll continue to work on it. With one minute to go, we still have Nathaniel White in two. O'Connell in three. Oh, Stone just jumps up in the three, but it is super tight between Stone and O'Connell. Milton sitting in five. Welsh six. Prima seven. Gardner eight. Hill 9 and Ron Kirby in 10. What an amazing effort by Ron Kirby to put it in the A. Or in the top heat so far after seeding. Yep. Yes, Ron. He's coming down the hill. So Nathaniel, oh, Michael Stone moves his way up in a second. I don't think he's got anything on Salvaggi. Salvaggi still with a Six and a half second lead, but Stone moves to two. Nathaniel sitting in third. So Nathaniel's just heading down through the S's over the double double. Ten. But Salvaggi now stretches his lead eight, out even further. Seven, seven point five six, seconds for Salvaggi. Five, four, three, two. Stone one. in two, white three, O'Connell four. Oh, Milton's had a shocker. He was right up in fourth. He's now dropped down to ninth. Andrew Salvagey done. So Salvaggi ends Michael up with Stone the fastest Dunn. lap of a 30.3. Stone's fastest lap is a 30.8. So that's half a second advantage Glenn to Salvaggi. He did have plenty Dunn. of uh, clear track in front of Nathaniel him, but uh, Stone was Chris pushing Dunn. like hell. Salvaggi just cruising around. Scott Hill done. Christopher Primer done. Great drive by Primer to put Ron it in Kirby seven, Dunn. and Kirby to round out All the ten. All drivers are finished. The race is completed. Up next, race number five. Two WD mod. Heat one of six. Nathaniel White, great run there. P2 in the end. Uh, two wheel drive stock. Tell us a bit about it. Uh, yeah, that's a complete change for my qualifier. So really happy to get a bit of extra speed there. But um, top guys are pretty fast. So you just got to keep it on its wheels and keep it consistent. Give us your, your thoughts on the track layout and the new design that they've, uh, they've come up with recently. Uh, it's awesome, uh, challenging, but when you get it right, it's, uh, it's really great. But um, yeah, it's, it's awesome. So I'll talk to you a little bit about your bodies. They look super fast, just standing still. Uh, yeah, tell us about the colours you run and who, yeah, who prepares your bodies. 
Uh, Mark's done my bodies, um, asked them very nicely, uh, pretty pleased with sugar on top and he got them done for me, so really happy. And so far they're not too damaged, so hopefully I can keep it that way for the rest of the day. <laughs> so you want to give a quick shout out or thank you to anyone watching the stream? Yeah, sure, just thanks to Campbelldown Hobbies. Uh, they're here all day and been here for the whole weekend. They've got everything that you need and um, yeah, they're awesome. Well, uh, thanks for the chat and good luck with the next one. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Excellent. Just walking around, hanging him out now. Race. Only allowed to be have one voucher per person, please. I don't want Ari getting in there trying to grab a couple of vouchers. The start of the race. Oh, yeah, massive thank you to Campbelltown Hobbies. Um, they're just handing out some vouchers from Camden Town Hobbies randomly through our competitors. The the race. Thank you very much for supporting our uh, club and this event. Definitely couldn't do it without Camden Town. All right, we'll get this one Last underway. Five. We'll go on the clock. Driver's ready. Marshall's ready. Watch your cars. Michael Frieden. David Ryan. Wade Keft, Jaden Brown, Patrick Carter, Dan Carney, Brendan Tucker, Stuart McMahon, Paul French, Stephen Hogginson. All right, Jaden Brown out in front here. Fastest lap is a 32.6. We've got Keft in second place. Dave Ryan in third. Fretton four. French five. McMahon six. Carter seven. Tucker eight. Kearney nine. Haggison in ten. So all the drivers for the uh, next race, just please stay on the uh, on the ramp rather than on the stand. I know you're trying to get a sun, but we don't want to make noise and affect the uh, drivers in the current race. Just remember to be silent. Don't talk. All right, we just passed the halfway mark of this one. Jaden Brown still leading. 1.7 seconds over Keft. Ryan, three. Fretton, four. French, five. McMahon, six. Carter, seven. Tucker, eight. Kearney, nine. Haggison, ten.
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Wade Keff Dunn, Jaden Brown Dunn, Michael Frieden Dunn, Brendan Tucker Dunn, Stephen Hogginson Dunn. Patrick Carter Dunn Dan Carney Dunn Stuart McMahon Dunn Paul French Dunn All drivers are finished. The race is completed. Up next, race number 6. 2WD Mod Heat 2 of 6 Jaden Brown, nice one there, P2 in that group of two-wheel drive mod. Tell us a bit about it. Uh, it was a bit rough, to be honest, at the start, but I started finding the groove. Some of the jumps, they just they got bumps in them, so I, especially on that back corner up there, it feels a bit unstable. And it's a bit of a gamble sometimes with those landings, but it was pretty fun. How long have you been racing, RC? Uh, I think I'm just up on two years now. Okay. Yeah. What was your first first car? How'd you get into it? Uh, my dad bought me a HPI Blitz when I was, I'd say, about five or six. That was my first one, and <laughs> I had it until a couple of years ago, so it lasted me. What do you like best about racing RC now? Oh, just the adrenaline, honestly. It's you get your heart pumping up there and you come down and you just feel great. Can I give a, a quick shout-out or thank yous to anyone watching the stream? Uh, thanks to Darren Pryor from RC Race Control. He's the one that brought me down here and I um, bought all my kits from him, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Well, good job. Thanks for the chat and uh, best of luck in the next one. Yep. Yvonne <laughs> Smith earlier. Thirty seconds to the start of the race. All right, guys, track is open. I'm sorry. Aiden Young, Gavin Webb, Darren Pryor, Mark Hallam, Jordan Kosick, Gordon Shaw, Shane Edwards, Scott Giles, Thomas Camilleri, Ryan Andrews. Almost good to go. All right, drivers ready, marshals ready. Watch your cars. Gavin Webb, Gordon Shaw, Thomas Camilleri, Ryan Andrews, Jordan Kosick, Aiden Young, Scott Giles, Darren Pryor. Mark Hallam, Shane Edwards.
All right, with uh, three minutes still to go, Darren Pryor in control of this one. Shaw two, Camilleri three, Cossack four, Edwards five, Andrews six, Aiden Young seven. So Aiden once again with the fastest lap of the race, but just cannot string two of them together. Got the speed, just lacks consistency, whereas Pryor, quite the opposite. He's got some uh, decent times, but they're all, all very, very close together. So Pryor good, showing uh, excellent consistency. He's currently got a 1.2 second lead over Shaw. Oh, we'll take that car off the track. Looks like Webb has had an issue. The car has stopped. Just put it down, Marshall, and continue to Marshall. Leave the car, please, Jaden. Put the car down and continue to Marshall. Yep, okay. So he is just going to double. The... So Darren Pryor in control of this one. Darren Pryor just to start his way down the hill. Over the jump into the horseshoe. Just a touch wide on that apex. Here comes Darren Brown onto the straight. Oh, Darren Pryor just drops down into second with that lap. Sure into one. So Darren Pryor now sitting in second place by 0.4 of a second. Can Darren respond? Darren comes around and up over the gamble again. Little whip. See if there's heaps of time to be made in that horseshoe. If you can just get it on the concrete a little bit. Just sucks the car in and helps pull it around. See what sort of lap time he's got down this time. Pry ends up with a 32-1. Seven tenths off the lead. Shaw continues to extend that lead. Pry throwing everything at it. Much tidier that time over the gamble. That will help him. Thank you, that car who just moved out of the way. I think it's Ryan Andrews. And Pryor comes down and he just missed out Apex, but still quicker than what he has done. This should be a very tight lap for Pryor. The 31.6, so that's a good lap for Pryor. It's uh, pretty much even with his fastest lap. He's now 0.3 of a second offshore. If he can continue to 10, string some of those together, nine, eight, he's half a chance seven, to take this heat. Six, but Gordon Shaw is doing five, a great job out front. Four, three, oh, Pryor goes one. nose down, massive wing high over the uh, step up. Jordan Kosick done. Ryan Andrews done. Shane Edwards done. Scott Giles done. Gordon Shaw done. Thomas Camilleri done. Mark Hallam done. Darren Pryor done. Aiden Young done. All drivers are finished. The race is completed. Up next, race number seven, 2WD mod, heat three of six. Uh, just talking about Darren Pryor, great run there, topping out that group right at the end. Tell us about that two-wheel drive mod. Oh, just a little bit nervy, just having a bit of bad luck today, so I had some turns around, but yeah, it is what it is, having some fun anyway. That was, a, that was a good run, though. You've got to be happy with that one. Yeah, it was tight enough, but not yeah, what I want to do, but yeah. Guys, the car's a bit funny, but yeah. So there we go. Yeah. You're pretty pretty much all in when it comes to RC. Just tell people watching, uh, yeah, what do you get up to for your day job and where do you do a bit of racing? Oh, I actually have, have an indoor RC track and RC race patrol, yeah, and we race there regularly, and that's pretty much our, my job, so yeah, that's what we do. So, yeah. What aspect of RC do you get the, the most enjoyment out of? Racing, working, helping? Oh, 
it's, it's, it's basically more fun, you know, not really seriously. I don't know. I don't know take it more of a, you know, it's sort of serious, but not really serious, you know. Like, it's, it's just what enjoy, enjoy having time off, you know, come racing and rather than be at work. So, when you're not at work and you're racing, it's a good day. So. Before we go, you want to give a, a shout out or say any thank yous to anyone? Oh, just one guy, because one guy's always helped me in the shop and he's always there. So thanks to Shane, anyway, when, even though he's not here today, but he's always a good help no matter what. So I owe a lot to him, so that's it. Yeah, he's a good help. You know, I appreciate it. Fantastic job. Best of luck in the next one. Thank you very much, mate. All right, driver's ready, marshal's ready. Watch your cars. Carter Sims. John Philpot. Matthew Lawrence. Stephen Snedden. Brad Stafford. Paul Shannon. Aleandro DeLorso. Andrew Cook. Brian Lowe. Connor Lawton. All right, we might uh, we'll take a look at car number one, Carter Sims. If he drives his car anything like his four drive, it's uh, exciting to watch. Car number one heading down the front straight now. One of those drivers who looks totally out of control when he's in control. Heads up a hill in the S's. Yesterday in his four wheel drive was outstanding. The car was drifting everywhere. It looked wild, but he was quick. It is a rear mount car, which is uh, a little unusual these days. Let's see what he can do with it. I expect to see a bit of uh, sliding around all the corners with that weight, that pendulum. Here he comes down the front straight. Pretty quick through turn one. Car's looking pretty good. Okay, so we have a Sanwa M44 that's been taken by mistake. It is Pat Carter. And apparently the foam in it is manky as... How did you say it? I'm not sure I can't say that word. It is manky. <laughs> so someone has picked up Pat Carter's radio. Uh, if you can please return it to Pat Carter and just maybe swap radios. It's an MT44. So anyone who's picked up a Sanwa or has a Sanwa MT44... Please find Pat Carter. You better find Pat Carter before Pat Carter finds you. Still Sims? All right, so we'll just swallow the white car. Here comes Sims again down the straight. He's looking pretty tidy. He's currently in front of Lowe by two seconds. So Carter is leading the way, but the blue and white car... Heading down the hill is Brian Lowe is in two. So here comes Sims over the jumps with his rear mount. Yeah, let's uh, jump on board with Andy Cook. Here he comes. He's about to head. He's going through Cooper's steps. And he's going to head down the front straight. He's, uh, apparently this is an RC10. Not much RC10. Uh, Andy Cook, a bit of a mad scientist when it comes to cars. It looks like a... Uh, like a dogfighter style body. Old school dogfighter. He's even got a bit of a Masami stickers on the side of it, I think. Andy Cook been around for a long time. Dead set gentleman of this sport. He's got a fast charging Connor Lawton trying to get past him. Oh, and Cook pulls a big wheel stand down the front straight. Just be aware, you've got Brian Lowe behind you. Cookie He's one of the quick guys. Thank you. And there's the leader. Thanks, Cookie. Here he comes with his uh, yeah, Yokomo Dogfighter RC10. That did have a, uh, a name. I can't remember. I know it had a 36. It was related to the 1989 Worlds and a few other things. 
Um, go and have a look at the car. He's done an awesome job with it. Uh, lovely bloke could have a chat with anyone. All right, Carter swims. Carter swims. Carter sims well in control. Oh, caution straight. Caution front straight. Caution front straight. Caution front straight. Front straight is clear. Lucky we've got Jerry the ballerina prancing across the front straight to grab that one. Carter sims with a uh, five second lead over Philpot. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Oh. Five, Lawrence in third, four, Staffo three, four, Snedden two, five, Lawton one. six, Del La Rosso seven, low eight, Cook nine, Shannon in ten. Carter Sims done. John Phil Pot done. Andrew Cook done. Matthew Lawrence done. Brian Lowe done. Stephen Snedden done. Brad Stafford done. Aleandro Delorso done. Connor okay. Lawton done. All drivers are finished. Oh, the race is completed. There should be nine. All right, we're missing one car at the next Up heat. Next, race number eight. So forward mod, we should have WD mod. Sterling, Voca, Verco, Hunting, Panic, Pratt, Sotel, Williams, Carter, and Healy. Is it Carter because he hasn't got a radio? Oh, sorry, it's Noah Carter, not... So, Verco, is Verco around? We haven't got a Verco on the grid yet. Brad Verco, are you coming? Okay. Andy Cook, nice run there, I think. Uh, but the talk of the town is what car you're running this weekend. Uh, yeah, tell us a bit about it. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, Tony. Um, yeah, the run wasn't so nice, but, uh, yeah, my car is a prototype that I've created, RCX 36. So it's a bit of a RC10, uh, sorry, uh, um, B6.4 um, geometry, and I've created like a, a retro-looking car, so vintage sort of uh, style, like the 89 and the 91 Masami cars. The, the body stands out to me as well. <laughs> On Friday practice, I was out getting some footage. So yeah, tell us the story with that one. Yeah, it's um, it's the it's the good old yoke 870C, um, classic uh, style. Um, so I had it at home, and it sort of fitted the shape quite well. So I thought, yep, that's that's fitting for the retro look. In the vintage style, yeah. What other projects you got cooking away in the in that brain of yours? Well, there's, there's a few. Um, so we've got like a, a low C uh, Pro SC uh, conversion that we're looking to have ready by the Bash 3.0, and uh, also a McLaren MP44, sort of like a, a retro um, on-road vintage car. Where can people go if they want to check out a bit more stuff on, on what you're up to? Uh, yep. So I've got my website, so Grand Prix 3D.com, so the number three, and my Facebook page as well, um, Andrew Cook. So. Yeah. Awesome, mate. Love what you're doing. It's uh, yeah, awesome to catch up again. Uh, thanks for the chat and good luck in the next one. Brilliant. Cool. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> Is it just eight who we need to replace? He's Cookie. He's coming over. If you just walk around the track, if you can just start walking around. Okay, we're going to go with the tone. I didn't mean you, Cookie. I actually meant Darren Pryor when he leaves. You can walk around the track. <laughs> ben Sterling. Brad Verco. Jordan Hunting, Ben Panic, Mitchell Pratt, Kim Sotel, Lachlan Williams, Noah Carter, Simon Healy.
All right, see as they come through. Currently, Verco, the quick one out there with a 31.8. We'll see what Carter can lay down. Carter's been quick, so is Healy. Okay, so Verco, the man to beat at the moment. Verco out there with a, uh, a small lead over Panic. It's Verco, Panic, Williams, Sterling, Sotel, Pratt, Hunting, Healy, Carter. So Verco's heading down the straight now. Verco remains in the lead, but he and Panic are basically tied on time. You could throw a blanket over the top four. Top four, Verco, Panic, Sterling and Pratt all on almost identical times. So just work together, guys. Give each other space. Unluckily for uh, Panic, he's telling the issue, but Sterling has now laid down the fastest lap and moved just one tenth in front of Verco. So Sterling now out in front. He's just heading up over the gamble. Verco in two, Panic three, Pratt four, Williams five. Oh, that's hurt Panic. He's dropped down to fifth with that little error. We're just nearing the halfway mark of the race. Two minutes 30 to go. Sterling one, Verco two, Williams three. Verco only half a second behind Sterling. Sterling, oh. Just remember guys, faster car comes up behind, just give him some space. Oh, Panic's not having a good time now. He's now rolled over, it's gonna drop him right towards the back. We've uh, got Hunting just heading down the front straight now. He's currently sitting in fifth place, but starting to lay out some quick laps. Sterling increasing his advantage. Actually, I'm getting mixed up between drivers. That was Sterling. So Sterling head down the straight. He's increasing his advantage by 1.5 seconds. Yeah, just yeah, it is Sterling. So this got very similar cars, very similar coloured cars. So here comes Sterling down onto the front straight. So Sterling now with 1.5 second advantage over Verco. Pratt sitting five seconds off the lead in third. Sterling goes up over the gamble. A little flick of the front wheels. Putting together a very tidy lap here. Just on the concrete, perfect line through the horseshoe. Here he comes down the front straight. What's the lap time will this be? It's a 30.6, super quick lap, and it stretches his advantage over Verco out to 2.4. So with 38 seconds to go, Sterling in command with a 2.4 second lead over Verco. Williams sitting in third. So I think this will be Sterling's last lap. Let's see what sort of time he can lay down. Ten, nine, He's been pretty eight, consistent. Seven, pretty consistent six, in the uh, high five, 30s. Four, three, pretty much the two, only driver in the high one. 30s as well. Oh, beautifully through the horseshoe that time. Grabs plenty of concrete, just helps rotate the car. Ben Sterling done. All right, so Verco still in second. The orange car crosses Brad the Verco line. Done. Verco Noah finishes all, uh, almost four seconds behind Sterling. Pratt currently sitting in third. Here comes Pratt down the front straight. What sort of lap time can he lay down? Mitchell Pratt done. Jordan Hunting it's done. It's going to be tight between he and Healy. Ben Panic done. Can Healy get him in front of Pratt? Simon Healy done. 
No, he Ken can't. Only three tenths done. separates those two. Lachlan so it's Healy from Hunt. Um, All drivers are finished. Pratt, Healy, the Hunting, Williams, completed. Sortel, Panic, and Carter. All right, now we move into class. It may not be vintage cars, but there are some Race vintage drivers. Two We've got, we've got Gillett, Payne, Lawton. Brad Verko, P2, and that group of two will drive. Uh, yeah, tell us a bit about that run. I shouldn't be here. I didn't win. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, good, uh, fairly good clean run. Uh, just a bit nervous towards the end. Dropped a couple of seconds, but uh, happy to be uh, in second overall in that run in the C. So hopefully that puts me mid B, hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Uh, that'd be great to uh, get back in the B final after B final yesterday. Uh, Modifier is not my normal class, so uh, happy to be around the pace. Just give us your thoughts on, on the new track design they've come up with. Uh, it's really challenging. I mean, first glance, it looks actually quite simple, really. Uh, but all the constant radius corners where you have to get on power through the corner um, is really difficult to get the car to be set up. Uh, but, yeah, it's a very different track to what we've done before, so it's uh, tough. I just want to go back in time a little bit. Can you go back and tell us what your first RC car was? Uh, Tamir Hornet. I, Mum bought it when I was about 8 or 10 years old. Uh, we bought it, we opened the box, looked at it on Christmas Day, think, holy shit, how do we do this? And uh, put it back in the cupboard for about three months and then uh, took it to a hobby shop in Penrith and uh, we had it built and played with it from there. Before we go, do you want to give a, a quick shout out or thank you to everyone watching the stream? Uh, thanks to Campbelltown Hobbies uh, for the continued support of both myself and the uh, hobby in general. Uh, I can't say more, enough about those guys and uh, R1 Works for the help as well. Great job. Best of luck in the next one. Cheers, bye. How's the hobby ring going? Hints to the start of the race. Less than five. Drivers ready. Marshals ready. Watch your cars. Jared King. Glenn Benetti, James Muha, Andrew Gillett, Craig Lawton, Josh Payne, Phoenix Eggleton, Nathan Healy, Hugo Tsung. See how they go, but Jared King lays down a 30.9. Lawton a 31.1. So the order is King, Lawton, Sang, Healy, Benetti, Gillett, Payne, Eggleton, Muha. Benetti just lays down the fastest lap of the race and moves into the top of the times. That's a 30.6 for Benetti. Gillett's moved his way up in a third. Little mistake by ben Benetti. I think only a, a minor one. And Lawton. The legend jumps up into the top position with a 30.4. And Healy just comes in a better. So our top two on identical lap times at the moment. That's Healy and Lawton. King only setting a tenth off. There is 0.4 of a second separating top four cars. Four, still separated by six tenths of a second. That's now King, Benetti, Healy, and Gillett. 
Pain not too far off. All right, just under two minutes to go. We got Healy in the lead by three one hundredths of a second over King. Gillett now sitting only two tenths off the lead. So we now have a three-way battle for the lead. There is two tenths in it with a minute 30 to go. So Healy stretches his lead a little bit. Gillett now nine tenths off the lead. Order, Healy, King, Gillett, Lawton, Benetti, Payne, Muha, Eggleton, Sang. And Gillett lays down a fast time. Craig Lawton still with the fastest lap of 29.6, but Law uh, Gillett lays down a 29.9. A That'll place him within five, uh, nine one hundredths of the lead. On Hill, he's just dropping down to third. King now in control of this one, but he and Gillett are locked on times. Oh, I think healy has got an issue. I think he's out. It goes King, Gillett, Lawton, Bonetti, Payne. Still, the battle is for one and two. Nothing separating these two guys with 20 seconds to go. Lawton in the fight, too. He's only about one and a half seconds off the lead. So it's See what King Ten, and Lawton nine, jumps in the second. He's eight, less than a second off the lead seven, now. So Lawton six, was on a, on a flyer. Five, Lawton four, heading down the hill. Three, two, Make sure the, the, the orange and blue car coming up behind the green car. Give him some room. He is flying at the moment. Oh, Lawton just gets a little bit crossed up. Thanks for jumping out of the way. I think it's James Muhar. Jared King done. What can Lawton do? He is sending everything he can King's Ryan way. Benetti King's done. now across the line. Andrew Gillett done. Craig Lawton done. And Lawton James ends up coming in second behind King. Seven tenths off. Josh Gillett Payne will done. take third. Benetti fourth. Payne fifth. Muha six. Phoenix Eggleton done. We're still waiting on Hugo. I think or is he out? Here he comes. Hugo Tsung done. All right. All, all drivers, drivers finished. finished. The race is completed. Up next, race number 10, 2WD Mod, heat 6 of 6. Jerry King, nice run there, talking about that group of 2 drive mod, uh, yeah, tell us a bit about it. Yeah, um, obviously we started off BQ and first in the B, so I think that helped um, give me a clear track, so I just knuckled down and just cut some clean laps and got the job done. So. How are you finding this weekend and, and getting to grips with the, you know, the new layout and all your gear and everything working together? Yeah, love it. Um, I think there wouldn't be a person here this weekend that would say that the track is um, not good. So we're starting to see a blue groove and um, yeah, it's really enjoyable, enjoying it. Just uh, go back in the memory banks for us, a few people, were, how they got into RC. So what was your first car? Um, it was a Duratrax Evader, I think, gas truck. So um, used to be a gas truck specialist back in the day, one tenth gas truck. And I think it was a Duratrax Evader. So, yeah, um, when I was about 12, 13 years old, yeah. Obviously, you've done a lot of events. Can you, can you tell us your most, your fondest memory from, a, from an event? What's your, what's your favourite event or most fondest event memory? I think it'd have to be first two-wheel drive national title, St Ives, 2013. So, that one meant a lot. Good. You want to give a, a shout-out to anyone watching the stream? Yeah, shout-out to the kids, the wife. Let me come down and, and have some fun. And, um, obviously, X-Ray much more and raw speed for the support. Great job, man. Best of luck in the next one. Thanks, mate. Cheers.
15 seconds to the start of the race. Less than 5. Ari Bakla, Lachlan Donnelly, Jared, Lachlan Munday, Jordan Isergen, Samuel Muffet. Cushion the jumps, cushion jumps. Ben, Matthew Cooper. I think Craig Lawton might have just done his Hartledge. <laughs> Never seen him move so quick. As they cross over, looks Donnelly in control of this one. Lachlan Monday with the almost identical time to uh, Donnelly. They're out by one one thousandth of a second. So Monday has found some speed. He's going to throw it down to Donnelly in this one. Barkley had a little issue, which has dropped him to the back of the field at the moment. So Donnelly heads down the front straight. Drops into the 29s, a 29.7 for Donnelly. Monday jumps to the top of the times to the 29.4. So Monday now, the man to watch. I'll find him on, the, on track. Monday coming through the double-double now. Fluoro yellow wheels and a yellow and green body. Heads up over the gamble. Currently advantage to Monday. Donnelly three-tenths off. Monday comes through Cooper steps down onto the front straight. What will he do this time? It is a 29.5, so another super lap, and he extends his lead out by five tenths. Monday is on the charge. Here he comes through the double double again. Beautifully down ramps. Up over the gamble with a little whip, lands nose down. Perfectly around the horseshoe. He is charging. He's putting in some seriously quick laps. Here comes Monday. What is this one? The 29.7. Donnelly eats a little bit into it, but still advantage Monday by two tenths. Mentz sitting in third. Then Isagen, Barkler, Muffet, Cooper, Cribben, and Seckold. Oh, just a tiny bit crossed up. Lost one or two tenths up the top of the gamble. He heads down the hill. A little whip perfectly around the horseshoe. Here comes Monday down the straight again. What has he got? It's a 30.7, still advantage Monday by 0.4 over Donnelly. This is where the battle's at. Monday one, Donnelly two, meant three, and Barkler's moved his way up with the fastest lap into fourth. Barkler now 4.3 off the lead, but lays down the fastest lap, a 29.4. Monday's coming around onto the straight. It's going to be tight this time round. Remains in the lead by two tenths. So it is just seesawing by tenths between Donnelly and Monday. Two of A's top drivers. One Victorian, one New South Wales. Monday having an outstanding drive. Hasn't put a foot wrong. The worst he's done, he's been off an apex by about three inches. And it's going to be tight this time. And Monday remains in the lead by nine one hundredths of a second. There is nothing between Donnelly and Monday. So Donnelly has a fast charging Barkler behind him, but Barkler is behind by three places. Monday has clean air. Oh, it's going to be tight this time around. And Jared Mint jumps to the lead. He came from nowhere. So Mint, there is now six tenths of a second separating top three cars. Mint, Donnelly and Monday, all AE drivers. 40 seconds to go and it is advantage Mint. All these cars pretty much on the straight at the moment. 
Oh, Donnelly lays down a flyer. What's it going to do? Donnelly now in advantage. Now four te uh, eight tenths of a second separating top three. Donnelly meant Monday drops back to third. Barkler in fourth, and Barkler is catching. Ten. Barkler still with the fastest lap eight, of the race at 28.9. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Almost. Ari Barkler done. Oh, Barkler doesn't get the extra lap. Everyone else still on a lap. Continue on till your name is called. Donnelly now in the lead after that one. There's nothing between men Jordan and Isaac Donnelly. We're talking hundreds of a second. Whoever put this lap together will take this round. Donnelly meant Met Donnelly. Mark Who's got done. it? Donnelly comes through the horseshoe. Sexy Seckle done. Ment follows Matthew him through. Cooper Ment done. just sitting behind. Ben Dunn. Who can get Locking it done? Donnelly done. Jared and Dunn. Jared takes it by three tenths with the fastest Locking lap of the race Dunn. on that last lap. All drivers Jared Ment lays down a 28-9 to take that round. We need one volunteer marshal just on Up the next, 10 spot, please. So we just need one 11. volunteer marshal on 10 spot. Stadium truck. Heat one of one. Jared, man, absolutely thrilling finish to round three of qualifying. You got the TQ spot. Talk us through that race. We did it. We got an interview this weekend. I mean, that's what I was after. I felt like I came out a little bit slow after some changes, but the car came to me. We saw your dad doing an adjustment at the start of the race. What was he? Yeah, can you tell us what he was doing? Uh, in the warm-up, it just felt like my slipper was slipping a little bit too much, so I asked him to adjust it a sixteenth of a turn, and the sixteenth did it. Um, just talk us through the, the changes you've had to make to, to get the pace today in the track layout. Yeah, so, I mean, the first two rounds, it really felt like I was lacking a lot of corner speed. I've, I'm on my third body. That one freed it up a bit, and I went a little bit softer oils just to get the car to roll a little bit more. Just tell everyone what car and equipment you're running. Running the new team-associated B7D, Reedy Power, uh, I would like to say J Concepts Rubber, but we're on control tyres this weekend. Any other thank yous or shout outs? Huge thanks to my dad, huge thanks to all the boys in the pits. We're working hard this weekend. Awesome job, man. Uh, yeah, can't wait to see what happens in the next one. Good luck. Thanks. Gordon Shaw, Paul French, Christopher Primer. 45 seconds to the start of the race. Thirty seconds to the start of the race. Fifteen seconds to the start of the race. All right, we'll go with the computer. Less than Drivers five. ready, marshals ready. Watch your cars. Ben Sterling, Lachlan Monday, Brad Stafford, Gordon Shaw, Scott Hill, Nathaniel White, Christopher Primer, Shane Edwards, Spencer Clements, Dean Masters, Mitchell Isergen, Paul French. All right, so this should be an exciting battle between Monday and Sterling. Monday unlucky in the last one. He was out in the lead but broke the front end. Sterling got to do some laps and find some speed. Monday was outstanding in that last two-wheel drive race. He's starting to make a little bit of a gain on Sterling. Oh, Sterling just off the track, allows Monday through. It'd be good to Sterling just sit behind Monday for a couple of laps. See where he can make up some time. Oh, Monday, a little crossed up coming onto the uh, straight. Sterling just struggles a little bit with the back end and corner entry. Just unloads a little bit, just... So Monday with a uh, two-second lead over Sterling. Daffo doing a great job in third, then White, Hill, Shaw. Pushing in the jumps.
All right, just over a minute to go, and Lachlan Monday well in control. Ah, oh, Sterling's dropped down through the order. Staffo's up in second. Nathaniel White in third. Sterling, obviously, with an issue. He's just dropped to the bottom of the table. But uh, no one's going to come close to Monday. Monday well and truly in control. Carl looks dialed on this track. Okay, so is Sterling still circulating? He is. Let me just go through. Yeah, he's had... All right, I'll fix up Sterling's laps. He's got two that it's missed. So at the end of the race, I'll correct that. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ben Sterling done. Brad Stafford done. Gordon Shaw done. Lachlan Monday done. Scott Hill done. Spencer Clements done. Mitchell Isergen done. Shane Edwards done. Christopher Primer done. Nathaniel White done. Paul French done. Dean Masters done. All drivers are finished. The race is completed. Scott Hill, I think not a bad run there, P6. I think maybe after some corrections. Uh, just tell, tell us a bit about stadium truck. A uh, lot of fun, a lot of fun. First time we're actually racing it. I only got it a couple of weeks ago. Um, I don't know why I decided to do it, but we thought it would be a bit of fun, and it is. It's just awesome. Um, sort of been running up second and third in some of the runs until you make a mistake. But, yeah, awesome fun. Yeah, also, just wanted to, to touch on the behind-the-scenes work that's going on here. You're involved with the committee, and... Uh, looking, looking after the socials and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, just tell us what you're up to to help promote and, uh, and yeah, all the work here at Hills Off-Road. Yeah, Peter uh, roped me into it. I didn't know how much time I'd have to really spend on it and obviously you get involved and you just, it snowballs. Um, obviously a really good committee here, uh, rebuilt the track, you know, everyone killed themselves to do that for this event, which is great. And obviously with the world's announcement, uh, it's all about trying to build the momentum, build the success of the uh, club and uh, get some hype around the events with the Nationals coming up next year. We'll do a pre-Worlds uh, warm-up at some stage and uh, the Worlds, it's just going to be the, the world looking at us basically so we want to do it the best we can what are you most looking forward to having you know the world's here in 2025 i think just to see so many internationals come hopefully um and the level of racing just and and watch the level of our own racing uh increase as everyone's coming to this club uh like this is a place to race for the next 18 months really so uh i, I you can already see the the level of our competition lifting every every week and uh, just having the, the Victorians come up last week, for example, just stepped everyone up. Um, at some stage, there'll be some internationals coming, hopefully for the nationals. And, yeah, it'll just get better and better. Awesome, well, yeah, thanks for everything you do behind the scenes. Keep having fun in stadium truck, and, uh, yeah, thanks for the chat. I definitely will. Uh, we're going to go for backflips in the final, I think. Have a good one. All good. All right, drivers ready, marshals ready. Watch your cars.
Will Aiken Hassan Omar Lincoln Isergen Zach Panic Riley Lander West Ryan Kwok Jasmine Monday Finn Aiken Mason Crompton Samuel Dal Santo Saxon Gillett Oliver Hyden Jaden Venter All right, after our first lap, we have Will Ake in the lead from Hassan Homer and Zach Panic. And Aiken jumps up into fourth, doing very well. So Zach Panic now jumps to the lead from Will Aiken, Hassan Omar, Lincoln Isogen up to fourth, Ryan Kwok fifth, Finn Aikens drop down to sixth, then Mason Crompton, Samuel Del Santo, Riley Lander West, Jasmine Monday, Saxon Gillett. Well, Will Aikens now jumped to the top. We're coming up on two minutes to go. Will Aiken still in the lead from Zach Panic now. Hassan Omar has jumped up to third. Oh, Lincoln Isogen's just jumped into third place. Right, one minute to go. Will Aiken still in the lead. Lincoln Isogen's now up to second from Ryan Kwok. Zach Panic in fourth and Hassan Omar in fifth. It's only four or five seconds separating the top five. Very, very close. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.
Will Aiken done. Keep going till your name is called. Lincoln Isergen done. Zach Panic done. Ryan Kwok done. Riley Lander West done. Finn Aiken done. Hassan Omar done. Saxon Gillette done. Samuel Dal Santo done. Jasmine Monday done. Okay, so we're just waiting for Mason to finish. Mason Crompton done. All drivers okay. are finished. The race is completed. So hit one of stock, you're up. You should be on the grid already. We can get all the drivers from the last race straight out to Marshall, please. Zach Panic, what a great run there. I think P3 in the end of that qualifying run. Now tell us a bit about it. Second for a bit, but then I got caught with a back marker. He was like on the grass and then I was trying to pass him and then he went back into me and I crashed and I lost two seconds. But yeah, third's still good. That's great. How's the, the handling and the setup? Is that, Dad doing a good job mechanically? Yeah, stuff's great. Do you do much work or does Dad help you with that? Dad helps me. All right, I'll see you soon. Cool, man. Well done. All right, any marshals who haven't been replaced? Hand in the air. Okay, so we just need a marshal on 10. We should have plenty of juniors. Here he comes. All right, track is open. Jason Hollis, Bradley Shooter, Leon Phillips, Andrew Carrick, Paul Hickey, Mitchell Isergen, Todd Jolien, Sid Benjamin, Dean Masters. Spencer Clements. Can we just stop behind grid position two? I don't want anyone too close to loop, please. Okay, drivers ready, marshals ready. Watch your cars. Bradley Shooter, Jason Hollis, Leon Phillips, Paul Hickey, Todd Jolien, Spencer Clements, Sid Benjamin, Mitchell Isergen, Dean Masters, Andrew Carrick. All right, Paul Hickey in control of this one. Only just a minute into the race. Hickey with a three-second lead over Bradley.
Current order, Hickey one, Tudor th two, Julian three, Masters four, Isingen five, Clement six, Kerrick seven, Phillips eight, Benjamin nine, Hollis in ten. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Mitch Isigen doing a good job out there. Just coming through the... Oh, little rollover. That Paul Hickey well in control with a five, or now a seven second lead over Bradley. Todd Julian sitting in third, Dean four, Leon five. I can't see Leon, but I imagine he's got a big smile on his face. Not a bloke that gets upset too regularly. Loves his RC cars. Only new to the off-road scene, he's coming from on-road. Minute 40 to go, drivers. Hickey now with an eight second lead. Tudor two, Julian three, Masters four, Hollis five, Benjamin six, Phillips seven, Clements eight, Isigen nine, Carrick ten. Which I think it's mix Mitch Isigen hit heading up the hill over the gamble. Heads his way down the hill into the horseshoe. Up in the steps. Heads down the straight. No, I've got the wrong car. That's Hollis. I'm getting confused. Gotta find where, where my mate Mitch is. There's Mitch. Seven, Mitch just crossed the start six, finish line now. He's going over the five, tabletop. Four, doing a fine three, job on a track he doesn't two, know. One. Nice and tidy through all the S's. Comes over the double double. Perfectly over the gamble. Heads through Kirby's. Down the hill. Here he comes to the the horseshoe. Bradley Shooter done. Sid Benjamin done. Spencer Clements done. Mitch putting in a couple of t nice tidy laps. Mitchell Isergen done. Still waiting on Hickey to cross the line and a few of the uh, mid pack. Todd Julian done. Jason Hollis done. Leon Phillips done. Dean Masters done. Paul Hickey done. Just waiting on one car, he's just stuck on the pipe. No pressure, Andrew, no one's watching. <laughs> Here he comes, around, down the hill, onto the straight. <laughs> Big donut at the end, to be nice. Can you get throw a donut Andrew in? Carrick there done. we go, lovely work. All drivers are finished. The race is completed. Up next, race number three, two WD stock, heat two of three. 
All right, so we're still looking for a Samwa radio. Someone's got to find it very soon when they come to race. So it's a, a Samwa radio. Maybe it's not a 44. It's one of the base model ones. Paul Hickey, nice run there in uh, two-wheel drive stock. Tell us a, a bit about round four qualifying. Yeah, mate. I've um, oh, been struggling all day with grip and, um, yeah, finally got it to where I need it. Um, probably a little bit too late, for, but hopefully that'll push me into the beat, I hope. So, but, yeah, it was a good run. Just tell us, uh, you know, what, what have you done to, to combat that grip that you're looking for? Uh, a lot. It's a TLR, so <laughs> they, um, they, they lack grip. So, yeah, a lot of shortening arms and shocks and... A lot of lot of things to get it where it is. So, yeah, nah, but yeah, no, nah, we went real well. Just tell us a little bit about your, your RC background. How long have you been racing? Oh, I've been racing since I was 12, so probably 30, 30 years now. So, coming on that. So, yeah, so it's been a while. <laughs> What's your, what are your thoughts about the Worlds coming here in 2025? Yeah, I probably won't compete in it, um, but yeah, it's exciting for for the club and. And for the town and, and for Australia, I suppose, yeah, it'd be a good spectacle. Um, before we go, you want to give a, a shout out to anyone watching along? Oh, shout out to the my young bloke at home, and he couldn't race today, so it was unfortunate. So, but yeah, hello to them and the family at home. Beautiful job, man. Right, Thanks thank for the you. chat, and good luck in the next one. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Fifteen seconds to the start of the race. Right, we'll get this one underway. Good fun, but. Driver's ready. Marshall's ready. Watch your cars. Chris Lander. Daniel Collar. Jeffrey Pitt. Jim Coymanese. Trent Johnson. Dan Marr. Paul Sims. Glenn Andrews, Damian Absalon, Robert Smith. All right, they just get quicker and quicker. Jimmy, the fastest one out there at the moment with a 32.9. Pitt in two, Ma three, Collar four, Andrews five, Johnson six, Sim seven, Lander in eight. Big bad, Robbie Smith in nine, and Damien Absalon uh, uh, on ten. Lander lays down the fastest lap of the race. That'll promote him to second. Jimmy remains out in front. Oh, starting to jump around. Dan Mars lays down a quick time, and that's going to put him into second. Current order. Jimmy, Dan, Trent, top three. Chris Lander in four. Dan Collar in five. And Collar lays down the fastest lap of the race. And in second place, closing in on the leader. It's a 32-1. Oh, but Jimmy betters it with a 31-8. So Jimmy's throwing their, throwing their times down now. He's now got a 1.2 second lead over Dan Ma. Yep, yep. Very car of that group. All right, we're just going to... Jump on board with Dan Maher and we'll see if we can coach him around lap and find some speed. Dan just goes up Cooper steps. Come around the sweeper onto the straight. Nicely over the tabletop. Oh, beautifully into the S's. Nice and quick down the S's. Can't quite clear the double but doesn't hurt him. Here he comes up through the gamble. Here he comes down through the hill, he's making time on the field. Oh, I just got to grab a bit more concrete there, son. More concrete on that horseshoe, but he's looking good. He's got a, looking to get past Trent. But Dan Marconi and Trent from the Trent Marconi put down his fastest lap of the race at 32-3. I'll be charging you for these coaching services. Oh, a little mistake by Dan. 
right we've got audio again we're back the batteries are replaced and we're good to go sorry you can all suffer with my voice for a little longer obviously talking way too much i've gone through two sets of batteries in the mic so far all right back to racing coy manis in one collar in two he is 2.7 seconds behind coy manis mastering in third trent johnson four paul sims five lander six Pitt 7, Andrews 8, Absalon 9, and Robbie Smith rounding out the 10. 30 seconds to go, drivers. Can Jimmy lay down another fast lap? He has the fastest lap of the race. Oh, that one wasn't so good. He's going to give Dan Collar a sniff of the lead, this one. If Dan can lay down a fast lap, he may move to the top of the table. Can Jimmy respond? 10, 9... Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Dan one. just heading down on the straight now. We'll see what sort of timing and put together. No, Jimmy's still Chris still Landry in front, done. and I don't know they're going to beat him. Jimmy can put a tidy one in. Jeffrey Pitt Dunn. Go, Dan. Trent Johnson Dunn. Paul Sims Dunn. Oh, Jimmy up on two wheels. I think he's going to get this. Jimmy charging hard. He's actually making Glenn Andrews making done. time on Dan. They both head down onto the straight. What can Jimmy Damian lay down? Done. And he Jimmy does. Point Jimmy point extends his lead. Damian Jimmy takes it over done. Dan by 2.2 seconds. Dan Mar Dan Mar comes through his third. Have we still got J Robbie Smith? Here comes Robbie Smith. Robert Smith done. All drivers done. All drivers are finished. The race is completed. Up next, race number four. Two WD stock. Heat three of three. All right, any marshals need to be replaced that haven't been? Okay, I think he's being interviewed on two. Is he coming? Who's car two? I'm going to have a look. Chris Lander? Where's Chris Lander? I thought I saw Chris out there. So he's on six. Are you meant to be on two, Chris? One minute to the start of the race. So everyone's moved around on their spots. Okay. Uh, so... Who, oh, so Trent, Trent didn't... Oh, look at this. Bloody Trent. Five seconds to the start of the race. All right, track's open. I apologise, everyone. Trent bloody holding up the show again. Chris. Car's going the wrong direction down the straight. Oh, hang on. Don't go. The computer's going to go. I'll just do it as false start. Don't go. Please don't go. Andrew Salvage. Okay. Wait for everyone to be ready. All right. Driver's all good to go. Our final qualifying session for this stock round. Driver's ready. Marshall's ready. Watch your cars. Andrew Salvage, Michael Stone, Nathaniel White, Justin O'Connell, 
Glenn Welch Dallas Gardner Christopher Primer Scott Hill Chris Ron Kirby All right, just over three minutes to go. Yep. Yep. All right, Salvaggi in control of this one. He has two tenths over stone, so nothing at all. Nathaniel sitting in third, Prima fourth, Milton five, O'Connell six, Hill seven, Kirby eight, Gardner nine, Welsh in ten. All right, so the battle between Andrew Savaggi and Michael Stone continues on from yesterday. Stone coming through the double-double now. Yeah, he's back. He will back in second. Just trying to find where Savaggi is on track. Okay, Savaggi heading down onto the straight. Ron Kirby, that is the leader behind you. Thank you, Ron. All right, Salvaggi just increased his lead by a couple of tenths, but there's nothing in it. Salvaggi currently with the fastest lap at 30.5. No other driver in the 30s other than Salvaggi. Scott Hill, you'll have a leader on you in a moment. Oh, Salvaggi so quick around the horseshoe that time. He grabbed every bit of curb he possibly could. Gap between Stone and Savaggi now, two seconds. So Stone just about to head down the hill. He's coming around into the horseshoe. He will have Scott Hill next on his list to pass. The leader Salvaggi with plenty of clear track ahead of him. Scotty Hill, that is second place behind you. Thank you. Oh. Stone does his best to take him out, but can't quite get it done. So Nathaniel White, third place, is coming up on Ron Kirby. Ronnie just moves out of the way. Andrew Salvaggi increases his lead in this one. It's out to three seconds over Stone. So Vaggie's starting to find his way with his two-wheel drive. I think Stone was laying down the fastest laps in previous runs, but just can't get it done here. Stone is looking quick. Oh, sorry. So Vaggie's looking quick. And so Vaggie lays down the fastest lap of the race, a 30.5. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, one. Current order, Savaggi one, Stone two, White three, Milton four, 
Prima 5. Great run by Prima. And Prima actually just moves up into fourth place. No, Milton takes Andrew it back. So it's super done. tight between Milton and Prima. This will be the lap to decide it. Who can lay down a flyer? Michael Stone done. Scott Hill done. <laughs> Nathaniel White done. Ron Kirby done. Justin O'Connell done. Christopher Primer done. Dallas Gardner done. Chris done. All drivers are finished. The race is completed. All right, all drivers done. Salvaggi takes out pole. Salvaggi, the TQ man. Up next, race Stone number two. five. What will be three? Two WD mod. Heat one of six. Andrew Silvaggi, congratulations. TQ in two-wheel drive stock here at the 2024 New South Wales titles. Uh, how does that make you feel right now? Uh, pretty confident going into the finals. I mean, a, a, a Q1 and Q2, uh, Dal kept me, kept uh, everyone on us, to be on, uh, to be fair. And uh, so I had to get the job done in, in Q3, got that done. And then Q4, it was like, okay, the cars, the, the tracks come to the car instead of frantically trying to change things. Um, and uh, and then, yeah, just bolted on. A, that was the second run of those tyres and got a bit sketchy towards the end. But, yeah, feeling pretty good going into mains. The car's predictable, easy to drive. Um, yeah, can't, can't really complain too much. So it's all down to the driver, to be honest, more than anything. Um, yeah, and the tracks just come up really consistent, nice and smooth. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, the, the person who doesn't make any mistakes is the person who will win at the end of the day. So. Just uh, tell everyone again what current equipment you're running with this weekend. Yeah, running the all-new B7 platform from Team Associated. Uh, Ready Electronics with the with the new SP5 17.5 motor in there, along with SG5 batteries, uh, factory team accessories. James Ainsley Designs painted shells, the best painter in the world. Uh, has won concourse at the Worlds for the last, I think, four or five Worlds. So, yeah, uh, you know, guy from South Australia. Um, and uh, and J Spec stickers and designs for apparel and stickers. So. Yeah, uh, the equipment is is flawless, and uh, the Associated Boys in the last tool mod qualifier they put on a show for everyone. So I think that was split by a second uh, between the three of them. So it's just awesome to be here in this atmosphere. Awesome job, man. Thanks. Good luck at the finals. I appreciate it. Thank you. Wade Keft, Jaden Brown, Michael Frieden, Paul French. Stuart McMahon, Patrick Carter, Dan Carney, Brendan Tucker, Stephen Hogginson, David Ryan.
All right, if anyone's still a bit hungry, we, uh, we've got some food there, some pulled pork burgers and a few other things. So uh, anyone want to grab some food, by all means, come by. The soccer people weren't playing today, so we've got plenty of food left. All right, Michael Fretton in control of this one, driving the orange X-ray coming through the double-double. He's about to head up through Gobi's gamble. He currently has a 2.7 second lead over David Ryan. Jeff sitting in third, Brown fourth, McMahon fifth, French sixth, Carter seventh, Tucker eighth. Kearney 9 and Haggerson rounding out the 10. So Fretton's still leading, but he just got stuck on a pipe. We'll see what that will do to his lead. So David Ryan now jumps into the lead by 1.9 seconds 10, over Fretton. So that 39 second six, lap of Fretton really five, hurt him. Four, He's just trying to make three, up that time again two, now. One. Oh, and Dave Ryan must have a broken car. He's just dropped down the times. So, Fretton in one, Brown two, Kef three. We'll see what they can do on this final lap. Wade Kef done. Jaden Brown done. Michael and Frieden Fretton done. does end up taking it. Dan Unfortunately, Carney Dave done. Ryan broke his car. So, Fretton one, Brown two, Kef three. Stephen Hogginson done. We'll see what they are Paul after that. French done. Yep. Stuart McMahon done. Patrick Carter done. Brendan Tucker done. All drivers are finished. The race is completed. Michael Fred, nice run there, topping out that group of two drive mod around four of qualifying. Tell us a bit about that run. Um, I tried to keep it smooth. I tried not to get tangled up. I tried not to mess anything up. That was just it. That was my, my only plan was to run smoothly and not fall over. Um, and it seemed to have paid off. <laughs> we noticed you're using a stick radio. Tell us, uh, yeah, have you ever tried a wheel or you just uh, always... I did try a wheel. This is way back in, in the early 90s. Um, stick radios are very hard to get. In Australia, they're always hard to get, like in England, they're everywhere, but uh, here it, it, it's next to impossible to get. Um, and I tried it. It's, it's okay, but to me, it doesn't feel the same. Uh, I, I feel like I don't connect with the car as well. Um, and, and, yeah, I, I just prefer it. Um, yeah, but but it's very difficult to get one. Um, so yeah, we're well, seeing a lot of yeah, lot, lot of top drivers around the world use stick radios. So there must be something in there. Well, well, that's the point. To me, to me, it feels much smoother. Uh, th th there is far more resolution in your movement. Uh, so so to me, it, it amazes me that fewer people don't. Uh, that there's no more people switching because eventually. You spend all your time on phones or on PlayStations, and it's all fun, 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 fun. So I don't quite understand 
Uh, well, the thing is, I mean, it, the, the the pistol grip just comes from um, come, comes from America because it switched from slot cars to RC cars, and it doesn't really make much sense for us to continue with this because nobody cares about slot cars anymore. Let's face it. <laughs> I think uh, you need to get into the year of a few of our juniors, try and get them to, to convert over to stick radio. I think there's some, some truth in that. We need more stick users to, to show up and to make the A and uh, look cool doing it, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for the chat. We'll get this done underway. Drivers ready. Marshals ready. Watch your cars. Darren Pryor. Gordon Shaw. Thomas Camilleri. Aiden Young. Jordan Kosick. Shane Edwards. Ryan Andrews. Scott Giles. Mark Hallam, Gavin Webb. One minute in, and Gordon Shaw has control over this one. Webb in two, Young three, Hallam four, Giles five, Andrew six. Shaw leading the way by only half a second over Young. Right, Shaw starting to extend his lead over Young, out to one second. Now got Pryor up in the third. Gavin Webb just drops down to fifth. moves into the lead he now has the fastest lap of the race a 30.8 now 1.2 seconds back to shore webby moves back up in a third darren Pryor heads up through the gamble Goes through the curve. He's heading down to the horseshoe. It's a little jump, a little bit wide on the horseshoe, up to Cooper Steps. Nice run through the sweeper onto the straight. Looks like a pretty decent lap for that last one for Darren for 32.6. So it's a little bit off his best. Clears the double-double nicely. Briar in control this one. He's got a 1.5 second lead over Shaw. Here he comes down the straight again. With just over one minute to go. 31.5. That's a bit of lap time for uh, Darren. He extends his lead to 2.2 over Shaw.
Marshall behind you, Marshall behind you. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Mason's four, away from the main three, two, He's sitting on one. The, the spot where you marshal it. He's facing the wrong Jordan Kosick done. Thomas Camilleri done. Darren Pryor done. Shane Edwards done. Gordon Shaw done. Scott Giles done. Mark Hallam done. Aiden Young done. Ryan Andrews done. Gavin Webb done. All drivers are finished. The race is completed. <laughs> Up next, race number seven. Two WD mod. Heat three of six. Jordan Kozik, nice run there. I think uh, you've been trying to dodge me all weekend, but yeah, tell us a bit about that two-wheel drive mod qualifier. Yeah, just, uh, just been trying to dodge in, just trying to dodge first, apparently. So, look, we're still trying to work out the car a little bit. Um, obviously, I'm a bit better of a four-wheel drive driver compared to a two-wheel drive. So, look, I'm just here to spread the love, really, this weekend and make sure everyone else is having fun. So, I'm pretty sure I'm doing a decent job of that. There's a couple of smiles going around, so... I'm doing all right at that at least, so yeah. What a big crew from, from Queensland that made the trip down. Is that what RC is all about for you, the road trips and the mates? Yeah, look, I mean, we're trying to get more people come down from Queensland, but uh, look, the crew that we do have is pretty good. You know, we've got Pratty and Maddie Lawrence and Benny Sterling, so we're trying to keep a fun crew and, you know, take everyone out for dinner where we can. So, yeah, trying to look after everybody here and bring, you know, that Queensland love down to the southern state. So, yeah. Before we go, you want to give a, a shout-out to anyone watching the stream? Uh, look, I doubt mum and dad are watching, but love to them, all the family, obviously to all the sponsors. Um, and, yeah, just making sure everyone's having a good time down here. So make sure you have fun. Beautiful, man. Love your work. <laughs> Just swap with Pat in the middle there, please, Jordan. Thank you. All right, driver's ready, marshal's ready. Watch your cars. Carter Sims. John Philpot. Matthew Lawrence. Brad Stafford. Stephen Snedden. Connor Lawton. Aleandro DeLorso, Andrew Cook, Brian Lowe, Paul Shannon. Start the stream through. Staffo out in the lead in this one. He has the fastest first lap of a 31.6. Phil Pot in two. Sims three. Shannon four. Lawrence five. Connor Lawton six. Brian Lowe seven.
And Carter Sims just lays down the fastest lap of the race. A 30.3 to jump into the lead. He now has a, uh, a lead over Staffo of 1.2. Bill Pot still sort of sitting in three, but Lawton's made his way up to four. Young corner Lawton's done to put some tidy laps together. His last one was in the 31s. All right, Carter Sims starts to stretch his lead out to 2.1 seconds. Carter driving the rear mount. White car as it comes down the straight into turn one. Heads up the back straight. Pulls a little wheel stand. Uh, car of Cook just over on its lid. The old YZ10, I think it is. Yokomo Dogfighter. But Carter Sims still driving a, uh, a very solid race and pulling a, l making his extending his lead. Now out to five seconds over John Philpot. Impressive run in a rear mount car these days. Oh, caution the jumps! Caution the jumps! Caution the jumps! Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Carter Sims done. All right, Carter Sims takes that one by. Well, we'll see what it is as Philpot crosses, but Philpot's sitting in second at the moment. John Philpot done. So it's a six-second six deficit to Philpot. Andrew Cook done. Aleandro Delorso done. Thanks. Brian Lowe done. Just looks Brad like Staffo in third. And Matthew Lawrence done. I think done. young Connor Lawton might take four. We'll just see as they cross. Stephen Sneddon done. Connor Lawton done. Oh, Connor must have had a poor last lap, and he's just dropped down the sixth. Connor has been driving really well today. Paul Shannon done. All drivers are finished. The race is completed. Up next, race number eight. Two WD mod. Heat four of six.
Joe Philpot, P2 in that uh, radar, radar qualifying, uh, number four. Tell us a bit about that two-wheel drive mod run. Um, yeah, I've just been my own worst enemy, as usual. You know, so I haven't been really getting much track time as much as some people have, so it's just been... Yeah, and the, the, the field is so close. But I looked at it before, and I think between, like, I think it was, like, fourth, and I think, like... 20th or something like that was separated by like, I think like 15 seconds over like between those spaces so it's it's super close if you make one bobble one mistake it's pretty much or push too hard it's pretty much game over so how does that change the way you prepare mentally obviously you know you just can't afford to make a mistake you just sort of dial it back and, and play it safe well it's it's actually it's funny you say that because i did that yesterday in four-wheel drive and um yeah you, you sort of dial too far back and then you're really behind and then you, you go too hard and then you obviously you blow corners out and stuff like that so it's trying to find that really fine line and that's what makes it difficult between where to push where to where to back off where to be consistent uh, just give us your thoughts on on the world's coming here in 2025 oh uh, it's, it's fantastic look this is the main reason why i'm here because you know like this is probably my last opportunity to compete at a world's um you know obviously as as you get older and you get slower it's, you know, it becomes more difficult to compete with these young blokes. This car just shown, put a beat down on me with a rear motor. So, yes. Yeah. So, yeah. So it's it's fantastic. It's great for the hobby and great for the like you know putting Australia on the map with with RC. So, what's your prediction with with the track surface? There's talk of a, you know being a, a natural off-road surface that we haven't seen in a lot of, of recent World Championships. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I think I think a lot of people are talking about like all oh, the Americans and stuff like that were kind of hard to adapt. But I, th I think the Americans will surprise some people because obviously a lot of those guys, the Americans, um, a lot of them race eight scale, a lot of the top ten scale guys. And I think I don't think it's going to be as big of an issue for them as what some people are saying. So, yeah, I think that the Europeans will probably have a bit of the upper hand, especially some of the like uh, Mediterranean countries like it's Italy and, and Spain and stuff like that, obviously, because they race on similar tracks to us because they don't have the indoor facilities or the Astro that the English and the Americans have, so. Right. Time will tell. Thanks for the chat, and uh, yeah, good luck at the finals. Again, yeah, thanks for everything you guys do. It's, it's fantastic coverage as always. Thanks. Thank you, John. Just on two, I think it is. Thank you, mate. All right, driver's ready. Marshall's ready. Watch your cars. Ben Sterling, Brad Virko, Mitchell Pratt, Simon Healy, Jordan Hunting, Lachlan Williams, Kim Sothel, Ben Panic, Noah Carter.
All right, so Sterling out in the lead. He has four and a half seconds over Pratt. Healy in three. So Sterling is uh, stretching his lead out now. He's laid down the fastest lap at 25, 20, uh, sorry, 29.7. He's put a couple of 29s together, actually. He's the only driver in the 29s, and he's put down three consecutive 29s. So that's uh, super impressive. Certainly starting to get hold of this 10th scale stuff. And Sterling is starting to head down through the... Make sure you get the right car. Where is he? Okay, he's coming down through the S's. So I've got three grey cars. They all look the same. Sterling on a double-double. Sterling is coming up to uh, the panic. Just be aware, panic, that Ben Sterling is behind you. He's a little bit quicker. We have one minute to go. And Sterling is just smashing down 29 second laps consecutively. Or oh, just a little bit slow on that one, drifts into the 30s. But Sterling is looking quick. Oh, Ben Panic, just a little roll over. Current order, Sterling 1, Pratt 2, Verco 3, Healy 4, Williams 5, Panic 6, Hunting 7, Sortel 8. I oh, actually saw Tell and Carter not in the race. Just remember, Cam Sortel and Noah Carter, Ten, please be sure to, nine, to marshal eight, immediately after seven, this. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, so Ben Sterling one, now with a nearly 8 second lead over Pratt. Ben Sterling done. Brad Verko done. Mitchell Pratt done. So Verko comes done. in there. We've got Pratt two. Oh, actually, Healy jumps up in the third just to pip Brad Verko. That's so Sterling one, Pratt two, Healy three, Verko four. Blackman Williams done. See what it is. I think Williams will take Jordan fifth. Hunting done. Waiting on Panic to cross. Ben Panic done. Yeah, so Williams All fifth, Panic. The race is completed. So just a reminder, drivers, at the end of this round, we will have a bit of a break while we uh, sort out the finals. I'll just get a couple of members just to blow the track. Not that there seems to be any dust on it, but we'll blow it before the finals anyway. Up next, race number nine. 2WD mod. Heat five of six. Mitch Pratt, nice run there, P2 in that run of two-wheel drive mod. Uh, yeah, tell us a bit about that run. Uh, P3. Uh, Simon nearly actually got me on the last lap, and he had a good drive in that last lap as well. Uh, did a massive amount of changes between heats then. I literally was wrenching from the start pretty much when I sat down to then. Paid off, finally have side by, finally have on power. So that it's made a big difference at least, thank God. Uh, we've actually seen uh, a few little Mitch on the mic stickers creeping around the place on, on people's shirts and in different places what have you been up to yeah we've been uh sneakily uh promoting mitch on the mic uh from some unwilling drivers so uh we've made them willing by ourselves there's probably i'd say about 15 drivers that have a sticker on their back or somewhere so uh yeah it's it's good promotion yeah just check out your right shoulder just there mate we we got you back 
oh, where'd that come from? <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for having fun with RC and, and everything you do with your, with your lives. And, um, yeah, keep doing what you're doing, man. It's good fun. Yeah, thank you very much, guys. Thirty seconds to the start of the race. Fifteen seconds to the start of the race. Less than five. All right, we're going with the computer. Driver's ready, Marshall's ready. Watch your cars. Just need a quick volunteer Marshall on 10. Someone just run down to 10. Waden. Andrew Gillett. Glenn Benetti. Josh Payne. Thanks, Danny. James Muha. Phoenix Eagleton. Hugo Tsung. Nathan Healy. So Craig Lawton, the fastest out of the blocks, straight into a 30.2. Josh Payne in two, Jill at three. It's like the old gang's back together. Lawton, Payne, Jill at lead this away. Oh, a little mistake by uh, Lawton. It's going to cost him. He's now got uh, Jill all over the back of him. It's going to change the order. It'll probably promote Payne 1, Gillet 2. And that is correct. So now have Payne leading, Benetti, then King, Gillet. Saying Healy, Eggleton, Lawton down in eight now with that little error. Still three minutes to go. Josh Payne leading the way over Healy. Jared King now jumps up in a second. <laughs> See if I can find Payne. Payne just crosses the line. Payne still leading the way, so... Our lead car, the white car, heading up the back straight. He is just selling in behind Bonetti. He comes over the double-double. Haney giving it everything he got. It's the Paney of old. Oh, a little whip as he goes over the, go the gamble. Caution the jump section. Jumps the clear. Haney up the steps. Down through the sweeper onto the front straight. Payne puts in a 30 point, a 30 flat, but Andrew Gillett responds with a 29.4. So Gillett now with the fastest lap, but he's still sitting back in the field in fourth. We currently have about 1.3 seconds separating top fours. Top four is Payne one, King two, and Healy three, and Gillett four. 1.3 seconds separating those two, those, those four. All right, Josh Payne only three tenths in front of King now. King out by himself, just laying down some fast laps. He has no one around him.
King and Payne now on an identical lap time. And King just moves to the top of the table. So Jared King now leading the way against Payne by nine one thousandths of a second. Healy sitting in third. Benetti four. Got Phoenix in five. Gillett's drop back to six. Lawton in seven. Josh Payne now back to the top of the times by one tenth of a second. So it's seesawing between Ten, Payne and King. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I think this might be King's final lap. Jared King done. The King is done, and he puts down a quick one for the last lap. What has Payne got? Here comes Glenn Payne across done. the line. Andrew Gillett done. And King Josh gets it King by done. nine tenths of a second. Craig Lawton done. Jared King lays James down a Egerton super quick done. one on his last lap. It's his uh, fastest done. lap of the race. James Muha done. Healy now moves into two. Eagle so the current done. the finishing order is King one, Healy two, Payne three, Bonetti four, Eggleton five, Gillett six, Thing seven, Lawton eight, and Muha rounding in ninth. I will need a volunteer marshal, please. I need one volunteer marshal. Josh Payne, everybody's asked to race, mate. So close, just uh, got pipped at the end there. Yeah. Oh, look, starting in fifth in that round, so obviously there's always going to be some traffic, and you can't really expect anyone who's travelling just as at a touch slower than you to move. So, yeah, came off from Benetti and, and Gillett and Craig, and th they weren't going to move, and I, I probably wasn't quick enough to put a move there, and that I. Uh, looks like Jared had a bit of clear air, so he just slowly gapped me at the end, and then I got pipped for third anyway, so it didn't matter. But happy to drive the car properly, and yeah, it's coming back slowly. Um, yeah, just tell us your, your thoughts on, on the world's coming here in 2025 and, and how you're feeling about that. Oh, exciting. I mean, you know, we got to have a home worlds in Perth, you know, four or five years ago, um, and this is a 10th scale. It's been since 89, uh, and it's a long time coming. You know, an outdoor natural track like this, it's awesome. Um, it's going to be good for the Europeans, Americans and other country, countries to come across and see what we deal with all year long. Um, it's being outdoors so there might be all sorts of elements and it's going to be changing track conditions. Um, and you know we've got some local guys like Ari and Lachlan Donnelly for example who are, showed really good strength in America so you would think they probably have a slight home track advantage you know being this in their backyard and I'd love to see some maybe one of them make an A final. So, yeah, it'd be, be great for Australia. Awesome. We're about to get a teaser, qualifying uh, for TQs up for grabs and coming up next. So we'll get a seat and enjoy the action. Yes, thanks. Fastest run of this round. It's Sterling, King, Healy, Payne, Bonetti. Fifteen seconds to the start of the race. All right, so we've got Josh Payne in his marshalling spot. Yep. All good with the race director. All right, the final qualifier to a mod. Drivers ready. Marshals ready. Watch your cars. Jared. Lachlan Donnelly. Lachlan Monday. Ari Bakla. Jordan Isergen. Matthew Cooper. Samuel Muffet, Sexy Seckled, Ben. All right, so this is an exciting one. I think we have three cars who have taken a heat each. Comes down to this one for the TQ. So far, advantage Barkler. Barkler comes across with a 29.2. Monday, 29.5. Cooper up in the third with a 29.6. Jordan Isgen, 29.7. Ment, 29.9. So the order, Barkler, Monday, Cooper, Isgen. This is what it's come down to. Who can put it on pole for the New South Wales state titles? Barkler heads down the straight. He's got... 
Two quick AEs in front of him. Donnelly moves out of the way, let him through. Barkler now closing in on the back of Monday. Barkler now with a uh, six tenth lead and Cooper moves in the second. So Cooper's on a flyer. Order now, Barkler, Cooper, Mentz, Isagen, Monday, Cribben, Muffet, Donnelly, Seckold. Barkler heads down the straight. Isinger now jumps in the second. Two tenths off Barkler. We have seven tenths of a second separating top four cars. Top four cars are Barkler, Isinger, Mint and Cooper. Seven tenths of a second separating all cars. Barkler pushing hard, but Monday putting in some really tidy laps now. Barkler just can't get onto the back of him. Lachlan Monday sitting in fifth, but laying down some flyers. Barkler lays down, or Jordan Isingen goes the fastest time of the race, a 28.9. So Jordan sitting in second, a 28.9. He's only three tenths off Barkler. So at the moment, it's two X-ray drivers battling it out for this one. Barkler just getting a little bit closer to Monday, but still not close enough to strike. All the other cars pretty well spread. Monday lays, a, lays down a fly and he just jumps up in the fourth. So we've got one second separating top three drivers. Top three is Barkler one, Isagen two, Ment moves into three. Ment one second off the lead, Isagen seven tenths. Barkler just lays down the fastest lap of the race, a 28.6. Barkler now has seven tenths over Isagen. Donnelly just puts in his fastest lap of the race, a 28.9. He's still about three seconds off Cooper, so he's got some work to do. Barkler just finds his way past Monday. He now has free air in front of him. Barkler now with a handy lead of 1.2 seconds over Mint. Isagen just drops the third. We have a minute 30 to go and Barkler in control of this one. But Ment is putting in a charge. Ment just lays down his fastest lap of the race. Now only eight tenths separating the two. One minute to go. Barkler still in control, but only by seven tenths of a second. Ment is charging hard. Current order, Barkler one, Ment two, Isagen three, Monday four, Cooper five, Donnelly six, Cribben seven, Seckold eight, Muffet in nine. So the, the cars to watch at the moment are on the back straight, on the, up through Kirby's curve. Our leader, Barkler, heads down the hill. He has just on a second lead now. We have 30 seconds to go, and Ment is throwing everything at him, but Barkler heads down the straight. No one in front of him but air. As they cross this time, Ment takes a little bit into it. It's now six tenths of a second separating one from two. Barkler from Ment. Isagen sitting back one second off the lead. Anything goes wrong with these, these first two, and Isagen's all over it. 10, 9, 8. I think this will Seven, be Barkler's last lap. Six, He's throwing five, everything in it, but so four, is Ment. Three, Can Ment pull something two, out in these last couple of corners? One. Is it, Barkler heads down the straight for the final time. The 29-2 for Barkler. Waiting. Uh, continue on, drivers. Continue on. They're still going. I thought that would have been it. This gives Ment just a little bit more time, and Ment sitting eight tenths off Barkler. So Barkler made a little bit of time in that last lap. What has Ari got? Samuel Muffet Looks done. like a super tidy lap for Jared Ari. Done. I'm not sure if Mint's going to get it, but he's giving it a red done. hot go. Here comes Ari down the straight Lachlan for the final done. time. Lachlan Monday done. Lachlan Donnelly done. And the order Jordan changes. Barkler one, Isagen two, Matthew Mint three, done. Monday four, All Cooper five, Donnelly finished. six, Cribben seven, Muffet eight, and Seckold in nine. That will, I believe, give... Don, uh, Barkler, the overall. Up next, race number 11. Stadium truck. Heat one of one.
Ari Barker, congratulations. TQ once again, this time a two-wheel drive modified. Uh, yeah, tell us about that run. That was pretty exciting. Uh, yeah, made it uh, a little bit harder for myself. Uh, crashed in Q3, uh, started uh, off fourth. So I had to pass a couple of guys, but they were uh, super, super courteous and uh, left a bit of racing room and then actually pushed me to drive as hard as I could um, to stay sort of uh, up, up, up in the lead. So um, no, it was good. Uh, no mistakes. Uh, drove smooth, drove conservative a little bit um, and uh, yeah, got it done in the end. You've had some great battles over the years in a, in a bunch of different classes. Is this rivalry you've got going on at the moment, you know, probably the, the biggest and, and strongest you've had? Rivalry? No. Mate, when you get to 45, there's no rivalry. Everyone just has to be your mate. You have to be friends with everybody. It just makes racing so much easier. Um, you know, 10 years ago, I used to get aggro. I used to get angry. There was rivalries, people you disliked, people you, uh, you know, you had to beat, you wanted to beat. Now... It's just all fun, man. Uh, we, we roll with the punches. And uh, for now, we're sitting at the top. Congratulations again. Uh, yeah, go get ready for the finals and best of luck. we do it all again. Thank you. 30 seconds to the start of the race. All right, the trucks line up. All right, we'll get this underway. Drivers ready, marshals ready. Watch your cars. Lachlan Monday, Nathaniel White, Ben Sterling, Brad Stafford, Gordon Shaw. Scott Hill, Paul French, Shane Edwards, Christopher Primer, Dean Masters, Spencer Clements, Mitchell Isergen. All right, Monday just puts in a quick one, a 29.3. That's the fastest lap so far. He already has three seconds over Sterling. Current order, Monday one, Sterling two, White three, Staffo four, Hill five, Shaw six, Prima seven, Edwards eight, French nine, Masters 10, Clements 11, Isogen 12. Just hit the halfway mark of the run. Monday in control by five seconds. Sterling got a handy lead over White of about four seconds. So the order is Monday one, Sterling two, White three, Staffo four, Shaw five, Hill six, Prima seven, Edwards eight, French nine, Clements ten, Masters eleven, Isogen twelve. So just be aware, everyone, we will be having a, uh, a 15... The 20 minute break at the end of this one. The A finals will be up first.
So all the uh, A finalists will have to get all their gear ready. Cars done. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lachlan Monday done. Brad Stafford done. Scott Hill done. Ben Sterling done. Dean Masters done. Nathaniel White done. Shane Edwards done. Mitchell Isergen done. Christopher Primer done. Paul French done. Gordon Shaw done. Oh, I just got Spencer rotating. There's no one watching, Spencer. Don't stress. No pressure on this lap. <laughs> it's all right. Good to see Spencer out there having some fun. Now, because you're last, you've got to do a big donut at the end just to finish it off. Spencer there we go. Lovely done. work. All, all right. Thank you, drivers. Finished. The race yep. is completed. We're, uh, we'll blow the track down, but it will be a 20-minute break or so. All the A finalists, I would go and get your cars ready immediately. You will be up first. Shane Edwards, nice run there in stadium truck. Oh, yeah. Tell us a little bit about it. Oh, I'm just running the old 22 to break out the old dusty one from uh, 10 plus years ago and see how it goes. Yeah. It looks like a, a real fun class. How does it compare to the to the buggies? Um, buggies are way, way smoother, but the trucks are just awesome because they look good. How long have you been racing RC? Tell us a bit about your, your history in it. Uh, I've been racing probably for about 30 years, but um, I've had a 10 year break and I've only just started back. This is my first race in, uh, oh, I don't know, 2011, 2012, somewhere around there. Okay, well, things would have changed quite a lot. What stood out to you the most as, as a big difference? Uh, front grip on the mid-motor buggies is just crazy. Yeah, yeah. Um, you want to give a shout-out? Say hi to anyone watching the stream or any thank yous? Uh, just to um, Pete for putting on a good show. I know there's heaps more helpers, but, you know, he does an amazing job. I know what it's like to be a race control to put that commitment in. So, yeah, great job, Pete. Awesome. Thanks for the chat and good luck in the finals. Thank you. Up next, race number one, junior stock, A1 main.
just for everyone following along on online on Facebook or whichever other platform you're you're watching from. Just oh, Facebook. sorry, just Facebook. We're going to be having a new feed coming up for Facebook only very shortly. So watch out for the link in a moment. Peter Cooper, Peter Cooper, if you're still in the pits, don't mind making your way back to race control, please. All right, guys, I'm going to be putting the grid listing up at the moment um, based on the time and where we are and looking compared to yesterday. We're nearly 45 minutes behind where we were yesterday and we obviously ran out of daylight towards the end of the day yesterday. So unfortunately, that does mean there's going to only be one final for the lower finals. We'll see how we go through the end of the finals. But at that stage, uh, at this stage, we have to plan for one and prioritise the A main. So grid list will be going up in a couple of minutes um, and make sure all the A finalists have everything ready to go.
We were with Andy Cook once again. I had a lot of requests online to have a closer look at this uh, special prototype vehicle that you're running today. So, uh, yeah, can you tell us a bit more and, sh and show us what you got? Uh, yes, yes, for sure. Um, if you want to take the mic, you can hold the mic and, uh, yeah. Well, I'll take that, yeah. We'll get you the take the body, the body off first. The first, yep. Yeah. <laughs> about the good old uh, Yokomo uh, 870C body. So that's um, one of the classics. Uh, Four-wheel drive body, obviously, <laughs> back in the past. So it fitted the shape quite well. So yeah, so this is the car. So the uh, concept was to have a, a vintage looking car with modern, more, more modern geometry. So I started with a, a B6.4 uh, D and uh, measured all the pickup points and the, the hinges and pivots, etc., and the general layout, battery motor layout. And then um, sort of used my CAD models from the 89 and the 91 Masami cars to um, sort of morph into a uh, into this, so it's like a modern geometry with vintage looks, and same same carbon, same plastic as I used on the Masami cars. Um, B6.4 gears and obviously all the sus you know, suspension um, uprights, etc. So how's it perform? It's uh, quite good. I was I was pretty happy that it was kind of balanced. It went around. Uh, my driving is probably a bit sketchy, but um, I was taking it easy early on and it was uh, cruising around and then I was getting a bit, a bit adventurous to try and push it to see what would happen and started to crash a bit, but um, you know, that's how it is. It's its first race meet for, for this version, so it's the second prototype I've done. And um, it's uh, yeah, it's a bit of a, a baptism of fire, so to speak. Um, so I've been trying to, trying to gradually improve it just a little bit each run. What are the plans for this, do you think? Are you thinking of a, a class or something like that that might, might take off for some of the people that like vintage but also want the, the modern day performance? Yeah, good question. I'm not quite sure what it is. So it's obviously not vintage at all in any way. Um, but I'm thinking it might be good for, you know, like club racing, having a bit of fun. If a lot of people have got the old 6.4s lying around now after the B7s just come out. So this could be a, a fun little uh, conversion for it to have a, have a bit of a... Um, sort of vintage feel of the race meet that's still run in you know, whatever class, you know, 21.5 stock, even mod, like I'm rather strangely doing today. <laughs> and um, yeah, just have a bit of fun. It's not going to be the, the best handling car in the world, of course, because it's not the, not the latest of the big factories, but um, it's, it's close and it'll just handle similar. Yeah. Awesome. Well, yeah, thank you very much for, uh, for showing us all that. No we're going to get ready for the finals. Uh, wish you the best of luck. Will do. All right, we're going to push on and see who else we can, uh, we can screw up. That was Andrew Cook, everyone. Uh, doing awesome stuff uh, in the RC scene. Just John Philpot. Now, there was another person I wanted to talk to here. Let's see if I can steal Mr. Gillick. Can we grab you? Good day. Just uh, want to catch up with you. Just uh, filling a bit of time, really. We're getting right. ready for the finals. Do you want to come yeah. in the shade a little bit? A little bit bright. Just want to pick your brain, uh, you know, obviously the world's here in 2025. Yep. Um, curious to know what the teams might be doing, you know, are you guys talking to teams to get information, data to them, or when does the, when does the world's campaign start preparing for the factories? Um, I mean, we have a chat group going with the US guys, but the reality is for us it's a little bit far out, so, but today the knowledge that I've got today and what I'm learning today, I will feed back to the team. Um, just around you know what to expect in a year's time and and to potentially work on a car like it's very very different to American conditions like generally the TLR cars and the associated designed around indoor high bike clay kind of setup and this is nothing like that right so when I go to the US it's totally foreign when they come here it's going to be quite foreign so and I think a lot of the guys here have already worked a lot of that stuff out so we've got to do a bit of work I think to the TLA cars with TLR cars with the bit of a change um, and that's the stuff I'll probably start feeding back after this week yeah I know many years ago you know Worlds was on there'd actually be like a prototype car made by a lot of the manufacturers for that specific race does that still happen nowadays no oh maybe if it's like a turf or something like that um, but generally speaking I, I guess it depends right so if in the US in September last year there was no prototype cars different parts because that's what they run on day in day out um, coming somewhere like here, you know, you might have a, just a different gearbox for the car, um, a more stood up type gearbox for the car compared to a indoor lay down type track. So, and that's something I think uh, we may need to work on for, for the TLR vehicle. Yeah. Awesome, man. We'll let you get ready for the finals. Thank, yeah, thanks for that. And uh, yeah, best of luck. Cool. Thank you. Cheers, guys. I'll right, we'll push on. Ben Cribben. Oh, not Ben. Ben Panic. <laughs>
<laughs> British Pride on Sunday. Oh, Mitch, getting into some action. Give us a quick uh, recap on how your day's going for you and, and Zach. Well, I'll only talk about Zach because he's having a good day. My, mine, the driver, has not appeared. I appeared once, but too slowly. Um, no, it's been good. Track's come up pretty well, so, yeah, happy with it. Very difficult to pass on. I think that would be my comment on this. Super, super difficult. It's going to be really interesting to watch the, uh, the two-wheel drive mains. Um, I think they're going to be really close battles. But, yeah, it's, uh, you know, weather's played its part and everything's been good. I just uh, have struggled with putting clean runs together, which has been a, a pain in the ass. But, yeah, looking forward to the juniors final. Yeah, Zach, uh, yeah, did a really good job in that last round of qualifying in particular. Uh, do you make any changes to his car setup-wise and, and how much sort of wrenching are you doing together on that? Yeah, since last week we did. It was uh, not good last week. Um, so we made a bunch of setup changes during the week and they've gone the right way. He's doing what he needs to do, which is drive well. Um, I'm not, so I'm not listening to myself. He's listening to me. So I've got to have a talk to myself about that one. Yeah, I'll get him to give you some advice then. He can watch your race and, and let yeah, you know. Exactly right. So, no, he's doing really well. He's having fun. That's what it's all about. Awesome, man. Best of luck. Thank you. Uh, to see who else we can pick on here. I wanted to try and get a, uh, a chat with the X ray team. Let's see who we can talk to. Here we are. All right. Mr. Cooper, which way are we going to go? There's no, good good side. There's no good side other than the back. Everybody's a good side. All right, hey, Matt. <laughs> We're going to have a chat here with Matt Cooper. <laughs> Mate, uh, I'm trying to catch up with you. Uh, good to see you back at the track. What's uh, brought this little uh, cameo appearance? Are you getting ready for the Worlds? Uh, yeah, I'm getting ready for the Worlds. Oh, watch it, your dog. Um, yeah, th <laughs> what? <laughs> Stitch up. Um, yeah, I thought I'd get back into it a bit for the Worlds at the home track. Make Daddy happy. I know he loves it when I come to the track. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so I thought I'd get back into it a little bit for the next two years or so. Uh, you had some pretty good pace in that last qualifier. Have you made changes or, or just getting the, the cobwebs out of the... I just decided to drive it like a real man and just step it up a little bit and go a bit quicker. And car had a little bit more in it, so I gave it a little bit more. It's been a couple of years since you were, you were racing competitively. Has the standard gone, gone up since you were last racing? Have you noticed a big difference in you know the other... Uh, the pace that the other drivers have got? Ah, uh, they're still pretty quick. Ari's pretty slow, though. He's getting old. Needs to step it up. There's TQ over there. Yeah, fluke. Fluke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give Ari the right reply there. So we're going to jump around this side. This is the wild. Uh, Ari, just sort of give you an opportunity to reply, mate. He reckons your TQ was a fluke. And I'll just point out you did get TQ yesterday as well. I did yesterday too, right? And then after TQ yesterday, what happened then? Ah, uh, I forget. Fill me in. I think I won. <laughs> Was that a fluke too, Matty? Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Um, yeah, no, going good, going good so far. Job's only half done, so we'll, yeah, we'll see what happens now. Um, just curious to know, you know, obviously looking ahead to the 2025 Worlds, working closely with the the factory. Are you guys starting to give information back to the factory to, you know, help develop the car, or is it, is it too far out yet? No, look, we're gonna we're gonna keep all our cards close to our chest. Um, you know, we want we want to win. We don't want them to win. <laughs> okay, I'm up for that. I'm all for an Australian taking it to 2025. You should see this. You should see your face. No, no. Look, yeah, we'll we'll, we'll be sharing stuff. Um, we, uh, but yeah, it is early days. Obviously, um, you know, the track here hasn't this layout anyway hasn't been like this. Um, you know, this surface, this this level of groove and stuff like that so you know it, even for us to like through the weekend we're changing stuff we're 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 adjusting ourselves our cars um to the surface and the grip levels and stuff like that so um you know yeah, we'll take data from it uh and um hopefully yeah yeah continue to build on that all right let's get ready uh, wish you best of luck thank you all right michael stone's lying me off hmm? up to no good over there Wild rides over here. All the friendly banter you can expect from Team X-Ray. Uh, who else can we scoop up? No, no, I don't regret going over there. <laughs> um, let's pop in over here, check in. Camerton Hobbies working hard as always. Who we got over here? How are we going? Oh, we're not even working hard over here, boys. It was a lunch break. Yeah, it's a lunch break. Just uh, relaxing and getting ready for the finals. Everything's done. New tyres are on. We'll see how we go. Yeah.
Give all the people watching a you know a bit of a preview. Of what do you think is going to happen come come a final time? There's uh, yeah three different qualifiers or three different people took TQ. What do you see happening in uh, in modified two wheel drive finals? Oh, it's, of course, it's going to be X-Ray and Team Assoge. They're the two major ones that are going to be out there fighting against. So it's going to make it really interesting who takes it out. RETQ'd. So yeah, the X-Rays are on top at the moment, but see how the Associates go up against and be excellent race to watch. So stay on on YouTube and watch it, guys. <laughs> awesome, man. Thanks again. No All right. And let's see if we can. We got one more chat here. Uh, Oh, I'm going to grab, uh, maybe I'll grab Andrew, grab Lockie. Just checking in with you, mate. Uh, yeah, got the TQ in round one of qualifying and then uh, a few little issues. Just talk us through what happened in, in rounds two, three and four. Um, we tried some experimental setup ideas that we thought would help and we kind of just went the wrong direction with setup and made the car really difficult to drive in that last one. So kind of just reverted back to what we know works in the high grip. So I think it should be a lot more drivable in the main, so it should be good. Looking ahead to the 2025 Worlds, uh, we've been asking you know, a few drivers as far as the team side of it. Are you watching back to, to the headquarters yet about what to expect come come the Worlds? They're all watching, all the US guys, you know, watching us, Ray, they're all talking back to the team, so I'm sure they'll come over with some new stuff that should hopefully help out on this track, so yeah. How excited are you to be? US last year, um, just sort of maybe yeah, touch a little bit on, on that trip and what you got up to and how well you went. Well, yeah, the US was an amazing event, but in itself and how I did, you know, I was very happy with how I performed and um, I'm looking forward to a Worlds at my local track 30 minutes from home, so it's going to be pretty, it's going to be pretty cool. Awesome, well, uh, let's get ready. And, uh, yeah. How are you feeling? I'm exhausted. I need to sleep. All right, so I think we found the uh, the limits of the comms. Looks like cars are on track, so we'll, uh, we'll throw it back over. To Pete, and time for some A final action. All right, we're just waiting for the cameraman. All right, I'm just going to call it out so that's. Uh, all right, this is our two-wheel drive junior stock A main for the 2024 New South Wales state titles. On pole position, we have Will Aiken. In two, Lord uh, Lincoln Isogen. In three, Zach Panic. In four, Hassan Omar. Five, Ryan Kwok. Six, Riley Lander West. In seven, Finn Aiken. 8, Jasmine Monday, 9, Samuel Del Santo, 10, Mason Crompton, and rounding out the 11, Saxon Gillett. How about a big round of applause for our juniors? All right, let's get this one underway. Driver's ready, Marshall's ready. Go on the tone. All right, they're all away. A lot of patience in the first five cars. It's a great job. Very little contact. Got a 
gaggle of cars coming over the double double and they all keep it clean what an outstanding job by our juniors will aiken thought he stretched out a bit of a lead and i think it's lincoln isogen in two or it might be zach panic they have very similar paint schemes we'll see when they cross the line but definitely will aiken out in the lead currently And it's Zach Panic up in two. Hassan Omar three. Right there to West in four. Oh, a little mistake by a second place. Quick marshalling. Just loses one spot. And that's going to promote, promote Hassan Omar up into two. Will Aiken charging fast. He's already made a very handy lead. Heads around the sweeper onto the straight. Big battle for third place currently. Oh, Ryan Kwok just comes again, so it's unfortunate. It's going to cost him a fair bit of time. Oh, our leader's had a little rollover after the double-double. He's still got a handy lead, but it has allowed Hassan to uh, get much closer. Our leader's heading down into the horseshoe. Nice and tidy now. Just be aware, Saxon Gillett, that is the leader. Thank you. And All right, so Will starting to stretch it out a little bit, but Hassan doing a great job in second. I think we've still got Zach Panic. Got two cars that look very similar in third and fourth. So it's Zach Panic, and then I think it's Isingen. Uh, see as they cross the line. It is, so Zach Panic sitting in third, doing a fine job. Lincoln Isingen in fourth. Currently, Will Aiken lays down the fastest lap with a 32.17. So our leader just goes through the horseshoe. Our leader heading down onto the straight. So just be aware, Mason Crompton, the leader is going to be coming up behind you now. That's the leader coming through, Mason. Do not impede him. Thank you very much. Looks like uh, Zach Panic starting to just close the gap a little bit on Hassan. All these junior drivers doing an outstanding job. Oh, a little mistake by Hassan, and he's going to be coming under some pressure from Zach. Just caution the jump section, caution the jumps. Jumps are clear. Oh, and Hassan just has a little rollover. That's allowed Zach Panic just to drive through in a second. So Zach Panic now up in the two position. Our leader's just had a little rollover in the double, but currently with a 10 second lead, it's not going to hurt him too much. Current orders, Will Aiken 1, Zach Panic 2, Hassan Omar 3, Lincoln in 4, Finns 5, Riley 6, Ryan 7, Jasmine 8, Sam in 9, Mason 10 and Saxon 11. Oh, and Hassan just has another little rollover. That's going to put him back a couple of positions. That'll promote Lincoln Isogen up into 3. All these drivers doing an outstanding job. The driver etiquette has been fantastic. Oh, Hassan just has another little rollover. What's well, going to hurt him? He's gone from second. He's down to about sixth. But out front, Will Aiken with a 10-second lead and 40 seconds to go. Will Aiken heading down the straight. This may be his last lap. We'll see what sort of lap time. He, if he pushes hard, he might squeeze one more in for a victory lap. Comes over the double-double. All the cars fairly spread now. Will Aiken heads down the hill for potentially the final time. Ten, nine. I think eight, he might just squeeze through seven, for one more. It's going to be close. Six, five, four, three, and Will Aiken, two, our leader, will squeeze through one. for one more lap. No other driver is going to get through. So just take your time, Will. You can't lose this now. Just allow these guys to race.
Coming down for second place, we have Zach Panic comes through for sec Nathan second. Only 0.6 of Lincoln a second in front of Lincoln. Finn Aiken third. Riley Lander, Lander uh, sorry, done. fourth. Riley Lander in fifth. Ryan Quaff done. Samuel Dow And we have Sandler our leader done. coming across. Will Aiken, done. Will Aiken takes A1 Jasmine of the Monday junior done. stock New South Wales state titles. Well done, Will Aiken. Done. Great driving Jackson bow, juniors. Done. Well done to all of you. Your driver all etiquette was awesome. Finished. Fantastic the job. Completed. Can I please get two wheel mod B uh, up to Marshall just for the uh, stock A? This is going to get a bit messy. Well, A, congratulations. Getting the win there. A, final number one for junior. Uh, tell us how you're feeling right now. Bloody nervous, I'll give you that. And it was an excellent start, you know. Unfortunately for... I. I think it was either Lincoln or Hassan. They had a little bit of tumble, which gave me a pretty comfortable lead. And slowly but surely, just stretching out that lead, calming my nerves as I go. But yeah. So who would you like to thank? Honestly, I'd like to thank my, thank my favourite sponsor, uh, Peter Seckel. The amount of help and the amount of spare parts he's given me has been immaculate. I also massive shout out to my mate Sam behind the camera. It's he's the one I got the car from. You know, he's also helping me along with Pete with setup and everything. And yeah, awesome. Mate. Well, you got to do it one more time. So I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. One minute to the start of the race. Uh, yep, just head to anyone that's empty at the moment. I think we might be... 45 yep. seconds to the start Let's of the race. just pause that. All right, we will call our drivers to the stand. For our 2024 Campbelltown Hobbies RCRA New South Wales State Titles. Our top qualifier, two-wheel stock... In one, Andrew Salvaggi, driving for Team Associated. Driving for Team X-Ray, we have Dallas Gardner in two. Driving for Team X-Ray, Michael Stone in three. Driving for Team Associated, Nathaniel White in four. Driving for Team X-Ray, Chris Milton in five. Driving for Team Associated, Justin O'Connell in six. Representing the S-Works brand, Glenn Welsh in seven. A blast from the past who's come from nowhere, driving an AE, Christopher Prima. Driving for Team X-Ray, Scotty Hill in nine. And rounding out the ten, I'm pretty sure TLR, once again an old schooler who hasn't been here for a long time, Chris Lander. All right, gentlemen. You can, track is open. We'll hand you over to Pratty to have a crack at this one. Chris. <laughs> Scott Hill. Chris Lander. Glenn Welch. Nathaniel White. Dallas Gardner. Alrighty drivers, Justin lap around and straight onto the grids. Michael Stone. Andrew Salvagi. Christopher Primer. All the drivers are checked in. Make your way to the grid drivers. We have our two drivers. Stock A main, number one up now. So nice and slow on the straight, please, drivers. Nice and slow on the straight. Fifteen seconds to the start of the race. All 
All righty, we're looking good. We got marshals, we got drivers ready, we got cars ready. Drivers, oh, watch your cars, gonna set 10 seconds. Keep it nice and clean out there, please, drivers. Less than five. All right, we are off and running. Apologies about the ticks there. We'll set it up better for the next one. Off and running now. So we've got Svaggy out front under pressure early from Gardner straight up the inside. Didn't quite get the double down though. Goes for a big roll after that. So it's going to cost him a couple of spots down to about the five spot early on. Andrew Svaggy with a little bit of a gap now over Michael Stone in, up from P3 to P2 early in this one. Boys were battling it out in the four drive stock day yesterday. Going to see another battle out there today. See how they come across the line this time around. Savaggi with a good lap of 33-2, 33-6 for Michael Stone as they make their way to the top of the track, coming down through the S's now. Savaggi now coming under more pressure from Stone. Stone going for the single, single. Savaggi pulls that gap back out a little bit as they make their way to the top of the track. In the three spot, we'll have Chris Milton making the moves from P5 up to P3. Great start from Chris Milton. Nathaniel White sticking in P4. Chris Primer. All the way from P8 to P5 as well as they make their way around for their second lap. A 30.1 for Andrew Savaggi pumping it in. Hot lap of the race. Starting to pull a bit of a gap over Michael Stone as they make their way through the double-double. Stone getting a little bit sideways in the air there. Keeping it under control though. So we make their way around the top of the track at the moment. Coming down through the tabletop to the horseshoe and up to the top right hand side as they make their way down the straight once again Savaggi leading the way at the 130 part four and a half left on the clock All right, so two and a half down, two and a half left on the clock. We've got Savaggi out front, Stone in two, Chris Milton in three, Nathaniel White in four, Chris Prima in the five spot. Your leader now, Michael Stone out in front. So miss what happened there. We're having a couple of computer dramas. We're back out in track now. So Stoney now into the lead through the front, double, double. Little bit of a gap between the two of them now as well. Two seconds between Stone and Savaggi. Stone making his way back down the hill towards the center of track. Savaggi putting a little bit more pressure on him, closing that gap on up now. Goes over the curbing. Coming down the front straight we go now with two minutes left on the clock. Gap this time by. 0.6 of a second. Savaggi takes one and a half seconds out of Stone's lead from that last lap as they come through the S's. Your top two drivers going through the double-double. Clean for both drivers. A little whip in the air for Savaggi. Lighting himself up for the next corner as they make their way to the top of the hill. Down the step down. Savaggi putting pressure on Stone now. The top two spots. The boys racing out yesterday. They're battling it again in this one. Oh, Stone getting on the grass. Savaggi up the inside. Stone looking to try to take it back off and couldn't quite get it. So Savaggi now back into the lead. Nose to tail as they go around turn one. Stone finding the curbing as they go over the tabletop through the S's now. One and two making their way through the front. Double, double. They came to contact there. Both come out clean in the end. They've got a massive gap over third place. Will be Chris Milton now and Pete. Three. Savaggi under pressure with just over a minute left on the clock. Stone getting out of shape there as they come down the step down into the horseshoe. They go up to the top of the hill, back down and around down the front straight with less than a minute on the clock. Savaggi putting a hot lap in last time around. Both drivers doing identical laps that time though. Savaggi back under pressure now. Michael Stone looking for a way around coming through the S's into the double double. They both go single single for the first one. Stone a little bit out of shape after the second double as they make their way back to the top of the hill. Down the step, down, up the step, up. 
through the tabletops of Veggie, starting to pull a little bit of a gap over Stone. Stone we won't be having that with less than 30 seconds on the clock now. So they'll be entering their final lap as Savaggi makes a mistake onto the straight Stone now back in lead for their last lap. Coming around into the S's. Stone with the advantage. Final 10 Seven. seconds about to tick Nine. on down. Savaggi goes Eight. for the double. Didn't quite Seven. make it, but caught up Six. a little bit anyway. Five. Oh, puts it up Four. the inside and it Three. does not work Two. out. One. Cross the line, drivers. You will be done. Just Stone looking to take away A1 Glenn into a drive Scott. stock. Savaggi chucking everything out that he can. Can't quite Scott catch Hill up. Done. Last corner Dale for Scott Stone. Two a drive stock. Michael A main number done. one goes to Andrew Michael Scott Stone. Still got a couple of cars Good making their way across the line. Looking for Nathaniel, Nathaniel White. White. There's Nathaniel and Chris Primer still making his way around. And we are all done. done. Stone taking all the top spot. Andrew Svaggi too. Chris Milton coming home in third. Nathaniel White in the fourth spot. Chris Prima rounding out your top five. Michael Stone, congratulations. Taking the win there. A final number one for Tudor Drive Stock. Uh, you look speechless, but yeah, describe that race for us. I was sick. <laughs> um, yesterday... You know, there's the rivalry between myself and Salvaggi and, you know, I've got a ton of respect for that guy. And to go wheel to wheel with a two wheel drive car is hard enough at the best of times. You're about to see it happen again. And um, yeah, that was superb clean racing. He choked once, not me. So I'm going to take that and run. Enjoy the celebrations, but then focus and do it again at A2. That's it. Thanks, Tony. So we'll get our drivers out there, please. So two will drive. Hang on, sorry, sorry. That's all right. No, no, leave it like this. This is correct. So the cars you just raced are Marshall. Okay. So right. drivers, radios down, straight out to Marshall, please. Radios down, straight out to Marshall. Get those marshals out there as quick as possible, please. All right, moving into two-wheel mod, A main. The 2024 New South Wales RCRA state titles. Representing Team X-Ray in pole position, Ari Barkler. In two, driving for Team Associated, Lachlan Donnelly. In three, driving for Team Associated, Jared Mentz. Everyone get ready, it's always a big year all for this one. In four, representing Team X-Ray, Jordan Isagen. In five, representing Team Associated, Lachlan Monday. In six, representing Team X-Ray, Matty Cooper. In, se in seven, representing Team X-Ray, Peter Seckold. In eight, representing Team X-Ray, Jared King. In nine, representing Team X-Ray, Ben Cribben. And making his first ever top 10 in RCRA sanctioned event, two-wheel mod, Sam Muffet. Okay, guys, track is open. Matthew Cooper, Jared, Lachlan Monday, Lachlan Donnelly, Samuel Muffet, Ari Bakla, Sexy Seckled, Jordan Isergen, Ben, Jared King.
Can we just have you guys moving away from under the driver's stand, please? Move away from under there, please. I don't want you talking while under the drivers. All right, we'll get this one underway. Drivers ready. Marshals ready. Go on the tone. Everyone's away cleanly. Oh, Cooper just pulls a wheel stand. Out in front, Barkley with a nice clean start. In tow, we have Donnelly, Ment, Isogen, Monday, Seckold. Barkley just playing nice and safe. None of these guys were prepared to take any risks early on. Barkley already pulled a little gap. Heads down the straight. Gap between one and two, approximately half a point seven of a second. So Barkler laying the law down early. Can Ken Donnelly answer any of this? What has Mint got? Monday has been showing some fine speed, but he's now under a bit of pressure from Seckold. We go back to the lead. Barkler heads down the hill into the horseshoe. Both of them, both, everyone off the concrete. Previously, everyone's been on the concrete. Barkley heads down. Gap remains the same. 0.7 of the second. Donnelly puts in a little bit of a quicker lap. Just on a minute gone. Nobody putting a foot wrong. Everyone charging hard. Even in the back markers, there's very few position changes. Move back into the field. Bit of, couple of battles going on for about fifth. Big battle going on for third now between Isogen and Ment. Isogen starting to challenge. Only a couple of metres separates these two. We'll watch these guys while there's a bit of a gap up the front. That gap up the front is now closed. Ari just got a couple of couple of corners a little bit slow and now Donnelly all over the back of him head through Kirby's. Down the hill. They're heading into the horseshoe. All drivers off the concrete now. Up into the Cooper steps and down the hill again. Ari's just stretched the lead out a couple of metres. Just on three minutes to go, drivers. We have Barkler in one, who sets the fastest lap of the race in that one, a 26.8. Donnelly, two. Ment, three. Isogen, four. Monday, five. They head back up the hill. Oh, Ari goes wing, wing way down. So nose high up over the gamble. Loses a mountain of time to Donnelly. Donnelly now on the hunt. He's got a sniff. We're near the halfway mark as they head down the straight. Couple of battles happening in the midfield. But up front is where it's all at. Still Barkler and Donnelly. We've been here before yesterday. Ken Barkler hold out the fast charging young Lachlan Donnelly. X-ray versus Associated. Both guys go a little bit big on the jump in the centre. Oh, Ment goes even bigger. They have now pulled away from the uh, third place of Jared Ment. The gap between the top two now half a second. And Donnelly once again right up under the wing of Barkler. Donnelly applying the thumb screws as they head up over the gamble. Oh, Barkler, uh, sorry, Donnelly goes big with a little whip. Nothing between these two now. Donnelly determined to get back what he lost yesterday. He's giving it everything. He's now right around the outside of Barkley. He's not going to get it done there, but applying so much pressure. Ken Barkler hold on for another one and a half minutes. There is no gap between these two. They head over the double-double. Oh, Ari just gets a little bit wrong. He's got Donnelly all over the back of him. Donnelly now just waiting for a chance, and Ari has gone defensive. You just see him slow down on the apexes. Donnelly's got nowhere to go. Little touch in the back of the car. Barkler is shutting every door. I don't know how Donnelly's going to get this done. He's going to give it a red hot crack. Head around to over the tabletop, up the back straight into Smith's S's. Down the hill they come. The gap has remained the same for the last four laps. We have 53 seconds to go. Barkler is withholding this pressure. It is like an elastic band between them. No more than two or three meters now between the cars. Both, oh, and. Donnelly dies up the inside and gets it done. Barkley goes back to two. Can da Barkley respond? Donnelly now in the lead. We have 30 seconds to go and I cannot see what happened then. 
Donnelly still remains in the lead. Barkley in two, but now we have Ment and Isigen coming. It's a now a four-way battle for the lead with 20 seconds to go. They'll get one more lap in after this. They head down the hill into the horseshoe. Both drivers take it easy. Ten, Donnelly going to have to throw out everything eight, out of this lap because Barkley's not going to hold back. Six, five, AE1, four, X ray two. Three, Donnelly two, in front of Barkley. I just can't see on the other side of that tabletop. <laughs> Here they go. This is it. The guys have three quarters of a lap to complete. Sexy Who done. will take round one? Jared Currently, King we done. have Mun uh, Lachlan Donnelly Sing out in the lead. Oh, a significant Band advantage. Done. It's hard. going to be hard to pass him. He can deal with a mountain of pressure, and he's doing it. They go around the horseshoe. Barkley giving it, but I think Donnelly's got it. Here done. comes Donnelly down the straight to take A1 of two Ill Mod. New South Wales Lachlan State done. titles. Barkley two. Mint three. Isogen done. four. Jared Dunn. Jordan Isergen Dunn. Monday Black comes across Monday the five. Man have Seckles, Muffet, Cribbin, Cooper and King. Oh my goodness, Lachlan Dolly, Ari Barclot, what an A final number one you've just put on. I'll start with you, Lockie. Uh, mate, talk us through that final. Uh, my legs are still shaking. <laughs> I mean, it was nose and tail the whole race. There was nothing in it. Just, uh, just down to the small little things and stayed there until the end and got lucky and got the win. So we had the shakes. I think I'm still shaking. Ari, talk us through that race from your perspective. Yeah, look, didn't put a foot wrong. Um, just, uh, yeah, I think I went half a wheel wide on one corner and uh, lucky uh, put a wheel on the kerb. Perfect pass. Uh, and... Uh, I think, I think we put a real spectacle off for the crowd. So, you know, uh, it was good for everybody else. And uh, congrats on the win. Awesome. Uh, Lockie, just tell everyone what current equipment you're running. I'm running the Tim Associated B7D, uh, J-Concept, no, uh, not tyres, um, Berserk RC and Protec carbon parts, Gen Zace batteries, hovering electronics, and JC hop-ups. Uh, Ari, what about you? What were you powering on today with? Uh, I've uh, got the X-Ray XB2 2024 uh, on raw speed tyres as a control tyre, uh, Nozrum Electronics, Futaba radio gear, and I uh, <laughs> lost my train of thought, <laughs> J-Spec stickers and James Aisley paint. So. Any other final thank yous or shout outs? Um, yeah, the whole crew, usual guys, you know, our, our X-Ray team, uh, thanks for all the support, thanks for uh, coming along the journey. And uh, hopefully, yeah, my dad's watching at home and uh, probably my mum as well. So, yeah, cheers. Uh, Lockie, any final thank yous or shout outs from you? This guy over there, my dad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks to him. Awesome, mate. Well done, mate. Thanks for a great show, guys. Can't wait for A2. We'll do it again. Yeah, we'll do it. Alrighty, so your two-wheel drive stadium truck, A-Main, starting off the TQ spot, we will have Lachlan Monday. Starting off P2, we will have Ben Sterling. In position number three, we'll have Nathaniel White. In position number four, we'll have Brad Stafford. In position number five, your top five, Gordon Shaw. In position number six, we will have Scott Hill. In position number seven, we'll have Christopher Prima. In position number eight, we'll have Shane Edwards. In position number nine, we'll have Spencer Clements. In P10, we will have Paul French. In position number 11, we'll have Dean Masters. And rounding out your 12-car field for stadium truck, we will have Mitchell Isogen. All right, drivers, track is open. Lap around and straight onto the grids, please, drivers. Single lap around and lap onto the Monday. grids. Brad Stafford. Spencer Clements. Ben Sterling. Paul French. Dean Masters. Gordon Shaw. Christopher Primer. Scott Hill. Nice and slow on the straight, please, drivers. Nice and slow entering the straight.
All right, we got cars gridded up. We got marshals ready. Drivers are ready. Drivers, and we're going racing on the sound of the tone. We are off to drive stadium truck, modified truck here at Hills RC on mistake from our leader Lachlan Monday on his lid early. It's going to pop him back all the way down the field. There's a lot of work to do now for Lockie Monday. He's got a quick truck underneath him at the moment though. So Ben Sterling with a great lead. Lockie goes for another roll off the track. So great advantage from, from Ben Sterling. Gets called to hold up a little bit as well. So Ben Sterling, Nathaniel White to one and two early in this one. Down the front straight we go. Ben Sterling leading the way. Nathaniel White in the two spot. 34 and 35 of the top two drivers. Brad Stafford not too far out of this as well. Down through the S as we go. Follow along with the old Queensland driver, Ben Sterling. Through the teardrop. Towards the top of the hill he goes now. Over the gamble. Down the back straight away. Through the step down and step up. He currently has about a one and a half second lead over Nathaniel White in the two spot. Lockie Monday with heaps of room to make up from here. Cross the line that time around. A 31 flat for Ben Sterling. A 32-2 for Nathaniel White. A 31.8 for Brad Stafford. He's starting to close up on Nathaniel now. Second and third starting to close up as they make their way through the double-double. Brad trying to close on in on Nathaniel as they make their way now to the top of the hill. Down the step down, the battle for second and third, start to heat right up now. Over the tabletop, sending it right down the hill is Nathaniel. Brad with a bit of a safer line, onto the straightaway. Ben Sterling pulling that gap right out now. It's out to about three and a half seconds. Nathaniel White and Brad Stafford now down to less than a half a second between those two. Nathaniel White coming under more and more pressure through the chicane. There you go. Big gaggle of cars are coming down through the chicane now as well as Lachlan Monday starts to work his way through the field as well. Setting up past the left, right, and center. The battle on at the moment, though, between second and third. Over the tabletop, down the hill, as Ben Sterling makes his way down the straightaway. Gap will blow right out over four seconds for Ben Sterling. Daniel White and Brad Stafford. That time around, 0.5 of a second, separating those two as our leader. Starts to make his way through a bit of traffic, through the chicane. A great start for the tr stadium truck mains for Ben Sterling. Second and third still to be decided by the looks of it as we enter the halfway mark. 2.30 down, 2.30 to go. Caution on the tabletop coming down the hill. Caution tabletop coming down the hill. We've got second and third coming through as well here, guys. Second and third coming through. Thank you, thank you. So Ben Sterling still leading the way. It's out to over a five-second lead now. Lockie Monday now up to the four spot. Charging hard, trying to catch back up on these guys. Ben Sterling might be too far away, but second and third will still be potential. Closing in quick on those two drivers. Hot lap of the race with Lockie Monday last time around. A 29.9, only driver in the 29s. Less than two minutes left on the clock. Drivers, your running order. Ben Sterling a one, Nathaniel White two, Brad Stafford in three, Lockie Monday in four, Scott Hill in five. Second and third still battling it out up the top left-hand side of the track now as they make their way through the chicane. Separated last time around by 1.1 seconds. Better lap last time by from Nathaniel White. Puts his hot lap in last time. 1 minute 30 on the clock drivers as Brad now start to close in on Nathaniel once again. Second and third coming down the hill. Slight mistake there as Lockie Monday now starts to close in on the two of them as well. 1 minute 15 on the clock. Lockie on a charge out there. Had a real rough first lap. He's making it all back now. Gap this time from Lockie. One second behind Brad. Seven tenths behind Nathaniel White. So those three all starting to come together. It was getting a little bit of traffic as well. Oh, they tag each other. That allows Lockie Monday to run away. So Brad and Nathaniel came together. Lockie says, thank you very much. Straight on through. Released into P2 with one minute left on the clock. It's your leader. Ben Sterling has a huge lead out there at the moment. Close to five seconds between Ben Sterling and the lucky Monday now with 35 seconds left on the clock. Ben going through the double-double nice and clean. Six and a half seconds actually for Ben Sterling over Lockie Monday. Lockie doing everything he can and maybe too much goes flying off track. Great catch there. Matty Cooper with the hands. 20 seconds left on the clock. Drivers, you're running order. Ben Sterling, Lockie Monday, Nathaniel White are your top three. Everyone spreads out a little bit. 
Less than a second still in it between third and fourth. Nathaniel White and Brad Nine. Stafford. Eight. So they make their way onto Seven. the straight. They'll just Six. sneak in another lap. Five. Four, three. So we follow on board Two. with Ben, ben Sterling One. making his way down the back straight away. Cross the line, drivers. Gordon Spencer Shaw Clements, done. you are done. Gordon Shaw, Shaw you're done. done. Mistake there by Nathaniel White. Battle back on between third and fourth. Paul These boys Brent still done. going at it. Up the back of the straight Shane now. Edwards Nathaniel done. under pressure. Brad ben looking for any way done. around on their final lap. Mitchell looking up the inside. Done. Too far to the Christopher inside. Freeman Catches done. the pipe. Nathaniel should have had it from Brent here. Done. All he needs to do is keep it on his wheels. Final corner. Nathaniel White comes home third. Nathaniel Brad White Stafford done. in fourth. But Brad Ben Stafford Sterling done. taking home the top finished. spot for stadium truck. Up next, race number five. Two WD mod. F main. Best deal, congratulations getting the win there. A final number one for Stadium Truck. Uh, yeah, tell us how that feels. Yeah, it feels feels great, mate. It, uh, Stadium Truck's a good fun class for me to race and uh, puts a smile back on my face every time I get to drive it. And it was unfortunate for Lockie at the start there. He clipped the pipe and landed on his lid. And obviously, once you get marshaled at the start like that, you go to the back of the pack. So it was good for me. I sort of just ran away with a nice gap and just sort of tried to pace myself and keep that gap there. And um, yeah, ended up with the win. So it was pretty cool. Tell us what car and equipment you're running. Uh, I've got the Schumacher ST2 with Zombie Electronics. Any other thank yous or shout outs? Uh, yeah, just all my sponsors and family at home for watching and uh, the club for putting on a great event and you guys for putting on a great media show, so thank you. Last big question, can you do it again in A2? We'll give it a shot, mate. So at the end of the day, it's just a bit of fun, so. Excellent. Well done, and yeah, best of luck. Thank you. All right, we'll get this one underway. Just a couple of computer modifications. The track is open. We're moving into the two-wheel mod McMahon. F main. David Ryan. Paul French. Dan Carney. Okay, let's get someone to Brendan replace you Tucker. then. Can someone just replace? Stephen Hoggins. Let's get one volunteer marshal, please, just in the center. We've just got someone who's racing the next race. Just one volunteer. Just put your hand up if you can volunteer, please. Anyone able to vo There we go. Just um, on number nine, please. Thank you, Peter Eggleton. Coming all the way down from Queensland. Still happy to help out. Thank you very much. So have we got Pat Carter in this one? Yeah. I haven't got Pat Carter checked off. Is he there? Is Pat Carter not He's racing? Out. He's out, okay. Motor probably blew out over revved. All right, all good to go. All right, two or mod F main drivers ready, marshals ready. Watch your cars. Oh, a bit of carnage in the back, but doesn't end up too bad. David Ryan in control out front. Nice and tidy so far. Already stretched out to about a five metre lead. They head down the hill into the horseshoe. Grabs a mountain of concrete. Round onto the straight. We'll see where the gap David has here. Gap comes through. David comes through with a 34.7. Paul French a 38. So David Ryan ends up with a four second lead. Fix up this race. All right, <clears throat> caution the jumps. David Ryan starting to stretch his lead. He 
gap now, 4.2 over Paul French. Stu McMahon in third. So we'll just do a couple of laps with our leader. He heads <laughs> up the hill, just going through Kirby's curve. Just a little bit off the apex. How big does he go on little jump? Just small. Nicely around the horseshoe, up through Cooper steps. Heading down on the straight. Nice tidy lap by David on that one. That's a 30... 33-1, his fastest lap of this race. Stretches his lead a little now. It's now out to five seconds. David Wright in one. Paul French two. Stu McMahon in three. Our leader goes up through the gamble. A little whip of the car. Keeping it nice and tidy. Hasn't put a foot wrong. Dave Ryan just circulating nice. Oh, his car's just turned off. I don't know what happened. It just stopped. No, no, take it off the track. The car's just stopped. Take it off the track. Take it off the track. Just turn it upside down and leave it. Okay, we now have a new leader, Paul French. After uh, Dave Ryan's car just stops coming on through the sweeper. So Paul French is our new, new leader as he heads up through the gamble. Starts to make his way down the hill into the little tabletop there and the horseshoe. So Paul French has a handy lead now over Stu McMahon of 8.3 seconds. We've got Paul French in one, Stu McMahon two, Steve Hagginson three, Brendan Tucker four, Dan Kearney five, David Ryan six, Pat Carter is not in this one. Didn't start DNF or did not start. Two wheel drive. This is not right. Paul French now with a uh, 9.3 second lead over Stewie McMahon. We've got French in one, McMahon two, Tucker three, Haggerson's moved up in the four, Kearney in five. Poor Dave Ryan is out. One minute to go, drivers. We will need some volunteer marshals at the completion of this race. We will need three of them, please. Two seconds to go, drivers. Paul French now stretches his lead out to 12 seconds over Stewie McMahon. This will be uh, French starting his final lap. He heads, oh, he's just off the track. Heads down the back straight, or up the back straight, down through the S's. Final Ten, time over the double nine, double. He's just taking it eight, safe. Seven, six, five, four. French heads up three, over the gamble. Two, one. Here comes our leader, Paul French, up through Cooper steps. He's deading around the sweeper. And down the straight and for the final done. time, coming through to take Stephen the Parkinson air two wheel drive done. mod F main. Paul, Paul French, French in done. one. Stewie McMahon sick. Here he comes, sitting in second. Stuart McMahon done. Stewie McMahon takes second, and ben, Brendan Tucker comes through for third. Brendan Tucker done. All drivers are finished. Drivers Thank you, drivers. Can I please get three volunteer marshals for the next race? Three volunteer marshals for the next. Thank you. Up next, race number six. Two WD stock. C main. Paul French, congratulations, taking the win there in the F final for two-wheel drive mod. Uh, yeah, tell us a bit about that race. Yeah, thank you. Um, just kept it clean, kept it tidy, tried to keep my line straight, kept the car in one piece, and that's all I had to do, I think. Um, 
it's tough competition out there at the moment, so it's just fun to be here and have a good moment and thank the club and thank everybody else around the organised event. Thank you. Do you get nervous up there when the announcers call your name? I was shaking like a... I had more butterflies and shakes that I could deal with after that one. It was, um, I was a mess. So just, just tell us what current equipment you're racing with. I'm uh, running an X-Ray XB2 uh, 21 model and for Tarba um, radio, uh, hobby wing motor, speedy, um, Savox servo, all that stuff. Uh, any other thank yous or shout outs? Uh, I'd like to thank um, Campbelltown Hobbies and also the McMahon family for giving me, putting me up for the week and um, the weekend. So, yeah, no, thanks to those guys and transporting me around and all that sort of stuff. It was really good. Awesome. Mate. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, good luck in your next event. Thank you. Mitchell Isagen in seven. Clements. We've got a bit of a key law challenge here between Isagen and Clements. Did Benjamin in nine and Andrew Carrick in ten. Take your time coming down the straight, people, and uh, grid up. Please do not head the wrong way down the straight. Just pull up in your position. Oh, something sounded bad in someone's car then. I'm not sure what it was. Robbie Smith well prepared with a bumper bar on the front and back. All right, yeah. all locked in, ready to go. Driver's ready, marshal's ready. Watch your cuss. <laughs> Everyone away cleanly. Robbie Smith out in the lead. Robbie Smith been in our club for a long, long time. Well, there's a back mark with some serious issues. I'm not sure what that clunking is, but it's not good. So there's a freight train following Robbie Smith and someone just, Absalom just dives up the inside. Robbie Smith just goes a little wide and now, oh, just can't, but Robbie Smith. Oh, he was looking to move in the lead. He just got turned around. There's just carnage. Not sure what happened, but in the lead now we have Damien Absalon, Todd Gillian two, Jason Hollis three, Spencer Clemens four, Leon Phillips, the laughing assassin in five, Robbie Smith back in six. So Damien now with a uh, handy lead of about six metres. The gap between one and two currently 1.4 seconds. Absalon over Julian. Jason Hollis sitting in third. We'll stick with it. Oh, there's a bit of a battle going on for third. They're literally climbing over each other. That'll be Clements. Oh, actually, and maybe Carrick. I think it's Andrew Carrick in the. Oh, actually, massive change in order. We got cars going everywhere. Absalon looks like he's gone backwards. I think Todd Julian now may be our leader. That is correct. Todd Julian now in the lead. He's got 1.8 seconds over Spencer Clements. Oh, Clements is just stuck. Todd Julian now with an enormous lead. Just inherited. With two minutes 50 to go, we've got uh, Damien Absalom now in the chai. Oh, he's had a little of a hiccup too. So I think we've got Leon Phillips in two now. The laughing assassin head down the hill. You can hear him. He's excited. Here he comes around the sweep. Oh, and he tosses it away. He's on his lid. Back on the wheels. He's gone on the inside and he holds it. Leon now back to fourth. Comes down through the S's using lots of steering through the S's. He's right on the back of Absalom. This is where the battle is for second. Oh, Phillips rolls it over again. All right, we'll move back to second. Absalom still in two. 
pretty sure it's Spencer Clements in third. There's a battle as they head down onto the straight. Clements looks up inside. Nothing separating these two. One tenth of a second. Go to the tabletop. Up the back straight. Oh, and Clements gets... Oh, they're switching backwards and forwards. Clements, Absalon, Absalon, Clements. Clements back up here. Oh, he can't get it done. He's having a look on the gamble. They crisscross. Absalon maintains the lead. Got a minute 20 to go, drivers. All right, Damien just calms the nerves, settles down. As these two battle, the cars behind are catching. The two fluoro cars of the laughing assassin, Phillips, and the dirty Robbie Smith. Not he's dirty, he's actually a good bloke. Anyway, Robbie Smith sitting uh, currently in fourth. Our leader is just streaked away. Todd Julian just doing it with ease. 7.5 seconds. But there is a battle for the second. Oh, and the smiling assassin, laughing assassin, now makes his move. He's in the horseshoe. He goes a little bit wide. Robbie Smith now moves up in the third. They're switching and swapping. Oh, and he does it again. Phillips over in the sweeper. He's just defeating it. Too much steering. Robbie Smith up in the two. Damien Absalom in three. We have 35 seconds to go. Little mistake by Robbie Smith. Absalom back up the inside. Here comes Absalom over the double. I think they will get one more lap in after this. Well, in this time, we've just got Todd Julian just slowly driving away. Now with a nine second gap. Absalom and uh, Smith just Ten, banging wheels nine, again. They'll come through for eight, one more lap. Seven, Smith up on the grass. Six, five, four. This will be an Absalom two. two one, Smith in three. Spencer All up to Smith to get it done Leon in this Phillips one done. lap. Smith has a look up the inside. Can't get it done. Oh, a little mistake Jason by Absalom. And old Smith drives through. Smith driving with the... Oh, they're on top of each other. Mitchell Isergen done. Smith's having a look. Can he get up? And Smith's up the inside of Absalom. He's only got five more Todd corners Jolian to negotiate. Done. Can he hold out to take second? Smithy all over the concrete. He's driving defensive. Here he comes. Robbie Smith down to take. Second Robbie position Smith of the done. C main stock final. What a done. great battle with uh, Damien Absalon. Spencer Clements in fourth. Andrew Carrick done. All, all drivers are the finished. laughing Leon in five. The race is completed. Sid Benjamin six. Jason Hollis seven. Mitch Isagen eight. Andrew Carrick nine. Well done, gentlemen. It was a lot of fun to watch. Just ask you guys to come down Up and uh, marshal immediately. Number seven. Two w Is Dean Master not. still here? Because he was in that race. Oh, yeah, there. Thank you. Okay, no worries. Oh, that was a lot of fun. Thank you, gentlemen. I enjoyed that. Todd Julian, congratulations taking the win there. See, final number one for two drive stock. Uh, yeah, tell us about that race. Yeah, I was, yeah, um, I was fifth on the grid and yeah, there was a few few little prangs in front of me and I found myself sort of in second. And then, yeah, and then Damien was out in front and he made a, a little, mis little, little mistake a few laps in and I got out in front and managed to stay there. Yeah, so I'm happy. <laughs> You're obviously good with keeping your composure under, under pressure with the announcer calling your name? Um, yeah, yeah, after a couple of years of racing, I'm sort of pretty good with that now. I used to get pretty nervous at first, but... Yeah, yeah, I seem to be able to handle the pressure a bit better now, yeah. Tell us what equipment you're racing today. I'm running a, a TLR 22 5.0 Elite, yeah. Any other thank yous or shout outs? Oh, just thanks to the club for putting on a great event and yeah. Yeah, and that's, yeah, that's it, yeah. Well, thanks for coming, well done and uh, yeah. good luck in the next one. Cool, thank you very much. Thank you. Michael Frieden, Jaden Brown, Brian Lowe, Jordan Kosick, Scott Giles, Wade Keft, Andrew Cook, Shane Edwards, Mark Howell. Dan Ma, just let me know if you Brian need to be replaced, Andrews. if uh, you need to get your cars ready. Um, let me have a look, see if we can find out. Okay.
right, everyone's checked off. Oh, look at this machine we have on pole. The RC10, Yokomo YZ10. We got all our marshals. We're all looking good. All right, locked in. Good to go. All right, drivers ready. Marshals ready. Go on the tone. Everyone away cleanly. Andrew Cook out in the lead. Oh, he's just had... Uh, I think it's Ryan Andrews dive around the outside of him. I think uh, Andrew Cook's been having a blast here. Car's looking amazing. We'll call him the Cookie Monster. Ryan Andrews in control of this one. He heads around the straight for the first time. Andrews one. Cook two. Fretton three. Kef four. Brown five. Low six. Hallam. Cossack. Jills. Edwards. We'll continue on with Ryan Andrews. Was a, originally from here some years ago, but he's been taken off up to Queensland, but had to make his way down for this. It's great to see him back on the home soil. Andrews will want to take this one out, but the cookie monster is not going to give him any space. He's charging after him. Andrews one, cook two, threatening three. Bretton's starting, really starting to make a run. Oh, Cook just goes way nose high. Car totally upset over the gamble. That just allows Fretton to get past. Ryan Andrews just continues to extend his lead. It was under a second last time. What is it this time? Oh, there was a huge launch down the hill. They came from the moon for that one. So the gap, two and a half seconds between Andrews and Fretton. Cook sitting in third. Cossack. Brown, Edwards, Kef, Lowe, Giles, Hallam. Andrews continuing just to drive away from this field. Ah, uh, the cookie monster goes nose high again. Just struggling to get the front end of the car down over that, over the uh, gamble. If he just came a little bit more to the left, it'll allow the uh, nose to be down. And uh, the cookie monster under intense pressure now from Jordan Kosick. Only a couple of tents separating these two. Oh, and Kossi goes big and just jumps over the Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster looks to throw it up the inside. Can he get it done? Oh, no, we can't. Jordan looking super racy now. He's now chasing after Fretton. Fretton's sitting in second, but oh, Kossi is going massive on the jump on the infield. And he's all over the back of Fretton now. Kossi looking racing around the outside. Can he get it done? Not there. Oh, and Fretton just decides to do U turn at the end of straight. The Cookie Monster's back up in there too. Here comes the Cookie Monster. What have they guys got to offer? We've got two minutes to go. Jordan Kosick is throwing everything at it, leaving nothing on the table. Just under two minutes to go, drivers. All this time, Ryan Andrews is staying out in front. Oh, over under. I think kosick has got it. They head down the straight. Only a couple of meters separating the two. Cookie Monster's not going to hand this one to him. He's going to keep racing. Heads down over the curves. Onto the double-double. Kossick can clear their first double really easily. The other guys are struggling. Uh, caution front, front straight's clear. We have one minute 20 to go. Ryan Andrews now with a four-second lead. Jordan Kossick with the fastest lap of the race to 30.7. He's hot in pursuit. The Cookie Monster sitting in third, doing all that he can, but I don't know that he's got enough for Jordan. Jordan looking super racy. Michael Fretton in four, Brown five, Giles six, Kef seven, Hallam's eight, Edwards nine, and Lowe rounding out the ten. The big battle still for second. We have 47 seconds left. Let's see the Cookie Monster go full launch. Om nom nom nom. Here comes Cookie. 
Oh, Kossi just little crossed up. There's a little out. No, Cookie just can't get on the back. Oh, actually, they're catching up to our leader. There's now nothing in it. They will have one more lap after this. And second and third is closing right up behind first place. Ryan Andrews has been cruising around lead for the entire four minutes 40. But here comes Kossick. Kossick goes big on the tabletop down the hill. Ten, Ryan Andrew heads nine, around the sweeper. Eight, and will commence seven, his final lap. Six, Gap between one and two. Five, now one second. Four, oh, three, who flipped two, over? Jordan Kossick just one. flipped over. Oh, now Cookie Monster's on his lead. Michael Frieden done. This is loud, Ryan Andrews just to cruise out in front. I can't see him throwing it away from here. He now has about a five second gap. Kossick in two, done. Cookie Monster three. Shane Edwards done. Mark Hallam done. And Scott here comes done. our winner for the two wheel mod E main, done. Ryan Andrews. Comes across to take the win. In done. two, Ryan we will have done. Jordan Kossick. Jordan and in Kossick three, done. the legendary Cookie Monster. Andrew Cook done. Oh, <laughs> well stopped. Are finished. <laughs> the race is complete. Thanks, guys. That was good racing. Up next, race number eight. Two WD mod. D main. Okay, so just guys know after this D main, we'll be moving into back into the A main. So it'll be the junior stock A main up after this next race. Right, we're going to have to get this underway. Let's just open the track. We'll get the guys going. Marshall's still moving about, but we're running out of time. All right, guys, track is open. One minute to the start of the race. Aiden Young. Paul Shannon. Matthew Lawrence. Brad Stafford. Right, so junior Aileandra stock A Deloza. main is after this race. Steven Snedden. Gordon Shaw. 45 seconds to the start of the race. Connor Lawton. Gavin Webb. Thomas Camilleri. Thirty seconds to the start of the race. All right, got Lawrence in one, Shaw two, Staffo three, Shannon four, Snedden five, Camilleri six, Young seven, Lawton eight, Villarosso in nine, and Webb in ten. Once again, massive thank you to Campbelltown Hobbies for sponsoring this. We'll just ask the marshals to help, and we'll get this underway. All right, good to go. Drivers ready, marshals ready. Watch your cars. All right, everyone away cleanly. Oh, a bit of carnage in the first turn. Didn't quite catch what happened. But we have Lawrence out in one. Nice and cleanly over the double-double. Already pulled a couple of metres. Heads over the gamble. Comes down the hill. I think it's Staffo starting to apply a bit of pressure. I think Staffo must have moved through to the two position. I think it might be Snedden in three. We'll see as they cross the line. Lawrence one, Staffo, Snedden, Shaw, Cameron Leary, Deloroso, Young, Lawton, Webb, Shannon. Oh, our leader's made a little mistake and Staffo now in the lead. Staffo comes over the double-double nice and cleanly. Can Lawrence respond? He's going to throw everything at it. Got a few battles at the front and a lot of battles at the back. We'll stick with the leaders. Staffo versus Lawrence. Staffo heads through Cooper's steps, down onto the straight. One minute gone, four to go. Staffo now with a three-tenth second lead. Comes down through the S's, grabbing a bunch of concrete. Nicely over the doubles. Lawrence goes a little bit long. Oh, and 
The battle for third place is on. Snedden versus Shaw. Snedden ran a little bit wide off the du second double and Shaw had a look up the inside but decided better and pulled out. Staffo starting to pull a bit of a, uh, a lead away from uh, Lawrence but Snedden starting to close in on the back of Lawrence. Top four, very tight. Top four only separated by a couple of seconds. Staffo doing a fine job out on top. Oh, fourth place. Shaw is just going to drop. Oh, there's broken car, I think. Yep, so we've got one broken car. Facing the wrong way in the jump section. Oh, now Steve Snedden just had a little roll over here, sitting in third. So that's allowed Lawrence away. we now got a battle between Daffo and Lawrence. And through the gaps now, 0.7 a second. Can uh, Lawrence just get on the back of Staffo? Oh, actually, now we've got Connor Lawton starting to come into play. Connor Lawton starting to close up on the back of Shaw. They head around Kirby's. Just down the hill. And, oh, he looks up the inside. He's now on the outside. It's the wrong side. Here comes young Connor Lawton. Just a little crossed up in the horseshoe. Heads around the sweeper onto the straight. Lawton versus Shaw. Shaw in advantage. Oh, and Connor just pulls out of it. Just touches the back of the car. No harm done. Head up the hill, down through the S's, and Lawton look for every... Can Lawton make it here? Lawton makes it over the top, jumps through. Lawton now moves up into the fourth position. He's going to make a charge after Steve Snedden. We've still got two minutes to go. What can Lawton do? The front two still continuing with that uh, that gap. We'll stick with the battle for fourth here between Shaw and Lawton. Oh, even that started to stretch out a little bit now. Actually, uh, Shaw's gotten back past Lawton. I didn't see it. Head up the hill, down through the S's. So all this time, we've got Staffo with an eight-tenths of a second lead. He's holding his nerve. He's had Lawrence sitting in that gap for all this time, but Staffo has not made a mistake. The gap is now smaller. Lawrence is putting on a charge. They come down through the S's. We've got one minute to go. Lawrence is looking hungry. Staffo a little wide off the double-double up on the two. Oh, Staffo just makes a little mistake on the gamble. We now have Lawrence in the lead. We'll see what the gap is as they come by, but it is... Uh, it is significant. So Lawrence now in one with 45 seconds to go. Staffo sitting 2.3 off him. Steve standing in third. Connor Lawton sitting up in fourth. Top four are all now fairly spread. Oh, now leaders flipped it off. He's now, Staffo just drives past. So now we've got a battle on. They'll get one more lap in after this and Staffo is back up in the lead. Staffo one, Lawrence two, Stenton three, Lawton four. 17 seconds to go. Our top four drivers will get one more lap. Ten, Can Staffo nine, hold off a fast-charging Lawrence? Seven, oh, no, six, he can't. Lawrence, uh, five, Staffo's made a little four, error on the tabletop. Three, Lawrence two, is now in front. Staffo's one. charging back. He's got ten corners to negotiate. Thomas what can he do? A little bit sideways All on the gamble. Done. Looks up the inside. Alien There's no though, space there. Done. Lawrence just playing nice and safe. Tied on the apex. Staffo goes big and it doesn't pay off. Our leader for two or more, D Main, heading down the straight. Matthew, Matthew Lawrence, Lawrence takes it over Brad, Brad Stafford. Stafford. Coming through for third. Connor Lawton. I didn't see what happened, but Connor's come Steven from nowhere to take three. Gordon Steve Stenner, four. Done. Gordon Shaw, five. Gavin Webby, Webb six. Camillary, seven. All Shannon, eight. De La Rosso, nine. And Young completed. running out the ten. Up next, race number nine, Junior Stock. Well done, Connor A2 Lawton. Main. Outstanding effort for the young fella. Starting to show some talent. A lot more than his old man. <laughs> oh, mate, what a race, gentlemen. No, yeah, tell us a little bit about it from your perspective. Uh, the car felt better. I made some changes. Uh, ben Sterling, he gave me some notes to do, to the, uh, changes to make. And it was a lot better car to drive, definitely. What about you? How excited was that finish? Oh, mate, it was a pretty uh, good battle. Uh, 
just got me in the end, a little bobble there. Just uh, We uh, both needed that bobble from each other, but uh, unfortunately I made one more. So that was good fun, and uh, for what it was, yeah, just enjoyed it. Is that what RC racing is all about, coming out of here and having, having close, exciting battles? Yeah, 100%. It's definitely all about that and you know, rivalries. Or, but we're all mates at the end of the day. We all do it for the same reason, so it's the main thing. Yeah, yeah quick thank yous or shout-outs you'd like to give? Thanks to my sponsors, Schumacher, Team Exalt and Speedy RC. Yep. And, any thank yous or shout-outs? I'd just like to give the guys at RC Race Control a bit of a shout-out and uh, thanks for all your help in that. So cheers. Awesome, guys. Thanks for a great race. Samuel Dal Santo, Will Aiken. Are you guys right to marshal after, after, after yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. Sweet. All Thank eight. you. Just, oh, whatever you want. Oh, she just do the mods. Just do the mods. I'll get something else to it. That's fine. I'm getting confused. Oh, you just do it. You guys are do it. It's fine. Just yell. Yeah. All right. Pull up on your grid positions, please, drivers. All right, just uh, a reminder to our juniors, this driver etiquette last time was outstanding. The racing was fantastic. Let's try and do the same again. Just remember if uh, you are one of the slower cars and the leader's coming up to you, we'll let you know. You just try and give them some space. All right, fathers, no more talking to the drivers. All right, guys, that's enough. Bloody fathers of RC car drivers. All right. Junior stock, A2. Will Aiken took the first one. Let's see what can happen here. Driver's ready. Marshall's ready. Watch your cars. All right, we did have a jump start. Car four, I believe it was. Car four, jump start. Yeah, we'll deal with that later. Okay, out in front, we have Will Aiken. I think it's Lincoln Isogen. Once again, between Panic and Isogen, I can't tell the cars apart. They look so similar. We'll wait till they cross the line. But Will Aiken starting off where he left off last time. And it is Lincoln Isogen in two. Finn Aiken three. Riley Lander West in four. Zach Panic five. Talk to him. And here they come. Will Aiken doing a fine job. Out in front. <laughs> here comes Will Aiken. We're already a significant lead, but we have a battle for two. Oh, Lincoln Eastern gets up inside. Two cars come together side by side. Apparently there's some great marshalling there. I'm not sure who, saw, who where it was from, but we have a great battle for second. There are four cars in it. It's Isogen, Aiken, Lander West, and Quok. Oh, a little mistake by... I think it's... Oh, actually, I'm not sure which one that is. But they head down the hill. Lincoln Isogen now with a little bit of a lead. I'm still trying to learn these cars. I think it's Finn Aiken in two. Ryan Quok in three. See as they cross the line, Aiken... Clearly out in lead. Isogen 2. Riley Lander West in 3. Quok 4. So that's Riley Lander West sitting in 3 with that green and white car. He heads down through the S's. He has been getting quicker and quicker all day. Oh, a little mistake, but he lands on his wheels. No harm done. Just be aware, young um, Saxon, we have the leaders starting to come through. So just as they get there, just move a little bit off the track. Thank you. Great job by Saxon. Saxon has been getting quicker and quicker all day. Well done, Saxon. Thank you very much, buddy. Much better driver than your father. And anyway, here we come. Will Aiken out in one. Now with a six-second lead over Lincoln Isogen. Riley doing a fantastic job in third. Every time I see this kid, he's getting quicker and quicker. The top three, Sigilvi spread out, will drop back to fourth. That battle is between a Quok and an Aiken, I believe. Quok in four. Aiken in five. Oh, I believe that is correct. 
It is. Quok v Aiken, fourth and fifth. Top three are spread out. Just trying to see where the action is. I'm hearing some. Caution the straight, caution the straight. Oh, straight is clear. Straight is clear. Okay, Will Aiken. Oh, so Aiken must have a little issue. He's now dropped back into the into the field. He's now only three seconds in front of Isogen. So Isogen now pushing as hard as he can, getting get on the back of Aiken. Deficit only 3.5 seconds. Oh, Isogen just a little error coming over the double double. Just Billy uh, uh, Hassan. Just be careful, Hassan. You're not really in this battle. Uh, Hassan, you're not in this battle. You cannot take out those cars. They're in front of you by a lap. Saxon Gillett doing an awesome job out there. Current order, Will Aiken in one. He now has an eight-second gap over Lincoln. Ryan Quox moves up into three. Riley four. Finn, far, uh, Finn is in fifth. And Zach Panic in sixth. Our leader just goes through to start another lap. He has 30 seconds. He will get this lap and one more. If he can take this, he will become the New South Wales state champion. He's already won A1. A2 will give him that advantage. He won't need A3. Lincoln Isogen now 13 seconds behind. Will Aiken can just cruise. He has nothing, Ten, to, lo nine, nothing to gain in pushing eight, too hard here. Seven, He's coming around one of the six, back markers. Just take five, it easy. Four, he commences three, the final lap. Two, I don't think any other car one. will get a cross for one. Will Samuel Aiken is on a victory lap. Done. He is unstoppable from here. Will Mason Aiken is going to go on to win. The Lincoln New South Heisman Wales 2024 done. State Championships. Oh, just a little rollover. Ryan no Quark pressure, done. but this is a victory lap for him. Just enjoy this one, Will. There's Riley no pressure, Ryder mate. West it's done. all yours. Finn Aiken done. Will Aiken comes around. Jack He's heading Aiken down the hill done. for the final time. He is Samuel our New Mar South done. Wales State Champion. A little spin to celebrate. He hasn't Jasmine done that all day. He's having a bit of fun now. Here comes Will Aiken. Put your hands together for Will Aiken. Our new junior champion. In two, we have Lincoln Isogen. Three, Ryan Kwok. Four, Riley Lander West. Five, Finn Aiken. Zach Six, Zach Panic. Done. Seven, Jasmine All Monday. Eight, Samuel. Finished. Will Aiken, congratulations, buddy. You are new South Wales champion. How does that make you feel? Absolutely amazing. Obviously, again, excellent start in that first one. Had a little bit of a few mistakes, but obviously with such a massive lead, I was sitting out there quite comfortably. Just had to keep it, just had to keep it calm. But yeah, you've been racing RC for a number of years, doing a lot of practice, a lot of preparation to build up to this one. Just yeah, what does it mean now to be a, a state champion? It's absolutely amazing. You know. I've been racing since I was like six or seven and to see that now it's finally paid off, I've finally stepped up my game and it's just such an amazing feeling. Awesome. Dad, come on in here Dad. How proud are you at the moment? Mate, so proud. He's really the last few months completely stepped up his game. Massive help from our club, Sydney RC, and the X-Ray guys there, particularly Peter Seckold, uh, Michael Stone. It's uh, just been amazing to get that attention and just really the results speak for themselves. Just a little bit of help and it's just made all the difference. Any final thank yous, mate? Honestly, what my dad said, <laughs> massive thanks to Seco, massive thanks to Sam and his dad Chris. They, they've uh, gave me so much help over these past few months and it's just been such a wonderful time having all of X-Ray behind me, helping me get through it. But yeah, thank you. Well done, congratulations again. You are state champion, go and celebrate. Thank you, will do. Go enjoy it. Three, six, three, six.
Sixty final lap was definitely off. Yeah. Campbelltown Hobbies. Campbelltown Hobbies, a major sponsor for the New South Wales state titles here at Hills RC. So our two-wheel drive stock A2 main up now. So Vaggie will be starting off the top stop. Michael Stone taking out A1, though. Alrighty guys, we are ready to go racing drivers. Watch your cars. We're gonna go racing on the sound of the tone. Oh, we are off and running to a driver's stock. Buggy, A main number two. Savaggi leading the field away for the first lap. Gardner in tow, Stone in three. Stone taking victory in A1. See what he can do in this one. Goes big over the second double. Goes a little bit too big. Savaggi under all kinds of pressure early on this, in this one. Down the step, down, up the step, up. Around the big teardrop they go. Up and over the tabletop, down the hill to the horseshoe. Around Cooper's step and onto the front straight away. Savaggi will lead first lap honours. Dallas Gardner in, sorry, Dallas Gardner drops back one spot. Michael Stone up to the two spot. So once again, we've got the battle... Oh, Stoney up the inside. Savaggi goes over the top of him, though. Takes it back off of him. Inside move there from Stone. Didn't quite pay off. Had a good look, though. The boys are keeping it clean. Down the step down. Towards the tabletop they go. Savaggi on point at the moment. Stone looking for a way around as they make their way down the front straight. One minute down. Four minutes left on the clock. So Stoney now on through. Savaggi looking up the inside. Didn't quite get it done there. So one and two starting to check out now. Nathaniel White up to the three spot in front of Gardner. First and second. Stone in the one spot over the curbing there. Savaggi with a run out the inside. Couldn't quite get it done as they make their way around the final couple of quarters with one minute 30 down. Three and a half left on the clock. Stone to the point now around turn one into turn two over the tabletop. Nathaniel White starting to close in on this battle as well. They had more of a gap a few laps ago than they do now. Single, single for Stone. Double, double. Oh, Savaggi goes for a roll. Oh, gets away with a factory roll. Back on his wheels. Away he went. Stone with a slight gap now. Savaggi, the meet in the sandwich between first and third. Dallas Gardner trying to get a move back on Nathaniel White as Nathaniel uses all of the curbs, making sure that Gardner doesn't have any room to move. Less than three minutes left on the clock now. Lap time's a gap that time around. 8.3 seconds, sorry, eight tenths of a second between Stone and Savaggi. Through the double-double they go. Both drivers getting it nice and clean. Battle still going on between Nathaniel White and Dallas Gardner. Those two heading up to the top of the hill now. As Savaggi on a better lap, closing that gap back in on Stone now. Mistake there by Stone. Savaggi up the inside. Gets it done as well. They make their way onto the straight. Back into the lead. Savaggi Stone with a great run on the straight. A little bit more top end. Closes that gap right on down. Right underneath the rear wing of Savaggi is Stone. Associated an X-ray move up the inside for Stone. Couldn't quite get it done again. Savaggi goes for a roll though. Oh, goes for another one. Back in his wheels. That's going to hurt a lot. Stone taking victory in A1 now with a big gap to Savaggi in P2. So Stone with it all in hand. Needs to keep it rubber side down. He should have this one in the bag. We're less than two minutes on the clock. Savaggi with a lot of work to do. That time around for Savaggi. 33-8. Lost three seconds in that rollover. So through... The S's they go. Stone and Savaggi, one and two. Dallas Gardner now back up to the three spot. Nathaniel White having a couple of crashes back down to P5. Up in P4 at the moment. We'll have, sorry, Nathaniel White, Justin Connell should be up to P4. It'll chop and change around as they come back around. But meanwhile, Michael Stone putting down a hot lap of the race, a 30.5, a 30.6 of Savaggi. Gap remains about the same. One minute 10 left on the clock. 
Stone trying to wrap it all up in A2. Savaggi putting everything in it. He can. Going through the double-double. Fairly clean. Coming up a little bit short in the second. Stone cruising around with clear track in front of him. Less than a minute on the clock as Savaggi goes for another roll. All in hand now for Stone from here. Down the front straight goes your leader. The gap is going to be extensive. Dallas Gardner now up to the two spot. He's having a much better run in this one. Over the tabletop on the left-hand side, he's going to start coming back under pressure from Savaggi, though. Second, third, fourth, and fifth in a freight train through the front. Double, double. Dallas getting a little bit short on that last double there as they make their way to the top of the hill. Coming under more pressure now. The green and white of Gardner. Savaggi right in tow with Stone checks on out. He's got a six-second lead. Massive lead with only 15 seconds left on the clock. Down the front straight, the battle for second and third. Gardner under pressure Ten, from Zilvaggi. They both go eight, across the grass. Better seven, line that time for Gardner. Six, Through five, the S's they go. Four, three, time two, starting to tick on down. Savaggi going for the double double. Get it. Gardner getting it wrong. Savaggi up the inside. Great move there from Savaggi. Saw the opportunity Chris and took it. Done. Cross the line, Still drivers. Done. You will be done. Savaggi popping done. a wheel stand off that step up. Trying to at least secure that P2. But your leader, your winner overall, Michael, Michael Stone. Stone. Andrew Salvaggi done. Andrew Salvaggi coming Gardner home in P2. Done. Dallas Justin Gardner in third. Done. Justin O'Connell in fourth. Nathaniel White Chris rounding done. out your top five. Securing the finished. overall will be Michael Stone. Up next. Race number 11, 2 WD mod, 8. Finally. Here he is, Michael Stone. Congratulations, you are state champion for two wheel drive stock. How's that feel? I can't swear. <laughs> it's pretty freaking good. It's the one that I've wanted, state or national. I didn't care. I wanted that two wheel drive one. and. Um, I've got everything in four wheel. I've missed the two wheel. Now I've got it, so I'm stoked. Why, why does it mean so much to you, the, the two wheel? Because in all honesty, I think it's the dumbest class in the world to race a two wheel drive car with uh, massive torque and no grip. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Um, I've always struggled with it, so to conquer something that, you know, achieve something that's eluded me and I've struggled with. You know, it feels a big step forward. So, yeah. Any other thank yous or shout outs you'd like to give? Uh, yeah, um, my partner Danny, um, Ari and Jenny, HEI, obviously the Hootie family for the equipment. Um, everyone that's come down this weekend, I think the RC community in New South Wales is changing massively. I've had guys from uh, Nitro, um, had a heli mate, Chapo, pop down, so, and to catch up with, with friends from around around the country and, and yeah it's yeah, it's awesome so I thank everyone for coming um, Cooper and Cribben and Muffet and everyone for putting the uh, event on yeah sensational thank you awesome enjoy the celebrations tonight stay champion once again this time a tour drive well done buddy thanks Tony all right Barker just locks himself in picks up a couple of cars we have all our marshals in place. Stone, just waiting for Stone to get in place. Okay, marshals in place. Okay. Two and mod 2024 RCRA Campbelltown Hobby State Titles. A2. Drivers ready. Marshals ready. Watch your cars. Everyone away cleanly. Well, there's a bit of carnage on the backside of the tabletop, but we've got our top three already away cleanly. Oh, Cooper, the big winner in that. He's moved up the fourth, but the battle is up in the lead. We have Barkler, Donnelly, and Mint all on top of each other. These guys are going to pull away from Cooper pretty quickly. They've been showing a, a decent turn of speed all weekend. Barkler already under pressure from Donnelly. 
They head down the uh, straight for the first time. Barkler with a little two metre gap for the moment. I don't know how long that will last. I don't know if it will be long. All cars tidy over the double double. Big battle at the moment back there for fourth. Cooper under a bit of pressure from Seckold. But the battle up the front is holding up. We now have Donnelly starting to apply the thumb screws to the back of Ari Barkler. There is nothing separating as they come down the hill onto the front straight. Donnelly's thinking about the inside, but Barkler closes the door. Head up the back straight into the S's. Down through the S's. And a little mistake by Barkler. Lucky to keep it on the track. Donnelly looking very racy and meant just losing a little bit of touch. When I say touch, it's only four metres. But here comes oh, Donnelly, a little bit nose high down the hill. Barkler just doing everything he can to keep Donnelly behind him. We now got three minutes 30 to go. And Ment starting to get onto the back of them again. Oh, Barkler just a little crossed up at the top of the hill. Mm. So head up the up to uh, Gobi's. Oh, and our third place car has just flipped over. That's promoted Cooper up in the third. We now have Barkler one, Donnelly two, Cooper three, Ment four, and a mistake by Seckold. All the actions in the back and the front. They head down the straight. Donnelly's looking to the outside. Once again, Barkler drives down inside defensively. They head up the back straight. We have two minutes 55 to go, and Donnelly is now starting to throw everything at him. He's not got any pressure behind from Munda, uh, from Ment. They head up the hill over the gamble. It's a crash. Uh, anyway, we'll save it. Oh, Barkler up on two wheels. He manages to keep it. Donnelly has nowhere to go and cannot take advantage. Barkler now just parking it on every apex, and Donnelly has nowhere to get by. They head down the straight just on the halfway mark of this race. The crowd is silent in awe. Oh, and they've come together. I didn't see what happened, but it obviously... Oh, so we've just readdressed it, and now we're bringing Cooper into the race. Now we have a contest. It's a freight train of six cars as we're uh, two minutes 15 to go. Barkley in the lead. And he just comes together again with Donnelly. And now there is Cooper all over it. There is six cars all on top of each other. It could not get any tighter. Barkler, Donnelly, Cooper, Mintz, Isogen and Monday. Two, under two minutes to go. This could not get any more intense as they head up the hill. Down through the S's. It is a freight train. Oh, Donnelly looks up the inside. He thinks better of it. Barkler is giving it everything he can. And Donnelly, oh, Donnelly just tags him. Now Cooper into the lead of the race. And he has Jared Mint in two. Cooper now leading. He has come from nowhere. We have a minute 30 to go. Cooper heads down the straight into turn one. Mint two. Barkler three. Donnelly four. Cooper comes down through the S's. Mint giving it everything he can. One minute 15 to go. Can Cooper hold off a fast charging Mint? Up over the gamble. Mint is giving it everything he can. He's only a couple of metres off, and now it's only one metre. They head down the hill into the horseshoe. Cooper keeps it nice and tight. A little bit quicker through the horseshoe than Cooper than Mint. Head down the straight with one minute to go. Cooper has two more laps after this to try and hang on. Mint goes big over the tabletop. Does not help. They go down through the S's, and Mint now is all over the back of Cooper. Mint, Pete, Cooper goes defensive. Mint chucks up the inside. Oh, I can't quite get it there. He pulls out, thinks better of it. Cooper down, Kirby's heads down the hill, and Mint is all over the back of Cooper. Cooper is super defensive. Mint cannot get through. Oh, I can't breathe. <laughs> 30 seconds to go. Cooper heads down the straight. He should get one more lap in after this. It is intense. Cooper one, Mint two, Buckler three. Oh, and Mint gets up the inside. He gets it done on the second last lap, maybe last lap. Cooper is just trying to hang on to the back of Mint now. Mint is unleashed. Cooper goes big on, and now he's under pressure from Barkler. Ten. Okay, nine, there's 10 seconds eight, to go. Will they get across the line seven, for one more? Six, Mint in five, the lead. Cooper two. Four, three, they come down. This will be it. Mint comes one. through for the win. Jared Mint wins. Oh, Cooper drives Lachlan over the top of him at the done. end of it. <laughs> and I cannot done. talk anymore. Lachlan Donnelly done. Oh, what an amazing, amazing race. Mint comes from uh, from nowhere for the win. Cooper, uh, an amazing effort. After he's been off the pace all weekend, he has come from nowhere to look like winning. And just on the last lap, a uh, great dive by Mint managed to take it. Amazing race, gentlemen. Thank you very much.
Oh my goodness, we thought we were spoiled in A1. A2, Jared Mint, Matthew Cooper, you guys have put it on. Congratulations, Jared, on the win. Uh, yeah, talk us through that race. I mean, that's great. The first thing I said to Matt after was keep <laughs> racing. This guy doesn't come to the track enough, and we need more fast guys like him. Matthew Cooper starting from P6 on the grid. Uh, yeah, had the lead until the last lap. Talk us through it. Uh, well, I had the lead, got a bit squirrely on two wheels, and then Jared made the most of it, got straight past me. Awesome racing. I've got to start doing this a bit more. That's what we like to hear. Jared, just tell, you, tell us uh, any thank yous and uh, shout outs. Yeah, again, thanks to all the AE boys, Matt for a great race, my dad for all the help. We made a little change for that one and it's paying off again, so let's keep going. Hey, Matt, any thank yous or shout outs from your side of the camp? Uh, yeah, big shout out to Ben Cribben, done all the setup on my car, helped me out here, and dad, dad's running the whole show. He puts so much effort in, no one gets it. Um, so, yeah, wouldn't be here without him. Make sure you go check on your dad, he nearly passed out <laughs> calling that. <laughs> yeah, probably. Probably. Awesome, guys. Spectacular race. So, yeah, can't wait for A3. It's all open. Best of luck. Thanks. Thank you. It's open. Lachlan Monday. Mitchell Isergen. Ben Sterling. 45 seconds to the start of the race. Gordon Shaw. Dean Masters. Brad Stafford. Spencer Clements. Paul French. Scott Hill. All right, nice and slow onto the grids, please, drivers. Nice and slow onto the grids. Grid them on up, drivers. Grid them on up. Alright, final couple of cars getting gridded up once again. A massive thank you to Campbelltown Hobbies being the major sponsor for this event. We are ready and set to go racing. Drivers, watch your cars. Going racing on the sound of the tone. Oh, we are off and running. Ben Sterling with... The win in the first main. See what he can pull out in this one. Lockie Monday with a comeback fight of the world. So down around through the double doubles they go for their first time. Much smoother and cleaner this time around for Lockie Monday. Ben Sterling hanging on in there though as they go through the step down. So Lockie, great start for this one for Lockie. End up in about P9 from that first race. Fought his way back up to P2. Ben Sterling taking the win using all the grass on turn one. Around through the S's as the wind starts to pick on up out there. It's going to cause havoc with these cars. They still parachute. Not quite as bad as a short course, but they will still parachute around. So your leader, we've got Lockie Monday out in one. Ben Sterling into those two separating from the rest of the field now. Nathaniel White under pressure again from Brad Stafford in the three and four positions. Gaggler cars coming around after that as your leaders make their way down the front straight. Gap this time by 1.1 seconds. Fastest man on track is Lockie Monday. Puts down a 29.5. Looking to try and spread that gap out from Ben Sterling as Ben goes single, single through the doubles. Towards the top of the track goes your leader. Second place of Ben Sterling's trying to reel him on back in. Nathaniel White now with a bit of a gap back to fourth place after him. Now, wind's starting to really breeze up a little bit out there. Calms down a little bit now. But your leader at the moment, Lockie Monday, going through the front double doubles. Working his way around the teardrop towards the top of the hill. Up the gamble. Down the step down into the step up. Gap last time by 2.3 seconds as Lockie Monday puts new hot lap of the race down at 29.4. Ben Sterling with a 30.6, so spreading that gap out a little by little. Down the front straight around turn one, we go with your leader. Leader's coming through, thank you very much drivers, great driving. Second place won't be too far behind. Nice work guys. So leader, going towards the gamble. 
to the top of the hill. Car crashes in front of him, gets away with it though. So gap last time by out to 2.9 seconds. Everyone pretty evenly spread out there. Closest battle, we got Christopher Brimmer and Brad Stafford battling it out for sixth and seventh. 29.4 that time. Lockie Monday still putting heat down out there, making his way through the chicane. Through into the double double, come up a little bit more traffic. Thank you very much. Great driving, guys. Ben Sterling also working his way through traffic, goes single, single. So gap will spread a little bit more from this lap. Lockie looking real quick out there, and this one's going to be hard to beat. Come A3 as well. Ben Sterling winning A1. Two minutes left on the clock. Drivers three down, two to go. Running order is Lockie. Ben Sterling and two. Caution double-double. Caution double-double. All clear, all clear. Nathaniel White. Oh, caution front straight. Car broken, I believe. Nathaniel White in three. Gordon Shaw in four. Christopher Primer in five. Lots of room for your leaders. They make their way around. So we've got Lockie Monday down the front straight. Gap last time by was 5.7 seconds. Check it this time by as Ben Sterling makes his way down the front straight. Looks to be a sizable amount bigger now. 9.3 seconds between Lockie Monday and Ben Sterling now. So Lockie checking out in this one. One minute 10 left on the clock. Stamping his authority in this race. Down the step downs and up towards the right hand side of the track we go. Battle going on between. Looks like third, fourth and fifth. Less than a minute left on the clock drivers. Lockie Monday leading the way in this one. Gap out and over 10 seconds now. Lockie in charge of this race. He makes his way around the back straight. Second place coming through the front. Double, double. He'll have a bit of traffic. As Lockie Monday comes up on a little bit of traffic as well. Thank you very much. Great driving, guys. Ben Sterling with a whole gaggle of cars. He's going to be catching up on us. Lockie Monday throws down a 29.149. New hot lap of the race. Still getting quicker out there with only 15 seconds left on the clock. Lockie looking secure in this one. We've got a broken truck coming off the track there. Oh, Lockie nine, Monday eight, squeezing the gap seven, there. Final six, five seconds five, as Lockie comes down the four, straight. He will get three, another lap in. Two, one. Cross the line, drivers. Done. You will be done. Spencer Lachlan Clements Monday done. with a victory Gordon lap to Shaw himself done. as Ben Sterling makes Mitchell his way Isaac around. Done. Down the Spencer straight. Done. Ben Sterling putting a hot lap in last time Spencer by 29-3. So we watch Shane on Edwards with Lockie done. Monday on a victory lap Scott for himself out there. Had a rough run in A1. He's going to solidify the position in A2. Defend Come around the done. final corner. Put your hands together for Lucky Monday. Lachlan Monday done. Nathaniel White coming home in P3. Gordon Shaw in P4. And Brad Stafford rounding out your top five. Should be all drivers done. Welcome Monday, congratulations. Uh, getting the win there for A2. Oh, yeah. Talk us through that race. Fun. Talk us through that race. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, pretty good start. Managed to just take it to go easy a couple of few, uh, a few first few corners. Just try not to make the same mistake as the first race. <laughs> so, um, yeah, then just got tied up the temp and managed to push. And, yeah, car was awesome. Um, just managed to, yeah, put down a few hot laps, uh, have some fun with it. And, yeah, no, it was good. Just take us back to A1 and explain, yeah, what actually happened in that one. Yeah, um, just use a bit too much steering lock going on the uh, top left corner. Um, just caught a rut and, yeah, roll the car. And uh, unfortunately, on the first lap, that cost you a lot. So I had to find my way back through the field. Managed to get back up to P2. Um, but, yeah, just had a few other mistakes through the race. And uh, unfortunately, it yeah, put me where I was. But uh, I was lucky to not repeat that in the second one. <laughs> How had the pace feel in that one? You, you got all you need to go head-to-head -head with Ben in A3? Uh, yeah, I think so. I was feeling pretty good. Um, yeah, as I said the car is awesome. I think I'm still just learning the track a bit. I haven't done a whole lot of truck running recently, so it's still learning that car as well. Uh, but yeah, feeling pretty good going into A3. So as you know, anything can happen. Um, but I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah. Uh, any thank yous or shout outs you'd like to give? Um, yeah, always yeah, shout out to my parents. Um, yeah, mum, dad, my sister, all the support. Uh, big thanks to my sponsors as well and uh, for the club putting on an awesome event. Yeah. Fantastic, mate. Thanks for the chat and good uh, luck in A3. Thank you. Really appreciate it.
Track is open. Trent Johnson. Glenn Andrews. Ron Kirby. Dan Marr. Daniel Collar. Jim Coymanese. All right, we move Jeffrey into Pitt. our tour stock. B main. Paul Sims. A lot Paul of seriously Hickey. quick guys in here. Bradley Shooter. Collar. Coymanis. Mm -hmm. Big old Denmark. Dan Collar just locks in the P1. Uh, we got a car for P2. Where's Jimmy? Jimmy Coy Manis? No, I can't give you two minutes, I'm afraid. All right. We'll get this one underway. All right, drivers ready. This is for the two wheel stock New South Wales, New South Wales titles B main. Drivers ready. Marshall's ready. Watch your cars. <laughs> Clean start by all. Nice and tidy through the first couple of turns. Oh, I think our second place. Well, Dan Marr just uh, got turned around coming through the S's. That's promoted. I think Jeffrey Pitt up to two. Collar in command, but he heads down here. Oh, the collar just rolls it over, and then uh, Jeffrey Pitt has nowhere to go, but they uh, remain in position. Still collar one, Pitt two, Ma three, Kirby four, Andrews five. And we got Nina Marshall in there, Nina Marshall, Nina Marshall. Head back to our leaders. Collar, Collar just goes a little wide after the double-double. Pitt heads up the hill on the on the gamble. Oh, and Dan Mar goes massively nose high. Lucky to end on his wheels, but now coming under pressure from Ronnie Kirby. We'll stay with the battle at the front. Collar has a, a very hungry Jeffrey Pitt chasing him. The gap between one and two, eight tenths of a second. Collar looks to be just taking a bit easy, playing it safe. Just singles the first one, doubles the second. We just approach one and a half minutes into this race. The battle's starting to heat up for is for third between Ron Kirby and Dan Ma. Kirby's starting to get a little bit closer to Ma. They head through the uh, horseshoe and Kirby makes some time. We'll see where the gap is. Oh, Kirby was making time and just got a bit sideways in the sweeper. Sent him back a few metres. But here comes Kirby again. Kirby only a couple of metres off the back of Mar. Nice and tidy through the double-double. Up over the, over the gamble. Three minutes to go, drivers. Mar heads down the hill. Kirby goes a little bit bigger on the jump. The gap between our top two is still 1.6 seconds. The battle of oh, and Ma makes a little mistake and Kirby dives up the inside. They head up the hill. Kirby now in third. Ma four. Ma now throwing everything at it. Oh, Kirby makes a little mistake on the double double and he slipped it over. We are now very spread out between uh, the top four cars. Or oh, is a about a one second gap between 1.6 second gap between one and two that's now down to 1.2 seconds we'll stick with the leaders dan collar dan collar leads away jeffrey pitt has just been able to maintain that gap but not make any advantage just know trent johnson the uh leaders are starting to close in on you the next two cars behind you are first and second. 
So Collar just lays down the fastest lap of the race and then Pitt responds with another faster lap of the race. Jeffrey Pitt started to throw down some lap, some fast laps. Oh, and Pitt just, just cases out on the second double. And Collar's, oh, and Trent Johnson just moves out of the way, the gentleman that he is. Jeffrey Pitt will be the next one. He's coming up through there too. Thank you, Trent. Okay, Pitt's uh, Collar's just extended his lead. It's now out to 2.3 seconds. We have one minute to go. Collar comes through the double-double. He just singles the first one, plays it safe. Up through the gamble. Oh, and our second place, Pitt has rolled it over. He may start coming under pressure from Mar if there's any more accidents. Everyone very spread out. We'll stick with our leader, Collar. He comes through. He will get one more lap in after this one. He is just cruising now. He has a big lead of six and a half seconds. No need to take any risks. Bradley Shooter, that is the leader behind you. Thank you, Bradley. 20 seconds to go, drivers. Collar heads through Cooper steps. Heads down the straight to commence his final lap. Ten, Ten nine, seconds to go. Eight, seven, Collar with a handy six, lead of 6.5 seconds. Four, He's just got to play it safe. Two, oh, he gets a little one. crossed up and on the grass. Bradley, I know you're fast, but just do not touch this guy. He's out in the lead. Enjoy Wrong this, Collar. He's done a uh, great job all weekend. Unlucky to miss out on the A. He heads down the hill for the final time. Last time through the horseshoe. Seven. Plenty of concrete there. Paul Hickey done. The winner of our two-wheel Paul drive Sims stock done. B main. Put your hands together for Dan Collier. Daniel Collier done. Bradley Shooter done. Coming through in second, Jeffrey Pitt. Jeffrey Pitt done. Followed by a fast Trent charging Johnson Dan Mar. Dan Mar done. All drivers are finished. The race is completed. Up next, race number Stone, are you 14. able to stay up there? 2WD mod. C main. Is Michael Stone up there still? Are you able to stay up there, Stone, or not? I can't. Okay. Um, I just need someone. Daniel Collar, congratulations for getting the win there in B final for two-wheel drive stock. Uh, talk us through that race. Yeah, thank you. It was, um, yeah, it drove pretty smart and just, um, yeah, just try to keep it smooth. Uh, made a, a bit of a change late in the day, which helped a lot and um, probably regret not making it early on in the day. But, yeah, had a great weekend and, um, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Any uh, thank yous or shout-outs you'd like to give? Yeah, just thank um, my sponsors, uh, my family, uh, a few good mates from Victoria that's made the trip up and it's been a great weekend and, yeah, look forward to the Nationals later in the year. So. Awesome, mate. Yeah, great job. Enjoy the celebrations tonight and, uh, yeah, see you the next one. Thanks a lot. Thanks. One minute to the start of the race. All right, let's just open the track. We'll get your warm up up in. So open the track. Noah Carter, Ben Panic, Simon Healy, Darren Pryor, Kim Sotel, John Philpot, Lachlan Williams, Mitchell Pratt. 45 seconds to the start of the race. Carter Sims, Jordan Hunting. 30 seconds to the start Eight's of the race. Eight's up at Cooper Steps. Eight's over where the orange shirted gentleman is. Uh, Jimmy, we need you to marshal, Jimmy. Jimmy Coy Manis, we need you to marshal, please. To the start of the race. We are waiting on Jimmy Coy Manis so we can start this race. Less than five. Hang on. I'd I don't know why this is hard. Anytime Jimmy decides to turn up, we'll start. Thank you. All the time in the world. All right, gentlemen. Let's start two of mod C main. Drivers ready. Marshals ready. Watch your cars.
Good start by all. Sims out in the lead. He's got Pratty in two. Great train through the S's. Oh, a little mistake up the back. Someone's readdressing. We'll stick with the front. Sims one, Pratty two. Oh, a little mistake by Sims and Pratty's unleashed. Let's see what he can do with some clear air ahead of him. He's got a very determined Ben Panic behind. Panic. Oh, Pratty throws it away. Panic now into the lead. Will Panic throw it away? No one wants to lead this one. Current order, Panic one, Hunting two, Pratt three, Williams four, Sims five. Oh, and there's carnage on turn one. I haven't seen what's going on. But Ben Panic making the most of this. Oh, there's just cars going off left, right and centre. Panic is just driving away from the field as it detonates. I have no idea where anyone is now. They've all just been jumping off track. I'm pretty sure it's hunting in two. Maybe Lachlan Williams has jumped up in three. The color, car colors are all the same. Yes, hunting two. Williams three. Philpot four. Sotel, Pratt, Healy, Pryor, Sims, Carter. But out in the front, just cruising about is Ben Panic. When I say cruising, he just sets the fastest lap of the race at 30.9. That is almost uh, two, sec he's two seconds quicker than anyone else out there at the moment. Ben Panic still pumping out to hot laps. We'll go back in the field because that's where it's exciting. We have Lachlan Williams trying to get onto the back of Jordan Hunting. Jordan Hunting has been quick all weekend. Lachlan Williams putting in some fine laps. What can he do about this? He's now right up behind Hunting. He's under his wing. Two cars look identical. Very hard to call. Don't get confused, gentlemen. We've got Hunting in two, Williams in three. They head down the hill, and there is battles back through the field, but this is what we'll stick with. Williams, nice and tidy on turn one. Hunting, just it's like a rubber band between them. Seesawing through. Oh, and Williams just clears up the back of him. We'll need a marshal on that. And Philpott's going to drive through. Thank you, Lachlan Williams, for uh, addressing that. But we also now have Cam Sotel getting on this. All this time, Panic is just cruising around out the front. Philpot moves up in a two. Philpot hunting. Williams, Sotel. The gap between one and two is going to blow out now massively. Panic now has an eight second lead over Philpot. Philpot's going to enjoy this. He's got a. Uh, a couple of super quick guys behind him pushing hard. Philpot's just got to try and hold them off for another two minutes. Here comes Hunting. Hunting is Hunting. Around the uh, horseshoe and Hunting is now starting to look all over the back of Philpot. They come down the straight. Hunting's wide. Philpot a little bit more defensive. What can Hunting do? Got to try and find a nice clean way through Philpot. Oh, so not through Philpot, past Philpot. Oh, and Hunting, a little mistake on the double double, and Williams goes by. Philpot now with about a six metre lead over, Phil, over Lachlan Williams. Lachlan Williams, another one of our young charges here from. Oh, and Philpot throws it away. Williams and Hunting drive through. Just a little mistake by Philpot. He was driving so well. Now Lachlan Williams up into the lead. Lachlan Williams with Hunting hard after him. It's a three-way battle for second. And Philpot's going to get right back in on this action. He's looking super racy as well. They head up to Gobi's Gamble. We have under one minute to go. Panic has this one in the bag, and we've just had Philpot roll over. We'll stick with Hunting and Williams. Williams in second, Hunting in third. Oh, and Hunting gets up inside of Williams into the sweeper. They go through turn one and Hunting just pulls a couple of metres. They will get another lap in after this. Williams driving so well. They're about to head up through the gamble. Philpot hasn't given up on this. He's charging hard to get back onto this little pack of two. They're going to come through for another lap. Philpot certainly making inroads on the back of Williams. They come around the sweeper Ten, and down the straight. Nine, they will commence eight, their final lap. Seven, hunting six, two. Five, 
Four. William three, three. Philpot four, Sotel Two. five, but Pen, Ben Panic is out in the lead Carter by nearly done. 10 seconds. Carter Panic heads down the hill for the final time, up through the steps. Here comes our winner of two mod C main, Ben Panic. Ben and in second place, I am not even sure which car it is. Here he comes. It is the X ray of Jordan, Jordan Hunting. Hunting. Lachlan uh, and Philpot comes through for third. Lachlan Lachlan Williams has dropped done. back to fourth. Cam Sotel fifth. Done. Pryor, Healy, Pratt, Sims, Noah Simon Carter. Done. Well, that ended up Noah exciting. Carter done. All drivers are finished. The race is completed. Up next. Ben Panic, congratulations, getting the win there in C final number one. Unfortunately, you did get a lot of screen time with the battles behind, but yeah, tell us about that race. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Don't mind not being on screen when you're out there not making mistakes and um, putting in decent laps. So yeah, it was good. Um, better run of the day, so I was happy with that. Did your son, Zach, give you uh, some advice, words of wisdom before that final? Yeah, he said drive like me, <laughs> so I went out and tried to do that. <laughs> uh, any thank yous or shout outs? Oh, look, big thanks to all the club. Um, you know, Pete and everyone here on the committee has put in a huge amount of effort. And, um, you know, I think if you watched uh, A1 and A2 of the mod guys and uh, the stock blokes there, it was some really, really good racing. Very close, hard to pass, I think, as everyone can see online. But um, it's been a good weekend. Yeah, just quickly, what, what's next for you? You've got a big event coming up, I think, this week? No, not much to do now. Just off to Manila for the biggest Asian buggy championships race uh, outside of Asia. So that'll be good. Well, all the best of luck in that one, and thanks for all the chats, and yeah, good luck uh, yeah, in the middle. Thank you, mate. See you Tuesday. Craig Wadden, Brad Burko, Ben Sterling, James All right, Mina, this one's going to be a cracker. Glenn Benetti, uh, Marshall's Shun, probably doing an interview, I imagine. Eagleton, Number 14 Payne, is Ben Andrew Panic. Jill, yeah, it'll be Ben Panic. Nathan Healy. All right, so this is going to be a cracker. So, um... It wasn't that long ago that this would have been most of our A main field, or a lot of our A main field. Craig Lawton. Names of Lawton, Gillett, Benetti. I was some quality. So we've got Lawton, Gillett, Benetti, Muha, Sterling, Payne, Healy, Eggleton, Sang, Verco. So we have some new names coming through too in Sang and Muha. But it is the, uh, the Lawtons, the Gillets, and the Payne that interests me. I reckon. How, how much do you boys put on this race? Who's taking the win? Little 20? All right, Marshall's ready. All right, we'll get our two-wheel mod B main underway. Driver's ready. Marshall's ready. Watch your cars. Jump start by four. It was a jump start by car four. Continue on, we'll deal with it later. Craig Lawton out in the lead, Gillett in two. All right, Gillett, I'm oh, sorry, Lawton already pulled a nice gap. Oh, he's crossed up on the straight. Lawton with a lead of 1.5 seconds, but Benetti is not going to let him go easily. And Gillett, definitely not. He doesn't want to lose a lazy fitty. Lawton up the hill over the gamble. Nice and tidy. Hard looking, just a little loose on exit. Benetti's going to be hungry to get on the back of this. There's a freight train of cars. Or after uh, Gillett. The gap remains the same. Actually, a little bit less. Benetti lays down the fastest lap at 29.7. So Benetti charging hard, but Gillett not letting him go. And he's pulling the rest of the field along with him. This is a very tidy race. And we've got young Phoenix Eggleton doing a great job mid pack. He's applying a mountain of pressure to Hugo, another young driver. Jump on board with Lawton. Lawton stretches the lead now to 1.8 over Minetti. Top three, a little bit more spread out now.
Uh, six top six cars have pulled away from the rest of the field. Basically two packs, but Lawton, Lawton Bonetti with uh, about a second gaps behind both of them. Can Bonetti do anything to uh, eat into Lawton's lead? He has three minutes to do so. Lawton with the fastest lap of a 29.53 versus Bonetti's 29.54. Nothing in it between these two. Looking a bit racy in behind that, Gillett and Muha. Muha starting to apply some pressure to Gillett. And he also has Healy coming through with him. Halfway mark of the race, two minutes 30 gone, two minutes 30 to go. I think Benetti's just starting to eat into Lawton's time a little bit. Benetti now starting to make his move. Can he continue on or will Lawton respond? And the battle is up the back of the pack as they come through the curve. Oh, unfortunately, Muha just grabs a little bit of pipe and it spins him around. That allows Nathan Healy just to squeeze through. He is now coming up to challenge for third place on Gillett. Gillett now pulled out a little bit ago. Didn't see it, but uh, Gillett's just pulled away a little bit from Healy. Oh, Payne's starting to get in on it. Payne loving this. He can sniff the back of Muhan's car, and he's coming for it. Here he comes, Payne down the hill into the horseshoe. Takes as much curb as he possibly can. Around the sweeper. See what their lap times are. Well, Lawton's just laid it down. He's gone to a 28.9, the fastest lap of the race, as he tries to pull away from Benetti. Did I ask if Lawton was going to answer the question? Yes, he has. Lawton continues to stretch his lead on Bonetti. The gap now, two seconds. But the battle on now for third place. We've got Gillett, Healy, Muha, and Payne. They head down the hill onto the front straight. They have less than one minute to go. Gillett holding strong. Nathan Healy pushing hard. They all head down through the S's. Just got, oh, and a little mistake by Muha, and that's allowed Josh Payne through. So Josh Payne's now moved up into the five position. But in all this, Gillett is under immense pressure from Healy. Healy right tucked up under his wing, looks up the inside, and he gets it through. There's a little bang of wheels, but it's clean. Here comes Gillett up inside again. Oh, Gillett just tags the back of his car. Oh, that's going to cost him, and here comes Payne. Payne's come from nowhere, and he's now sitting in third. Josh Payne has... This will be his last lap, I believe. Nathan Hill is going to be super keen to get back on it. He's having a crack, but he's got Muha to get past. Ten, so nine, out in the lead, we eight, have seven, Greg Lawton, who's six, led from the first five, tone. I think four, he may squeeze through three, for a victory lap. Two, Here he comes. Yes, one. he will. And Benetti is, Benetti is done. Lord, not a victory lap. What's happening in the back, Marcus? Paney three, Josh Muha done. four, Nathan Hill five. Done. Let's just jump Nathan on board with... Craig Daniel Lawton Jillett as he throws done. in some big whips and shows Daniel off of the crowd. Done. You better, Craig. Here he comes down. He's going to go Daniel massive Daniel down here, done. massive down the hill. And there goes Craig. <laughs> Much Bradford bigger crowd pleaser than Jeff. When I've asked Jeff to do these things, he always, no, Pete. Craig there we Lawton go. Done. Craig Lawton, great win. Well oh, done, drivers. That was very entertaining. The race is completed. All right, we're back to Up the uh, race the A mains. 16. We only have four more Junior races stock. left of the day. A3 main. Junior stock. Craig Lawton, try and run away from me, mate. Congratulations. B final win there. Uh, yeah, talk us through that race. How much fun was it? Oh, no, it was good. The track's like prime now. It's, um, yeah, it's actually pulling some wheel stands and like total opposite this morning. So, no, it was great fun. You get flashbacks when, you, when you're racing in battles and, and you know, the driver's up on the stand. It's just like, you know, rewind. Yeah, yeah. Like, it would have been nice if Gillette and Payne were just that little bit quicker in that one and um, give it a bit of a crack. But they look, um, they look like they had a bit of a battle behind and behind. So, it was good. Tell us what current equipment you're running this weekend. Um, B6.3 AE. So, just an old girl. And uh, just, I don't even know what electronics are in it. Probably something. Any thank yous or shout outs? Uh, just to Connor. Yeah, 
family, Jeff, mum, you know, we all come away and we've been here for three days and had a ball. So. Awesome job, man. Congratulations and yeah, good luck in the next event. Awesome, thank you. Uh, yep. of lap issues Samuel with a couple of cars, we'll get them underway. Hassan Omar, Mason Crompton, Riley Lander West, Jasmine Monday, Lincoln Isergen, Ryan Kwok, Alright, so I assume that Will Aiken sitting out this one, because I can't see him out there. So our, our pole car won't be there, Jerry. Our pole man's not racing. His car's not on the track. Okay, Will, if you're not going to drive, mate, I don't want you up on the stand, please. Yep. Just know you might get excited and say a couple of things. I already had to move on some fathers from us standing under the stand yelling at the kids. Not saying anything about pain or gillet. All right, we're all good to go. All right. A junior stock A3. Driver's ready. Marshall's ready. Watch your cars. Everyone's away. There was a uh, a bit of a jump start by car three, I think it was. We will just confirm. Car three and car eight. The, the car three and car eight, we believe. We will just check again. So out in front, we have Lincoln Isogen. Oh, All right, we continue with this race. We have a good battle for second between Ryan Kwok and Zach Panic. Oh, our little leader, Lincoln, just made a little mistake. That's going to allow Ryan to jump on behind him. Ryan looking very racy as he comes over the double double. Oh, our leader's just rolled over. Is it just on his lid? Ryan Kwok now in the lead of two junior stock, A3. And he's got Zach Panic right on his tail. Zach now got a fast charging Isigen also. They all three of them head down on the straight. Zach's and Gillett just know that the three cars behind you are all in the lead. When they get just just pull him off once, just hold on the car, just hold on for a sec. Okay, thank you, Saxon. You can get going again now. Thank you, mate. That'll be fourth place behind you, but you're doing a great job. Oh, look for the move up the inside on. Our lead has gone over. All three cars are over. And I think we end up with Zach Panic in the lead. Just take it easy, guys. We're in a long way to go. Oh, and they've all come together. I think we... Yep, just readdressed it. 
Okay, so now out in the lead. I'm not sure if it's Zach or if it's Isogen. The cars look very similar. It is Zach Panic out in the lead. Ryan Quack in two, Isogen three. Oh, it's looking intense out there at the moment. And the battle is still on. So we got Zach Panic with a handy lead. Ryan Quack applying pressure onto the back of Isogen. Oh, and looks like Izzy just makes a move up the inside of Ryan. Zach Punnick out in the lead now with a 2.3 second lead. We have Lincoln Isogen in two. Ryan Quack three. The battle is on for second. Zach Panic doing an outstanding job out front. Comes down over the double. Oh, now second and third place to come together. I'm not sure what happened there. Race referee decide on that one. Just be aware, Saxon, the two, second and third is coming by you. Thank you very much, Saxon. You are doing a fine job out there, Saxon. Unbelievable. One minute to go and Zach Panic well in control of this. Heads down onto the front straight. He now has a two and a half second lead over Isogen and Quok in three. We have 50 seconds to go and the battle is on for second. Ryan Quok throwing everything at the get on the back of Isogen. Come over the double-double. Oh, a little mistake by Isogen. Ryan Quok, they bang wheels and they're still on. Quok looks up the inside, but he thinks better of it. Head over the gamble along Kirby's Curve down the hill. Here they come down into the horseshoe. Oh, Ryan Quok goes big and it works. They are pushing hard. This is an outstanding drive by all three of our top drivers. Zach Panic 1, Isogen 2, Quok 3 with 17 seconds to go. They come through a double double and Ryan Quok Ten, is looking. Oh, nine, Ryan Quok just loops eight, it out. Seven, six, I don't know five, that. He can four, respond to this three, now. They'll be coming two, through for their final lap. Here one. comes Zach Panic coming down. Hassan Omar done. Down the straight for the final time. Zach Panic comes through to Samuel take Dalsons one. Done. We have Zach Lincoln Panic Isogen done. two, Ryan Quok three. Done. The battle is still Ryan on in, in the back of the field. They come down. This is for, for fourth place. Finn Aiken, Aiken rather than a Finn takes it over Riley. Riley Lander West done. Oh, a bit of carnage as they come down for the final time. And we're just Jackson Saxon Monday Gillett done. doing a fine job. Mason Crompton Saxon done. Gillett comes down the straight for the final time. Well done, Saxon Gillett. Super drive. Saxon Gillett done. I will let you know there All was two jump starts finished. that we will need to deal with. The race is completed. Up next, race number 17. <laughs> hey. Two double stock. A3 main. All right, so we do need some marshals for this next one. You guys happy? Some... You guys all right? All good? All right, thank you very much. Zach Pan, congratulations. Taking the win there in A3. And uh, by our calculations, that gives you second overall. Congratulations. How does that feel? Yeah, it feels amazing because, like, that last two and a half minutes was, like, life or death. I was like two seconds ahead, which is barely enough time to be comfortable. I was like shaking, trying to keep myself uh, from not crashing. And I did a really good job of it. It's really hard to be like that. So I'm really proud of myself. And I'm going to get the second place trophy. You did extremely well. GG's to Will Aiken. He's a great driver. I think he, I think he deserves first. Also, great job to Lincoln. He was really good trying, we're trying to like catch up and he'll be coming for third. Excellent. Any other thank yous you'd like to give? Thanks to the club for running this event. It's been lots of fun as well as four-wheel drive. That, that, that also went really well. Um, 
And thanks to you for having this interview. It's our pleasure. Congratulations again. Enjoy the celebrations and I'll look forward to seeing you at the next one. See you. Andrew Salvagi. So I do need a marshal on 10, and it looks like on 9. Actually, Phoenix, are you on 10? So I need someone on 9. Just need one marshal on 9, someone with experience. Oh, yeah, well, yep, I'll go out there, marshal. Prady's going to call this one. Happy to, I need a breath. Thank you very much. All right, Louis, look, ready to race. Two-wheel drive stock, A3. Michael Stone wrapping it up in the first two. It's still on the line for the rest of the podiums. Drivers, watch your cars. Going racing on the sound of the tone. Oh, we are off and running. Two-wheel drive stock buggy, A3 main here at Castle Hill. For the New South Wales Off-Road State Titles, proudly supported by Campbelltown Hobbies. Bit of a stack in the backfield there, but we are off clean for our top four drivers. A little bit of a gap after that. Savaggi trying to pull that lead out early. So Savaggi making a small mistake there. Now Gardner back underneath the rear wing of Savaggi. So top four drivers all starting to check out from the rest of the field. Down the front straight away we go. First, second, third, fourth, all the way down the straight they go. Round turn one over the tabletop in turn two. Into the chicane they go. Savaggi using those curves to his advantage through the double-double. Only Savaggi getting the doubles down that one. Everyone else having to go single-single for the first double. Down the step down. Caution the double-double. Caution double-double. Caution after the double-double now. That's all clear. All clear. Savaggi's trying to pull out that gap over Gardner now. Trying to solidify that second spot on the podium. Down the front straight away we go. Savaggi leading it out. Towards the back left corner into the chicane we go once again. Through the front double-double. Bit of a gap now between Savaggi and Gardner. Second, third, and fourth all going for that single, single line, allowing Savaggi to pull out a little bit more of a gap now. So battle is on between second and third. That was Gardner and Nathaniel White. Chris Milton not far out of that as well. Down the front straight away with Savaggi. This time around, a 29.6 equal to his hot lap from the previous lap. The old leader going through the double-doubles. Second and third, fourth, all making their way through the doubles, doubles now. Still no one going for that big sending double for stock. It is difficult, especially with these two-wheel drive vehicles. Leader making his way down the front straight. It will be Andrew Savaggi running the associated Dallas Gardner in the two spot. Nathaniel White in three, Chris Milton in four. Those three fairly evenly separated at the moment. Nathaniel White starting to close in on Dallas Gardner. Takes about a half a second off his gap last time around. Meanwhile, Chris Milton closing the gap up to him as well. Mistake there by Nathaniel White. Goes for a roll. Back on his wheels. Away he goes. Chris Milton now up to the three spot. Two and a half down. Two and a half to go. Silvaggi checking out in this one. He's got a five-second lead over Dallas Gardner in the two. Nathaniel White starting to close back in on Chris Milton in the three spot. That's closest battle on track into turn one. They go third and fourth towards the S's. Dallas Gardner now with a quite a comfortable gap behind him. Nathaniel White going for that double. Comes up a little bit short, but still a quicker line. Down the back straight away through the step down. Nathaniel right under the rear wheel, uh, ring of Chris Milton now. Looking for a way around, looking left, looking right. Up towards the top of the hill. Down up and over the single onto the straightaway. 
Seven second gap between Savaggi and Gardner. Nothing in it between third and fourth though. Chris Milton under pressure from Nathaniel White. Oh, they come together through the doubles. Oh, something rubbing on Chris's car as well. Still seems to be operating all right though. Hopefully he can keep it on going for another minute and a half. Doesn't look to have affected his speed. He's right back on the tail of Nathaniel White. They make their way through the tabletop to the horseshoe. Down to the straight they go. That gives Dallas Gardner even more of a gap now. Gap between second and third out to three and a half seconds. But the battle's still on between third and fourth with a one minute five left on the clock drivers. Through the front double double. Both drivers going single single. The battle for third and fourth. Looking hot once again. The car of Chris Milton has quietened back down. Must have just been something rubbing on the spur. Through the tabletop they go. Nathaniel White under all kinds of pressure. Chris Milton looking for a way around as they make their way onto the straight with 45 seconds left on the clock. Down the straight they go into turn one. But he must be rubbing again. You can hear it on the spur. Round into the chicane. Through into the double-double. Both drivers still going for the single first jump. Chris looking for any way around he can with only 30 seconds on the clock. Savaggi, he's checked out, gone. Dallas Gardner in the two spot. He's got a good gap as well. Chris looking for a way around still with 15 seconds about to tick on down. Onto the front straight away they go. Round two, Ten, one. Into nine, turn two. Eight, Big jump there seven, from Nathaniel. Eight, cutting it six, tight on the inside five, of the tabletop. Into the four, chicane with final three, three seconds two, drivers. One. Cross the line. You'll be done. Chris Milton yeah, going for a roll. Chris Land, you are first to finish. So that should done. solidify everything with Andrew Silvaggi coming home for the win in A3 for two drive stock, solidifying his place in the podium. Dallas Gardner making his way down the straight there, Dallas coming home Gardner in a very up. strong Woo! second. Nathaniel White, White coming done. home in third. Chris Milton coming home in fourth. Still got a couple of cars racing their way to the line here. Oh, almost side Justin by side as they hit the line. Justin O'Connell just getting it over Christopher Primer on the last finished. lap with a new PB lap for his last completed. lap of 31. Sorry, 30.1. That is all cars. Drivers done. Drivers. Radios on the table and out to Marshall, please. Final couple of races of the day. Quick turnaround, guys. We know Next. we got people trying Race to catch flights. 2WD Mark. A3 main. So quick turnaround, please, guys. Stock drivers straight out to Marshall. Right, Marshall, I need you out there immediately. The light is fading quickly, and we need to get this two A mains done. Andrew Savaggi, congratulations, taking the win at A3. Uh, yeah, give us a little bit of a recap on that race. Yeah, uh, it was. Uh, uh, Taylor, the same as the A1 and A2, had a pretty sketchy start, um, got caught up on one of the pipes, uh, top corners of the track. I'm really struggling with, like, the top section's perspective. Um, but then, yeah, kind of settled in and started to, just to reel them off and started to gap Dale, and it was a, it was a pretty lonely race, to be honest. But um, made a few changes after A1 and A2. Um, obviously, I... Uh, you know, didn't get the job done then, so I uh, made a few tweaks with the motor stuff and uh, suddenly the car was quick, you know, doing 29 sixes and stuff. So, um, yeah, uh, good learning for the Nationals and uh, really happy for Stoney to get one on two wheels. Normally it's the other way around, so I'm super happy. So, and, uh, yeah, I'm keen to see these guys battle it out now, so I've got to run. It's you, mate. Get a spot on the sideline. Uh, yeah, good luck at the next event. Thanks for everything you guys do too. Thanks. All cars checked in. Just get the last car ready. 30 seconds to the start of the race. All right. Tour mod, New South Wales state titles, A3. Drivers ready. Marshals ready. Watch your cars. Everyone's away. Oh, Cooper quickly by Monday. Ari Barkler still in the lead. Is a freight train down through the S's. Cooper, the only one in the top six to change station. Barkler already pulled a gap over Donnelly. Donnelly under pressure from Ment. Oh, man. This has been carnage up the top. Cooper's gone from fourth well back in the field. 
Uh, actually, now, oh, hang on, unfortunately, Barkler's gone off the field. We've now promoted Donnelly up to two. Ment three, Isogen four. Uh, sorry, Barkler now in fourth place. The battle is in between the top AEs of Lachlan Donnelly, Jared Ment, but Jordan Isogen is going to keep them honest. Oh, Barkler just crashes coming down into the horseshoe. That is going to cost him massively. He's gone well back in the field. We'll stick with the leaders. It's top three. Head up through the, up the hill, down through the S's. Donnelly, Ment, Isogen. Long way to go in this one. Anything can happen. Donnelly has Ment all over the back of him. Is it just biding his time? The gap between these two is only six tenths of a second across all cars. We have three minutes 30 to go. Donnelly a little bit wide after the double. Ment still holding station. Nothing's changed in the top three. It's just line astern. We move back to the field. Barkler in fourth all by himself. Cribben sitting in fifth. Then we got Muffet and Cooper. Two A's have just dropped Jordan a little bit. They've now pulled a couple of metres. It is now a battle. We have two minutes 50 go and it's more of a battle now between Donnelly and Ment. Can Isagen get back on the, the back of Ment? We will wait and see. They head down the hill. Into the horseshoe. Monday, uh, sorry, Donnelly with a bigger, the biggest gap he's had for a little while too. So he's now pulled a bit of a gap on Ment. It was half a second last time. We well, extended by one tenth. Ment is going to throw everything at it. Whoever wins this will win the title. Jordan Isagen just still trying to hang on. Have a one minute 14 to go. Donnelly meant nothing much is changing there. It is tight. It's only going to take one slip up, one metre off an apex, and someone's diving up the inside. Donnelly heads up the hill with just under two minutes to go. Isagen starting to get back in on the action. He's pushing hard, and Men is getting hungry. Ment now only a metre off the back of Donnelly's car. One little mistake by any of these drivers, and it is going to be all over. Donnelly has not put a foot wrong. He is just hitting every apex, driving super smooth. It's going to be up to Jared to find a way past at this stage. We have one minute 30 to go, drivers. They come down the S's. Ment looking very racy. Is he going to pull a move? Oh, he looks up the inside. Can he get it done? He, oh, he does. Ment gets up the inside and then just drops the hammer and motors past Donnelly. Donnelly now going to throw everything at him. Now we'll start to see what true pace Donnelly has. I think he's been sitting there driving defensively. Ment is going hell for leather. We have one minute to go, drivers. Ment one, Donnelly two, Isogen three. This is as tight a battle as you're going to see. Come over the double-double cleanly. Up over the gamble. Ment doing a stunning job out in front. He is not giving away an inch. He has 45 seconds to continue to hold this lead. What can Donnelly do? Isogen sitting there waiting in third. They come down, they will get this lap and one more. So two more laps for this race, gentlemen. This is for the New South Wales two-wheel drive mod state titles. Three, and Isogen, oh, Donnelly just a little cross up on the double-double, uh, but cleans up. We have 20 seconds to go. Ment one. Oh, and Donnelly up the inside. Can he get it done? No, he changes his mind. Thinks better of it. Oh, Donnelly has another look. Can't Ten. get it done. He is going Nine. racing. This will be their final Six. lap. It's Seven. all or nothing at this Six. point. This will decide Five. the New South Wales Four. two or mod state Three. championship. Two. Ment one, Donnelly two. They come down through the S's for the final yeah. time. Over the double double. But Donnelly all over the back of Ment. Ment holding his nerve, Ten and Donnelly goes done. big, oh, just misses Ben's the back done. wing of Ment by millimetres. Isogen just sitting there waiting for something to happen. Donnelly done. just gets a little crossed up. I think done. Ment's going to get it. He comes Jared around. King done. Oh, and Donnelly makes a little mistake, and our New South Wales two-wheel mod done. champion, Jared, Jared Ment. Isogen comes through for two, Lachlan Donnelly done. three. Barkler in four. Done. I need a rest. All drivers are finished. <laughs>
the race is completed. Up next. Alrighty, modified race drivers, straight out to Marshall, please. Right. Celebrations happening here. Jared, man, congratulations. You are New South Wales state champion. How do you feel right now? I can see the emotion on your face, mate. Uh, I can't believe it. Like, if there was anyone I wanted to race like that, it would have been lucky. <laughs> it's, it's been so much work. Like, yeah, if there's anyone I wanted to race like that, it would have been lucky. And we did it so clean. And I think it was, it was so good. I don't know what to say. Hey, take us back to, to A2 again and just you know, talk through that battle at the end. A2, I thought my car felt great. I made a roll catching up to Ari and Lockie and then they got together and Matt Cooper's out front and I put a last lap pass on him to go to A3 and then Ari tapped out early in A3 and it was just Lockie and I for the rest, so I can't believe it. Talk us through the, the composure and the patience you had in the early stages of that race. Did you feel like you, ha you had some pace over Lockie? Or no? There were sections, I think, like the first quarter of lap I felt better than him but the middle bit he kind of felt he was edging me out so I felt better behind than I did out front. <laughs> uh, tell everyone what car recruitment you're racing this weekend. Again team associated B7D, Reedy Power, J Concepts accessories and bodies, uh, J Spec stickers, Bradley Fine Line paint, I don't have a shirt to look at but all those guys who helped me, my dad, you can see how much it meant to him so we finally did it. Congratulations, enjoy the celebrations, you are state champion. Uh, everyone's really proud, mate. Well done. Thank you. It's our final race of the day. Stadium truck modified racing coming at you for A3 Main. One apiece for Lachlan Monday and Ben Sterling still up in the air for the top spot. As they get gridded up, a massive thank you for Campbelltown Hobbies being the major sponsor of this event. A massive entry list for our New South Wales state titles here at Hills Off-Road RC. Drivers, watch your cars going racing on the sound of the tone. We are off and running. Two drive modified stadium truck action. Lachlan Monday with a much better start than his A1 run. Equal to his A2. Ben Sterling trying to hang in there on Lachlan Monday. They've got a winner piece using all the track. Caution double double. Caution double double. After the double double as well. Whoa, good marshalling there, Coop. Down the step downs. There you go. Ben Sterling a little bit out of shape there. Allows Lockie Monday a little bit more breathing room. Battle going on between third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. All coming down the straightaway now. So Lockie into an early lead. Through the chicane. Looking comfortable out there for A3 of truck as we start to lose light. Ben Sterling pushing that car as hard as he can. Nathaniel White not too far behind now. So Nathaniel starting to close the gap up to Ben Sterling. Second, third, fourth, all starting to close on in. Big gaggle of cars will start to make their way onto the straight. One minute down, Lucky Monday putting down a 29.7. Nathaniel White with a 30.4 closing right in on Ben Sterling, who's on his lead caution front straight. That's all clear. So mistake there from Ben Sterling drops him down through the field. Nathaniel White now up to the two spot. Be Brad Stafford in the three. Gordon Shaw up to four. Ben Sterling down to five. He's going to work his way through the field again, though. One minute 30 down. Three and a half left on the clock. Lucky Monday. He's checked out. Gone. He needs to keep it on his wheels from here, and he's got it in the bag. So Nathaniel White up to the two spot. About two seconds behind with Brad Stafford. Ben Sterling now back up to P4. Gordon Shaw running out your top five. Nathaniel White with a bit of a gap now back to Ben Sterling. Now up to the three. The gap will start to erode away though. Ben looking like he's on a charge after an early mistake in this one. He's got three minutes left to try and catch up on Nathaniel White. So they make their way down the line. Gap last time by. 
with about four seconds gap this time down to 2.4 seconds mistake there by nathaniel so gap is eroded now under pressure from ben sterling as they make their way through the double double meanwhile lachlan monday he's starting to come up into a bit of traffic starting to put laps on the field we jump back onto the battle between Nathaniel White and Ben Sterling as Ben has a look up the inside. Couldn't quite get it done there. Down into the inside there for Ben Sterling into the horseshoe. Onto the main straightaway. Ben looking for any way around. He can. These trucks are a lot wider than a buggy. Makes it even harder to pass. Monday making his way through a whole pack of cars out there. He's doing a great job. He's got a great lead as well. So coming through the double double. We have our leaders. Nathaniel comes up short in the first double. Ben Sterling gets on through. Second and third still racing it out there. So Nathaniel now back on the hunt as Ben gets a little bit out of shape. Nathaniel gives him a little bit of a love tap. Less than two minutes on the clock drivers. Second and third battling it out onto the main straightaway. Looking for the grey buggy of Ben Sterling. Nathaniel White with the white and blue. Round turn one. Once again, Ben Sterling using the grass on the inside there. Caution coming into the doubles. It'll be all clear. You've got your leaders coming up on behind you quickly. Lockie Monday now through to clear air. He's got a massive gap in front of him. Caution front double double. Caution double double. Off the gas, off the gas. Thank you. Catch back up with Ben Sterling. He's starting to build that gap up between Nathaniel White and himself with just over 115 on the clock. Ben Sterling that time around now out to a 2.4 second gap over Nathaniel White as he makes his way through the chicane into the front double double. Gap starting to spread out with one minute left on the clock. Those we follow along with stream with Ben Sterling coming down onto the main straight. We catch now back up with Lockie Monday. Making his way around down the hill over the tabletop. Turns it back around onto the main straightaway with 35 seconds left on the clock. The gap last time by was 15 seconds. It's got a massive lead out there now. He's looking to put another lap on the board, looking for another victory lap out there to secure it for modified stadium truck with 20 seconds left on the clock. Running or is Lockie, Sterling, Nathaniel White, Scott Hill, Brad Stafford running at your top five. Final 10 seconds about to tick on down. Ten, Lockie will get nine, another lap in. Eight, He'll be the only driver seven, to bump in another six, lap. So he makes five, his way down the straight with five four, seconds on the three, clock. He gets around two, for another lap that one, should secure it for him. Cross a Line drivers, you will be done. Brad Stafford done. Mitchell Isaac. So we follow done. on board with Lachlan Monday on a lap for himself out there, going towards the top of the hill. Paul French done. Down the back straight away into the step down, step up. Done. Over the tabletop. Final couple of corners for Lachlan French Monday. French he secures done. it at A2. He comes right around done. final corner. Shane Lachlan done. Monday taking Lachlan A3 Monday and done. the overall. Dean Masters done. Scott ben done. Sterling coming home in P2. Nathaniel White in P3. Finished. Scott Hill in P4. Brad Stafford rounding out your top five. Marshalls, if you can get you to bring your seats in. Cones and seats, if you can bring them in. Marshalls, if you can bring your seats and cones in. Welcome Monday, congratulations. You are New South Wales champion. How does that feel? Oh, uh, feels pretty good, yeah. <laughs> and I was um, a bit nervous after that first race, but yeah, managed to pull it together in the final two or finals, and uh, yeah, no, I'm really happy. Sort of a bit of a masterclass there in that last one. Uh, did you want to stop and watch the battles behind at any point? All the action was happening back there. Uh, yeah, I got front row seats, so it was, uh, <laughs> it was pretty cool seeing those guys battle it out. Um, but yeah, and once I got the guys got a bit of a gap, I just focused on putting the laps down. Uh, Trying to go as quick as I could, yeah. Uh, who would you like to thank? Um, yeah, thanking uh, mum, dad, uh, my sister as always, um, and yeah, my sponsors as well, and, and the club. It's uh, Yeah, I had a lot of fun today, um, and yeah, couldn't have done it without any of their help. So uh, yeah, massive thanks to those guys. Fantastic effort, congratulations. Enjoy thank the you. celebrations, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it as well, thank you.
please, all everyone down the second double double, we'll get this underway. Let's get this underway, everyone. All right, I'd like to thank everyone for coming along to the New South Wales 2024 State Championships sponsored by Campbelltown Hobbies. Uh, firstly, want to thank Campbelltown Hobbies. Big round of applause for Campbelltown for all the work they do. Thank you. If I can get Steve up here. To, oh, we've got, we got a representative of Campbelltown Hobbies here to, to help out. I'm going to quickly go through all the people I need to thank, and I apologise to the people who I'm going to forget. I'm hopeless. Okay, first of all, I'd like to thank my committee. We have Ben, Scott, um, Chris, the Lowe family for all the work on their canteen. So Dres is on our committee, but his wife's been down here all weekend helping. So a massive thank you to the Lowe family. Put your hands together for the Lowe family for all their work. Here comes Charmaine. Charmaine, don't clap yourself. We're all clapping for you, so thank you. <laughs> so thank you to Charmaine for all the work. Um, a massive thank you to Cooper de Bono who came down, one of our juniors came down to help out all weekend. It's just amazing. Um, who did I forget? Yeah. Nick Aiken. Once again, Nick Aiken. Oh, Nick has been here helping out. His kids have been racing, but once again, he's just been out there supporting them. Don't worry about the kids. He's helping the club. Good on you, Nick. Also, a massive... <laughs> yeah, a massive thank you to our race director, Jerry. Jerry's been on all weekend. Jerry, Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> and also Dan Ma. Dan Ma has been a race refereeing all day yesterday, uh, helping out again today. So thank you very much. And a final thank you to all my club members who have pitched in and made this possible. Um, what an amazing event. So thank you very much. All right, we'll quickly. Can't see. Quick. Sorry? Yep, no worries. All right, first of all, we're going to move on to concourse. Stadium truck. So for stadium truck we have uh, Mitchell Isogen. Mitchell Isogen. <laughs> Was that your old man? What a great job. All right. And taking out the buggy concourse it is uh, Andrew Gillett. Andrew Gillett. Old school. Gillett. Gillett. You got concourse, brother. Oh, yeah, I won something. Chelsea <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I gotta thank um, Scotty Foster for the paint job. No worries. Thanks. What's that, a microphone? Thanks. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move into two wheel stock. Taking 2Q. Now, this was an immense battle all day, but taking TQ in pretty convincing style, Andrew Salvaggi.
Don't go too far away, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. And in 10th position, we have Scott Hill. I'll try and get through this quickly while we have light. In ninth, Chris Lander. In eighth, Glenn Welsh. In seven, Chris Primer. In six, Justin O'Connell. Is he still here? Are you still taking off? I know he had to go on an aeroplane. In fifth, Chris Milton. Yep. In fourth, Nathaniel White. Thank you, mate. Taking third place, Dallas Gardner. Well done, buddy. Coming in second place, Andrew Salvaggi. I won't say I won't say anything about uh, the covered yesterday, but um, yeah, well done to Stony. Uh, really good job. Uh, usually you get me in four wheel, I get you in two wheel. So tit for tat. Um, and yeah, thank you to the club. Thank you to all the competitors. Well done to everyone in all the mains. The juniors were awesome to watch. Uh, stadium truck almost had a full main. I mean, I think we're in a really really good spot. And I think the nationals is probably going to be about another fifty percent on top of this. So. It's going, to be, it's going to be crazy. So, yeah, thank you to the club again. Thank you to everyone in the canteen. Uh, all of the businesses that support RC Racing were so niche. Um, and uh, and it's, it's really good to come in from an interstate and feel like you're, you're welcome. So, yeah, uh, pumped and thank you. Thank you, Andrew. And coming from third on the grid, I thought he didn't have a hope for starting from third, but he managed to get there in style. The man, Michael Stone. Thank you. Well done, buddy. Thank you. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll just say the same as uh, Vaj. Um, thanks to everyone. Sorry. I knew that was going to come out at one point. Um, well done on TQ, but... Sucked in, I got you for once. <laughs> and I'm going to take this. Um, my whole team couldn't have done it without you. Um, Danny, for all your support. 5 a.m. wake ups are not pretty. I don't even do that for work. Um, Ari, Jenny from HEI, and um, Pete Seckold for the continuous working at home. And uh, yeah, thanks everyone for putting on the meet. And Pete, you nailed it. Thank you. Can't take my mic. You have to grow a bit there, Ray. All right, we are going to move on to Junior. Taking out TQ, Will Aiken. Well done. well done, buddy. And hang on, got to get the right sheets. I'm not going to muck it up this time. So in 11th, our Junior Stock State Title, Saxon Gillett. And we might just get the juniors to stay here and we can get a photo with all of you next to the podium, okay? So you just jump down here, Saxon, well done. In 10th, Hassan Omar. In 9th, Mason Crompton. In 8th, Samuel Del Santo. In seven, Jasmine Monday. In six, Riley Lander West. 
Okay. In fifth, Finn Aiken. In fourth, Ryan Kwok. And great job to Ryan. Ryan's only fairly new to sport and an outstanding effort. Well done. First step on the podium for the 2024 New South Wales State Titles, Lincoln Isagen. You got to at least thank, thank, make sure you thank Dad. So big boy, you can say whatever you want. Thank you to the track and Dad and Jordan Mitchell, Mum and Nan at the canteen. Well done, super job. Coming in second for the New South Wales State titles in junior stock, a new up and coming superstar, Zach Panic. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Zach's been helping me all day, put all the results up. Thank you, Zach, you're champion. Thank you. Congratulations. Well done, buddy. Do you want to say anything? Yeah. Do you want me to hold something for you? Uh, Give me that so yeah. you don't drop it. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, and second in the juniors. Yeah. Very happy with myself. Thanks a lot for the club and everyone supporting us. GG's to Will Aiken and Riley Clock and all that for like getting fourth, third and first. Will, you actually had a great drive. And thanks to Saxon for, for, for letting us pass it sometimes. He had a great drive. And thanks for running for the 2024 state titles. Well very, very well said. Our champion, our junior champion for 2024 New South Wales state titles in great style, Will Aiken. You want to right? First off, I want to give a massive thanks to Pete and all of the club committee, you know, the track was absolutely amazing over these past two days. Massive thanks to the Lowe family for the canteen. Massive help and the food was amazing. And most importantly, massive shout out to Team X-Ray, but Sam and, where's Pete? I don't know where he went. <laughs> Sam and Pete. Yeah, yeah, don't point it, just talking to it. They were a massive help over this weekend, and yeah. But above all, I'm going to thank my dad. And as much as he doesn't want me to thank him, I will thank my dad, you know. He got me into this, he gets me here, he gets me to everything. So, massive thanks to dad as well. Well done, well said. So guys, yeah, just want to jump a couple either side. Come on, Dan, stop trying to get in the camera. Awesome, it's good to see you. Uh... Yeah, I'll give you a hand, buddy. Just want to put your hand under it, like that. How's that? You got it? Oh, Zach's arm's getting sore. Come on. <laughs> All right, well done, guys. Outstanding effort by our juniors. All right, and we move on to two-wheel mod. And I just want to say that the driving standard in juniors out today was outstanding from the, the first to the... Not the last person, the kid that just didn't win. But an outstanding effort, so well done to all. Thank you, everyone. All right, moving on to Tua Mod. Definitely the premier class. This was hotly contested. Taking TQ for the 2024 New South Wales state titles, Ari Buckler. Woo! 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 
Well buddy. In 10th, Jared King. Is he still here? Jared, I think he's gone. In ninth, Peter Seckold. Well done. Thank you. In eighth, Ben Gribben. <laughs> well done, Thanks, mate. Cheers. Well done. Oh. I don't want you to shake your dirty hand. Uh, guys, I just want to take a minute just to thank two key people. Events like this do not happen without a dedicated team. Chris Muffett and Peter Cooper, the amount of work that these two guys have put in the last couple of weeks to make this happen, everything from building the track to ordering tables, bits and pieces, making sure you know we've got enough water, all that sort of stuff. These two guys, unbelievable effort, so thank you. Thank you, Benny. Ben just wanted a bit of limelight, that was all. Okay, moving on to seven, Samuel Muffet. In six, Lachlan Monday. Coming in fifth, Matty Cooper. Oh, not go. you, Gordon. Big shout out to Ben. I would not have been here without Ben. I would have been in like the D main. He did most of the work on my car and really appreciate it. And once again, Peter Cooper, Father Cooper, you guys have no idea how much work he puts into the track. Every Arvo, he takes off work. Like, you guys seriously have no idea how much he puts in. He also gets my cars ready and gets me down here. So, yeah, big shout out to all you guys. Thank you, buddy. No, he'll get one tonight as he goes to bed. <laughs> and in fourth, Jordan Isagen. Thanks, You want to talk? No, I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. Our third place for the 2024 state titles two-wheel mod, Ari Barkler. Uh, just very quickly, um, I want to thank uh, Pete and the whole club uh, for putting on an awesome event. Um, if you're thinking about coming to the Nationals or sitting on the fence, do not. Just get your entry in. It's going to be a massive, massive event. Um, big props to uh, all our X-Ray crew. Um, thanks for uh, everything from the help to the laughs and all that. Um, and uh, big congrats to the kids. Um, I, think, uh, I think that's Jared's first. State title, yep. Uh, well done. And uh, Lachlan as well. Good job. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Second place for two wheel mod, Lachlan Donnelly. <laughs> well done, buddy. Um, just a big thanks to the club and Pete, Chris as well, and the rest of the club. They've put on and RC Race Media, of course. Um, you guys have done a fantastic job for this event. Um, thanks to my usual sponsors. Congrats to Ari and big congrats to Jared on winning his first mod title. I'm happy for him. So congratulations, Jared. Thanks, guys. Well said, Lockie. Taking out the RCRA, Campbelltown Hobbies. 2024 New South Wales State Titles, two-wheel mod, Jared Mint. Well done, buddy. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Um, I can't believe it, like, I really can't believe it. I kind of broke down in the interview. I'm trying my best not to break down now. So many people I want to thank. First of all, Pete, most like probably the most flawless event I've been to. Track was amazing this weekend. I don't think anyone complained about that. Um, the guys in the pits, Chad, Lockie, my dad, Andrew, the Mondays, anyone else who I've forgotten. You guys helped me 
insane amounts and I, it never goes unnoticed, so please believe that. And then I just want to thank my sponsors, Team Associated, Reedy Power, J Concepts, Bradley Fine Line Design, J Spec, DRC, and Plague Bearings. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Well said. <laughs> All right, well done. The one, uh, the one group, the one group I did forget to thank is Tony and Matt Seckold. Not Tony Seckold, but Tony and Matt. <laughs> They're all married. Um, They've been here all weekend, um, doing a great job getting our club out to the world. Uh, this now is in the archive, so all you guys throughout future now can watch back on this uh, event. Um, Jared will always remember this and be able to watch the video. So well done to um, RC Race Media. Thank you for their support. Thank you to all the competitors who came from everywhere. We really appreciate it, and we really hope to see you all back in October for a massive nationals. Oh, jeez. <laughs> So anyway, I'm sending you home. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm a little tired. <laughs> uh, this is why I have Chris. <laughs> oh, dear me. Anyway, okay, you can stick around for a bit longer. All right, TQ for Stadium Truck. I'm really sorry, Stadium Truck, guys. TQ, Lachlan Monday. Uh, it has been a long couple of days. <laughs> well done, buddy. Coming in 10th place, we have Dean Masters. I think a few of the guys might have ducked off. There might be a couple of interstate guys. Uh, in ninth, Spencer Clements. In eighth, Chris Primer. No worries, buddy. Sorry, I almost forgot you. <laughs> In seventh, Shane Edwards. In sixth, Scotty Hill. In eighth, Gordon Shaw. Did I say eighth? Sorry. Like I said, long day. Fifth, Gordon Shaw. I think he's gone. Fourth, Brad Stafford. Well done, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Take third place on the podium for the New South Wales State Titles 2024, Nathaniel White. Oh, dude. I... <laughs> you want to say something? No, he's all good. All right. And in second, doing a sterling job, Ben Sterling. Have you ever heard that one before? No one's ever used that? That's a new one. <laughs> well done. <laughs> um, yeah, just, I just wanted to thank the club as well. It's been an awesome event. Uh, track's awesome. Um, Pete, you've done a great job this weekend. Uh, all the crew have. Thanks to RC Race Media for getting us out to the globe and um, promoting us as best they can with their live feed. They're doing an awesome job. Uh, thanks to Schumacher for the awesome stadium truck. Got a little bit of work to do with it, but at the end of the day, it's just a bit of a fun class to have a burn around in and get some extra track time. So thanks to the club again, and thanks to everyone for coming around. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. Thank you for making the trip down from Queensland. And our winner of the Campbelltown Hobbies RCRA 2024 New South Wales State Titles, Lachlan Monday. Well done, buddy. Thank you. I, um, yeah, first of all, I'd just like to thank the club. Um, this is probably the most fun I've had just driving around on a layout in all my cars in a long time. It's yeah, super, super fun. Um, also, like to thank my family, uh, yeah, dad, mum, my sister, um, for all their support, uh, especially dad for making this uh, 
yeah, his truck's so good to drive. Um, then I also like, also like to thank my sponsors, Team Associated, J Concepts, Reedy, J Spec Stickers, uh, and James Ainsley Designs. Thank you. Thank you. No more trophies? <laughs> All right, I've officially been told that is all the classes. <laughs> Once again, thank you for everyone who made the journey here from Interstate, uh, the support from all Sydney. Hope to see you in October. It's going to be a massive nationals. It's going to lead on to the world. Thank you again for coming and safe travels. Thank you. Thank you.